Are we live? Oh, wait for it. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day if you're watching this and it does not say live at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately. You're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile press. Hi, chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream of Large Pro campaign real estate course. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's all continuing from yesterday. Yesterday, Powell unleashed the doves, unleashed the bulls, and I'm telling you right now, nobody cares about anything. Bank of England, ECB, it was a little different, a lot different than Jerome Powell. Everybody brushed it off. Retail sales, they came in stronger. If that happened before Powell, oh my goodness, the bonds would have got clapped. Nobody cared. Same thing with the jobless claims. Nobody cared. Why? Because Powell and the signal that he sent yesterday, pretty much everybody was arguing. Is everything too optimistic? Is everything too optimistic? Are we pricing to perfection? And yesterday, Powell pretty much said no. So you have a lot of interesting things here. I hope you pay attention to KRE and the Russell. They are definitely outperforming right now. So it's one thing like SPY, NASDAQ are doing it, but that cyclical rotation now, how people are feeling to the end of the year, the liquidity is going to disappear after this week, man. It is getting absolutely insane. So I'll tell you this now. You got to always approach with caution, but for the most part, man, you have a lot of, it's a global rally right now. I'm telling you, I think even China got to play in on part of it, man. So we're going to deal with a lot here, Chad Adonia. I'm sure it's going to be a very wild seven hours, but there shouldn't be any too crazy surprises. And if there are, we'll go from there. But remember, before you know it, you're going to hear more Fed speakers. And I, I could tell you, I have one, there's one thing, there's one, I don't know if you want me to tell you right now, I don't know if you want me to tell you right now, it's very simple, there's only one event that's coming up that might get in the way of this, maybe it's Japan, that's December 19th, that's going to be wild, but up until earnings now. Yeah, that's what you, that's, that's the thing that's going to mess up everybody or it's going to continue the party, so keep that in mind, I hope you're ready for all of it, Chattadonia. Shout out to Long Term and good morning, baby. What up, Najee Wolf? What up, Ty? What up, Anza? What up, Lucky J? Tim Whitman, baby. Slade, Awaz, Ricardo Ruiz, Dirty Bird, Laker J. Oh, good morning, baby. What up, Candy? How you living? Sipping ghost, sipping on gin and ghost. Lay back with my mind on the Long Term and the Long Term on my mind. Open face, baby. Good morning. David, sir. Rob Canty, Rob Irwin, baby. 10% Alex, Sun Grown Organics, baby. Good morning. Morning. What up, Chiho? What up, Anzel? I, I keep seeing Anzel all over the place. What a loser. Wild style, baby. Randy Denardi. Cool Shavir, baby. Ben Stone. Ty. David. JJ, baby. How you living? What up, me, not you? Jerry Words. Artemis. Damn man, the biz. Ben Stone. Zach. Oh, Devlin's in the house, baby. Good morning. Lucky soldier. Oh, good morning. Notorious. Good morning, baby. How you living, Catherine? What up, Chiggity? What's going on, baby? Q Axel, Godfather Rocky, Kurt McGart, Notorious again. Monica, good morning. What's up, Rum the Bull, CC, Desi, Tony, Brian Hahn. Oh, good morning, baby. What up, Chris? What up, Donnie? Donnie, <laughs> Christian Edwards, baby. Oh, what's up, baby? How you living? Ah, uh, Media Talk. What's going on? Crystal Nicole, Young Fungus, Nando. What's up, baby? How you living? What up, Cam? Oh, man, the chat's going crazy. They're going crazy. Florida Slots. Deja, if I miss you, man, I still love you. We, had a, we got the whole day. You better stick around and talk to me today, man. We have a lot to go over. The Goat Man. What do we got? The Twitch, baby. Lucky J. Cameron Brewer, baby. Stinky CDN. Angelo. Ibex. Delford. Z Destroyer. Preforms. Dev Patel. KJ Lemur. 12J, baby. Cameron again. It's Uncle Nix. JJ KJ. Tibia Life for 8012. BDA Cookie Monster. I'm more fatty trap. Triple Three. Universe's favorite. Slip. Is in you nanny hailstone feed me Seymour Robo hand tech and Uncle Nick to start it off, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You grab some MP. That was on my list, dog. That's on my list. That's what sucks. I wanna, I, you know, I like to wait for the pullback, but we gotta see what's going on with everything, man. But again, the cyclicals are in full effect. 
This is at least confirm confirmation until earnings, okay? So don't get too ahead of your... It doesn't mean that if you buy the top, you're going to make a lot of money because it can still go down. So remember, we're going to have seven hours a day for the next couple of days, but definitely the optimism is out in the air. I know gold. Don't remind me of gold. I want the futures, but I'm glad we got those GLDs at the end of the day, man. We're going to see how it plays out. But Chattadonia, I hope you're living good. What up, Vegas? How you living, Vegas? Falls, good morning, but now... Let's get into the news, baby. Let's get into the news. Y'all ready for this? Down, 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 down. Stocks join bonds in post-Fed rally. Euro gains. Uh, Wall Street is posed to extend its rally after a dovish Federal Reserve signals unleashed a bullish pulse across markets amid optimism that the world's largest economy will be able to avert a recession. Equities climbed around the globe with the S&P set to move even closer to all-time highs as the Fed pivots towards reversing the steepest hikes in a generation after taming inflation without a significant economic slowdown. Both retail sales and jobless claims on Thursday reinforced that soft landing narrative and Jerome Powell's lack of pushback against the market's dovish bash are awful... Uh, what did I just say? Markets dovish bets also help renew the surge in treasuries with the 10-year yield breaking below 4%. That is insane. Again, remember, we were just talking about under 4% may indicate hard landing. I wonder if that's going to change anything, but that's very bullish for the bonds there. You now have below 4 on a 10-year. You don't feel me. And then Christine Lagarde is sick too, so I'm allowed to cough, okay? I'm just saying, Christine, I don't know. She's not contagious though. She's not contagious, though. Uh, the Fed pivot is officially in, and the market continues to digest the news, said W. Brad Bretchel at Jeffries. The dots imply 75 of cuts, and the market is now showing 140. So this still needs to be reconciled, but Powell had a chance to push back on market pricing and definitely did not take it. A day after the Fed decision, European policymakers decided to keep interest rates on hold for a second meeting with inflation tumbling while they are saying they will step up the exit from the pandemic era stimulus. The euro area remained higher and so did the pound after Bank of England Andrew Bailey said there is still some way to go in the fight against inflation. Uh, Bloomberg's latest part market poll survey showed investors expect the S&P to rise to about 48.35 at the end of 2024. Oh, wait, at the end of 24? An increase compared to last survey before the Fed decision. Still, such a gain amounts to about 3% from the current level. Reflects skepticism about how much U.S. stocks can rally after this year's advance of over 20%. Similarly, modest gains as seen for the bond market. The median call in the survey was the tenure to slide to about 3.8 from around 4% currently. We're a little nervous about the weeks ahead, said Callie Cox at eToro. Stocks are in need of a serious heat check. We haven't seen a 1% pullback since late October. The rate cut trade has been strong, but don't be surprised if we cool off. It shouldn't change your views about the favorable environment we're in. Goldman Sachs economists led by Jan Heitzis revamped their outlook, seeing a steady course of rate cuts. That begins in March. They anticipate that the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, core PCE, which excludes volatile food and energy, will slow to 2.1 by the year end, effectively meeting the policy set of the Federal Open Market Committee's 2% target. There are no companies looking to tap U.S. investment grade primary market on Thursday. According to an informal survey of syndicate desks, the backdrop of borrowers was improved after Powell's dovish signals propelled risk assets elsewhere. Global oil demand is slowing down sharply as economic activity weakens in key countries. The International Emergency Energy, Ener Energy Agency said as they slash estimates for the quarter, Adobe gave a lukewarm outlook for sales in 2024, disappointing investors who expected new generative AI tools would quickly boost the software's results, uh, the software company's results. Philo Locker was raised after Piper Sandler, which cited margin expansion opportunity in 2024. Personalized vaccine developer Merck and Moderna helped prevent the recurrence of severe skin cancer for three years in promising new results from a study. China one-year MLF rate and volume and property prices tomorrow. Eurozone S&P PMIs and S&P Global PMIs on Friday. U.S. industrial production and empire manufacturing. S&P Global manufacturing on Friday. Uh, not about it, I think. No way, man. No way. Uh, let's see. Uh, S&P futures are up by 0 0.3 Thursday morning after U.S. equities rallied on Wednesday with upside leadership from year-to-date laggards, including small caps, which heavily shorted baskets. Rate-sensitive sectors and regional banks were some of the other standouts. Treasuries extending their rally with the 10-year below 4. Dollar index down by 0.4 and down by 1.5 this week. Gold is up by 2.5. Bitcoin down by 0.3. And WTI is up by 2. Uh, dovish Fed takeaways continue to reverberate, particularly in combination with the soft landing narrative. Uh, 
broadening market rally from Magnificent 7 to the under-owned year-to-date laggers as flagged as supportive for further upside in the year-end, along with favorably seasonal dynamics and depressed volatility, which further underpins systematic fund buying. However, some scrutiny surrounding the extent to which stocks have already ran up over the last six weeks, so we're on the back of that traction behind the Fed pivot expectations. Uh, retail sales surprised to the upside in November with the control group measuring a rise of 0.4 month over month with expectations for a 0.2 increase. Online retail outperformed with non-store measure up by 1%. Initial claims also stronger falling to 202 from 221. Uh, below the 224 consensus, uh, Bank of England left rates unchanged for a third consecutive meeting and maintained a hawkish stance. ECB also left rates unchanged and pulled forward the start of the PEP production. Uh, very quiet on the corporate calendar. Adobe, a post-earnings lagger despite a beat on key metrics for fiscal Q4, including net new digital media ARR. However, guidance underwhelmed with takeaways flagging a weaker than expected pricing tailwind. Some focus on elevated expectations with the stock up over 85% year to date. However, fundamental commentary was more upbeat with multiple firms highlighting strength of the company's AI product roadmap. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, again, boosted stake in Oxy following... Uh and then following Barbie, not, not, that's not related, but following Barbie's success, Mattel is working on American Girl Doll movie. <laughs> Buffett did not buy Oxy because of bu buff, uh, Barbie's success. The data is bearish for the market, 100%, if that happened yesterday, unfortunately. That's what, that's what we said in the morning. It's going to make the PMIs weird, but like legitimately, Bank of England, ECB, and retail sales, none of them were good. Not one of them were good, but the fact is, everybody is now operating under a backdrop that Powell is actually ready to pivot now and talking about rate cuts, if that makes any sense. So it's like if we had a more hawkish Powell, this data would have clapped us. If we really believe that Powell was data dependent, then we would have got clapped. But now this whole data dependent thing, there's a little bit of flexibility pretty much until earnings or we get into the end uh, more or less. So we'll see. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, Japan's political scandal uh, looks set to wipe out heavyweights of the ruling party, uh, once of their once mighty faction that favors big monetary stimulus, easing the path for the Bank of Japan and pulling the economy out of decades of ultra low interest rates. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Wednesday announced that he would make changes to his cabinet as he seeks to stem the fallout from a fundraising scandal that has further dented public support for his embattled administration. Uh, there are many good reasons for domestic and international investors to keep shunning Chinese stocks, yet it's also relatively easy to be underweight a market that's underperforming. Any revival would force investors to revisit their assumptions. For those with the stomach for high risk, high return, there's a scope for a long march upwards. Uh, the U.S. and U.K. and France are exploring ways to convince Hezbollah to pull back from the Lebanon-Israel border in a diplomatic push to prevent a full-blown conflict erupting between the militant group in Israel. Uh, Norway, Norway's bank surprised with the 25 basis point hike, 425 to 45, and says that rates will be kept at this level from some time. Uh, ECB, given our revised inflation profile, we expect the first rate cut in April and now look for faster cuts of 25 per meeting versus 25 per quarter until the deposit rate reaches 2.25 by early 25. While it's possible the council cuts rates with new projections in March, we view April as somewhat more likely given our expectation of firm growth. Uh, again, that didn't happen. Uh, Bank of England, we remain comfortable with the view that B of E will cut policy rates later than the ECB and expect the first 25 with the NPR in August, but now we see a faster pace of cuts. Uh, Donald Trump pulled ahead of Joe Biden in Michigan in a Bloomberg News Morning Consult poll conducted November 27th to December 5th. After ties in October and early November, he now leads in a monthly tracking poll of all seven swing states that will decide the presidential election. Uh, oil demand set to soften according to the IEA's December report. Global fourth quarter 23 demand has grown or has been revised down by almost 400 uh, KB a day with Europe making up more than half the decline. The slowdown is set to continue in 24 with global gains having to 1.1 million uh, barrels a day as GDP growth stays below trend in major economies. Efficiency improvements and booming electric vehicle fleet also a drag on demand. Uh, Washington is nearing a breakthrough for an agreement on immigration reform that would clear the way for an additional package of aid for Ukraine. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba.
Uh, dovish Fed signals, uh, rate hikes, uh, signals that rate hikes are over. Uh, forecast 75 basis points of easing in 24. Goldman Sachs economists revamp Fed outlook. See rate cuts starting from March. ECB has tough job to flight rate cut bets as inflation falls. Bank of England to hold rates, but the stagnant economy poses headache for MPC. Norway delivers hawkish surprise by hiking 25. Switzerland keeps rates on hold at 175 as is expected and signals a shift in currency policy. Bank of Japan policy normalization path clouded by Fed outlook. China central bank set to boost liquidity injection but they keep rate unchanged uh, bonds surge following fed decision as market prices in now a 140 basis points of rate cuts next year uh, apple soon to face eu antitrust order and potential fine over app store fight with spotify adobe's revenue outlook underwhelms expectations with ai boost taking longer than thought following success of barbie mattel developing american doll movie etsy to lay off 11 percent of workforce citing challenges in macro environment gm's 40-year product development chief doug parks to retire uh, disney and Comcast have increased ad spend on Instagram after discontinuing ads on X. Uh, OpenAI to offer news uh, news in chat GPT after striking a deal with Axel Springer. Uh, Yellen expects inflation to fall 2% by year end in 2024. Says Fed should cut inflation as it eases. Fitch says outlook for China is neutral but flags growing debt risk. China activity data on Friday expected to confirm growth remain tepid in November. China's bank loans rise by less than expected with more easing expected. Japan's core machinery orders better than expected. German 2024 budget deal could spur EU agreement on budget revision. Australian jobs growth tops expectations but unemployment rises by more than forecast. New Zealand economy unexpectedly shrinks reinforcing dovish rbnz view oil volatility likely near year concerns about oversupply slowing growth in middle east tensions latest eia data shows u.s crude stockpiles fell 4.3 million barrels last week iea says evidence of slowdown in oil demand is mounting israel keeps up attacks on southern gaza despite intensifying international calls to reduce civilian casualties western diplomats exploring ways to convince hezbollah to pull back on border with israel top u.s chinese defense officials met for the first time since february last month indicating progress in improving military ties venezuela doubles 24 budget to 21.5 billion as they expect higher defense spending amid tensions with Guyana. How did they get the money? <laughs> Oil. Uh, Chinese IPOs in the U.S. are still rare. A year after audit deal was struck, signs of life surrounding talk of toughening border policy in exchange for more Ukraine aid. Polls show Trump pulls ahead of Biden in a must-win Michigan as voters remain pessimistic about U.S. economy. Supreme Court uh, agrees to hear case levied against six, January 6 defendants and President Trump. House of Representatives votes to approve Biden impeachment inquiry. And I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about, again, I don't know if you heard that in the morning. I think some people like the year end targets for most like hedge funds now for end of next year is they think we go to 4835. So that's about like two or 3% from where we're at now. But in a weird way, I mean, the Russell, let's, maybe we talk about the Russell. But other than that, though, in a weird way, some people are getting kind of uh, cautiously pessimistic. But at the same time, I mean, I, I think you you know the vibe. You know the vibe. You feel the bulls out there. You could blame Powell for it. Yeah, AT&T, uh, I had them up on my list there. Uh, they're getting a deal from uh, AT &T, or, uh, Rivian and AT&T. AT&T is buying their uh, Rivian trucks for the fleet, which is very good for them, very good. But as far as the place, Chad, Myrna up 11%. Follow-up data from Phase 2P randomized uh, keynote. Uh, XP up 3% off of nothing. LYV 3.9 Morgan Stanley upgrade. Illumina 3.4 Guggenheim Securities initiates buy. WRK up 3. Enphase up 2.8. BXP up 2.8. Rivian up 2.8. AT&T to purchase EVs for fleet. XS up 2.7. Guggenheim initiates buy. Affirm 2.7. Zillow 2.6. Robinhood up 2.6. November operating data. Oxy up 2.3. Berkshire disclosed buying 10.5 million shares. Path up 2.1. Belander up 2.0. Squared 2.0. Palantir 2.0, PHM 2.0, ALB 2.0, AMT 2.0, HSBC initiates buy Unity 1.9, FCX up 1.9, Open Door up 9.5, GCOS, GKOS up 7.5, FDA approval of IDOS, uh, Travis Prost, an intracameral implant. Uh, trip up 5.7, BTIG upgrade, SDRL, 250 million share buyback, EXPI up 5.3, PK up 5.2, JP Morgan upgrade, EBC 5%, upstart 5%, run 4.7, OBDC 4.6, Footlocker 4.2, Piper Sandler upgrade, all these other plays with no news, MPW made it to the list, Arr! 
Uh, KLG up 3.3. Morgan Stanley initiated equal weight. Uh, IRWD up 3.0. Wells Fargo initiates overweight. Pac B 2.8. Stevens uh, initiates overweight. Lithium 2.8. Osbill telling investors it will oppose Alchem Livent merger. Uh, Australian Financial Review. Uh, Joby up 2.7, Alcoa up 2.7, Western Australia government approves latest five-year mine plan for Huntley and Willowdale bauxite mines. Uh, CARM, C-A-R-M up 14.9, first lead candidate under collaboration with Moderna. MNMD up 13.3, top line results, phase 2B trial of MM120. ESPR up 13.3, FDA updates LDLC lowering indication for Nexlitol tablet of Nexlizit tablet. Uh, CDXS up 10%, eco synthesis platform update, licensing agreement, codex, high cap, RNA, uh, polymerase uh, SLS up 9.4 PGY up 8.6 Jeffries initiates buy Bluebird 4.9 enters outcome based agreement for Lifegenia with commercial player 8k uh, gold stocks all up by 2.7 on average, some going more crazy than not. European ADR is up 1.4 and regional banks up 2.3 to 3.5. Uh, trading lower. Oh, I don't have there's a what? No way. PBA, there has to be more. There's no, there, no, don't tell me there's not anything lower. Maybe I botched it. Hold on. I, there, am I just zoomed in? I thought there was, damn, son. Damn, son, we're going to have to see. I think there's a couple lower. If not, then let's see. Trading lower. Oh, yeah, there's PBA, uh, Consolidation Alliance, uh, Pipeline, Ox Sable, Concurrent, 1.1 bot deal. Adobe down on earnings and FTC Civil Investigates Guidance. Nucor down 2.3 off earnings. APLS update on ongoing regulatory review of the GA and European Union down 13.7. And then BCRX and then the rest are all below like $1 billion. Uh, just small caps or biotechs that failed. Uh, so honestly, kind of crazy. Uh, there's not that many, again, considering with what we went over. So Chad Adonia... I hope you're ready for it. We have a little bit of time. I'm going to hear from you very shortly. I want to hear your plays, baby. I want to hear your play. So let's see what happens. But I will BRB. I will BRB. Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. So essentially Here's Lagarde. She's not contagious. Don't worry. Before, and we are repeating that same sentence. We say, based on our current assessment, we consider that the key ECB interest rates are at level that maintained for a sufficiently long duration will make a substantial contribution to our goal. And we continue with our future decisions will ensure that our policy rates will be set at sufficiently restrictive level for as long as necessary. If you combine that with our data dependency and the fact that we, we are not you know, narrowing the focus or the focal of what we look at. But we know that some data and a combination of data and the mechanics between these two, wages and um, profit in particular, are going to play a significant role. And we will be particularly attentive to those. But there will be you know, more data coming in. We will have another bank lending survey. We will have you know, a corporate uh, telephone survey coming in. We will take that into account uh, to determine you know, when we can lower the guard, for sure. But that's where we are at the moment. Now, your second question, of course, I'm not going to address it directly. Um, I will simply say that we will be looking at our three criteria. We will be identifying whether on the basis of staff forecast on the basis of our measurements on un of underlying inflation, on the basis of our strong transmission of monetary policy, we are at this medium-term target that we have set for ourselves of reaching the 2% target at the end of our projection. We, we are probably a little bit more severe with ourselves because the end of our projection or the end of the projection horizon would take us to 2026, where we have 1.9. We are going to probably look very carefully at the end of 25. And I think end of 25, we're at 2.1. Mm -hmm. and, and end of 25, we're at 2.1. I see you, Todd. <laughs> sliding basis to that 2.1%. Oh, That's what we are going oh, to be doing. And, um, you know, as I said. She's contagious. She made me cough. Bro, I, I ain't say, I have not stayed like this sick in a while. Like, I could function, but like, bro, this thing will not go away. My goodness, 
My goodness. But Chatadonia, you got one minute, bro. Tell me your plays. Tell me your plays. What do you got here, man? Post in. Honestly, if you have some of these cyclical plays, like any of the plays I have, I'm riding them. Uh, that's it. We got a great entry, even if we thought we top tick them. We're going to be riding it out for a little bit, baby. What do you got? Redfin, Soxel, RTY, do same, baby. COVID, Josh, TNA, Oracle, VU, SoFi, Long, Long, KRE, FXY, GLD, Quad Witch, Tomorrow, Cat, Bank, Cost, 10-Year Future, Tesla, Short, Screaming, 10%, Cost, FRGT, One Day, baby, let's go, TLT, RYLD, VOD, SPY, 489, End of the Day, TLT, PayPal, January 25, Leaps, Coin, thanks for making it, I got you, baby, all day, uh, LODA, Cost, KRE, Silver, Cost, FRGT, ARC, 75, Leaps, NVIDIA, Cat, TLT, Apple Pass, 200, Bitcoin, Long, GLD, PayPal, Long, KRE, Mara, Cost, Enphase, Hood, Uber, Stab, Baba, GLT, MPW, CRISPR, Adobe, CRISPR, Long Term, KRE, Full Port, Fubo, AVTX, Gold and Silver, RTX, KRA, Celsius, YCL, PLL, Fuck Calls, Baba Calls, Nike Calls, FXY, UVXY, Spy Dailies, Google Class, Lagging Hard, AI, UVXY, Uber, PayPal, ASAN, Redfin, and the final place. JPM 170, Tesla above, above 245, VIX Call, IWM, and $40 DraftKings, baby. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you getting hyped about a rally, you know you should get hyped up for every single morning, man, and even beyond the morning, man, and you should think about it. Deep down is the fact that we have freedom and the fact that we have opportunity. And guess what? I didn't fight for it. I did not, I did not have to listen to anybody. I did not go through a long struggle. I did not sacrifice time with my family, but people did. And it's the veterans of the United States of America, baby. That's why here at the cult, before we do anything, before we try to enrich ourselves or do any of that stuff, we must pay homage to that very special group of people that has made that sacrifice. And I really hope you carry this legacy on and always show love, man, to those who deserve it. And that is the people, the active servicemen, the past servicemen, the families, and all the people who have served this country. So for real, veterans, thank you whether you hear this or not, man. We got you in our hearts and we love you. God bless all of you. And big shout out to anybody else out there giving back to their local communities. All the doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, the janitors, the garbage men, the coaches, helping out, giving back, making your community run, baby. Y'all the real ones, baby. So God bless y'all. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Send the Jets! Oh, it's game time, baby. Oh, no. Oh, let's go, baby. Are you kidding me? It's game time, baby. That's it. Howell gave a green light. I'm still shocked, bro. You know that? I'm still, like, I'm flabbergasted. You know that? I'm flabbergasted. Powell is an insane individual. He's an insane you know what I'm saying? Now I really want to interview him. I really want to have dinner with Pal one day. You know what I'm saying? He is he is an insane individual, bro. That's all I got. I got questions, bro. I got questions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I going to ride till the weed ends? The f What? I mean, it's up to you, dog. I, don't, I didn't throw in on it, but, like, I don't know what you mean. <coughs> oh, the week? Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm going to hold till the weekend, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like the Russell again. I mean, we said that was going to be the play of the month for December. Uh, that's it. The Zaza, I'm going to keep holding that, too. I got wrecked on that, <laughs> on the actual Zaza play, bro. I got destroyed, but thankfully, everything else is just massively moving. So, I mean, it's a, it's a drop in the bucket comparatively, but my goodness. Uh, but, yeah, I do. I plan on riding it out. I mean, pretty much the we're going to have a couple of events December 19th. But uh, besides that, it's like you might have a green light until earnings. So, again, unless there, there will be a point where we'll hit momentum and, like, everyone's going to calm down, you know, uh, just because, like, we've ran so fucking much. But then again, you know, this is a, a great environment for, for the market to do that. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. But the way I'm looking at it, earnings are probably going to be the next thing that destroys you as long as Japan doesn't kill us on December 19th.
That's about. But then again, the December nineteenth, Japan. If it was bad, I mean, it'll fuck up the bonds. But then the dollar's gonna get clapped too, and everyone's been loving that lately. So we'll see. But Chad, you got two seconds. Like the video. Drop your thumbs up. Game time. Round one. Fight. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. Oh, oh shit, those KREs ripped. Let's go. Oh, wait, maybe it just... No, 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 I don't even know if it's scamming or not. Those are at $1. twenty, I think? I'll take it, man, I'll take it. I don't know if that's like the scammy morning, you know what I'm saying? But then again, I think you're like one day away from going in the money at this pace. So like if you do this last two days in a row, we will be in the money. And then we're not ghetto spreading those yet. So wait on that. I'll take it. IWM is up by two. IWM was up at almost like two and a half, three uh, early, early in the morning. So we'll see what that does. Dow Jones up a quarter. NASDAQ up only 0.49. Same thing with the SPY. So we will see so far. We still got that random play. I'm glad I held for uh, one extra day there. Mm-mm. All righty. All right. Not bad. Again, I think all of your smaller cap plays are going to move. I'm going to oh, I didn't send out my plays. Shit. So, um, again, watch gold, ZB, uh, the yen, Rivian, Adobe, and then, uh, again, Labu, uh, the biotechs. It sucks. Biotechs would be a great play. They're part of the cyclicals as well. Uh, again, or you could just play IBB. But the problem is that your boy Myrna, your boy Myrna went a little bit insane. So that's going to like mess up the scale a little bit. But then there is a lot of risk, uh, give or take there. So you're climbing back up. I don't even want to see where we're at on the levels. Not bad. 47.33. I honestly thought we'd be up a little bit higher on the SPY. So next level is 47.46. Uh, we'll see when it gets there. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, all the real estate plays are up. Like even Zillow, Open Door, EXP, Realty, they are all getting a nice bid. Even MPW. I might be down to make more trade shares on that, but it's already up 8%. I don't want to be too big of a schmuck. It was 8% yesterday. Yeah, KRE, KRE is up 5% right now. So again, three more dollars will be in the money, but those options are running. So I'm holding them. Again, we'll consider ghetto spreading them once we get up like maybe 800% or something. I know that sounds insane, but this was, you know, use the arc as a game plan, I would say more or less. IWM is up three. I think the futures might be... Yeah, IWM futures are up 2.5 right now. They're hitting a high. Google lagging. Uh, where's one more I want? Oh, cart. Cart, we should have done the average down, but that one's going to do its thing. 21, do your thing. Oh, no shit. Bro, RXRX is in the green now. Hmm. So we'll ride. I forgot about that one. The fake NVIDIA. The fake NVIDIA AI. But I guess I'll take that in cyclical town. Vertical pumped. Everything's going up. Enphase got up there. Again, that was going to be the one I wanted to tax loss sell, but I'll ride it out for a little. That's up 14. Holy shit. That was up only 5%, 3% in the morning. Qualcomm on the high. GM. Again, high ticker is just absolutely gassing right now. Uh, maybe wait till Euro close, but remember, uh, Bank of England and uh, Euro, Nobody, everybody ignored it. We even had strong retail data. Baba. Oh, where's Baidu? Mm-mm. All right, I averaged down on Baidu again. I like the China place. I'm taking that risk. It's stupid, though. I wouldn't follow this one. Honestly, if you're the type who wants, like, quick gains and you want to get in on the momentum, be careful of Baidu. Baidu is high risk, high reward, just in case China flips the script a little bit as we are getting ready to flip this script, okay? So otherwise, you're better off playing momentum if you don't want to ride that one out. Mm. 
I know I'm mad on gold, bro. I didn't even look at the... I don't know if the GLDs went up. I forgot the ones we got at the end of the day. Oh, they went up a little bit. Honestly, they went up like 20%. So that's not... The future's out of the money, but if we could get in on that gold, like gold by itself, bro, that would be a lot better. So yeah, I grabbed 300 shares by do 112.90. That's a, that's a different risk. Like I'm saying, you have momentum elsewhere by do and all of these guys, they have not played along. So, you know, it's not like that play is not going to be as guaranteed. You're better off with a cyclical than going for China, if that makes sense. I already have all the cyclicals. That's why I'm, I'm going for China. So if you, again, with how everything's moving, if you wanted to wait for any of that stuff, you may be better off in that sense. Yeah, Mike, the big seven is not going to participate in a weird way. So I would not expect your NVIDIAs and all these other names to kind of go crazy, if that makes any sense. Right now, it's like literally both days in a row. Like yesterday, the Russell was up 3 4%. Today, the Russell's even up by 26 You see what I'm saying? So it's like every this is everything that was beaten down. Everything is starting to run with that now. This is for everybody else that was clapped at the beginning of the year. This is cyclical now. Easier policy or the forecast of easier policy. That's what's starting to help people out here. So ARC 52. I think we might hit that. Oh, wait. Are we at there? Yeah, 46 to 50. So now you got, you have, damn, I think that's 4,000 on there. Four, yeah, you have 4,000 net on the arcs, actually. So if you wait a little bit, you could close out how many? You could get two more thousand dollars if you want to wait on the arcs. So again, I'm going to keep riding those for a little bit. If you didn't if you didn't get O spread, I would get O spread it right now, you asshole. You could get O spread it for so much. Are you kidding? I would get O spread the shit out of that right now. I But I would sell it further out. So if you still have the arc and you didn't do the ghetto spread... You could go and sell the 56s for like $95 each. So that means you could collect a thousand bucks on every 10 contracts. And then after that, you'll have a gain of what? Four, you'll have literally, that's a $10,000 gain max. If you want to secure 10,000 max and get money up front. But then again, right now at base level, though, if you have those arcs and you didn't get to spread them, that play is $300 to $6,100. So <laughs> either way, the question is, do you take $6,000 right now or do you take the uh, $10,000 and wait a little bit? But yeah, if you didn't get to spread it, I mean, you're, you're chilling regardless. That's just going to be how you want to do it. Yeah, KRE starting to come down. Spy just came back down to VWAP. Again, all I'm seeing is just a bunch of random shit moving here. So we're going to have to find out how this plays out. Mm-mm. Why is NASDAQ not moving? Because, I mean, NASDAQ, wait till the smaller caps in there start moving. But if anything, I think a lot of the attention here, it's going to the underperformers and literally cyclical stocks, more or less. Mm. Yeah, Labu, keep an eye on the biotechs. Again, biotechs, MPW, and gold. But we don't want to be a schmuck and buy them too high. So again, MPW keeps going. We already have some, but either way, those are the ones I really like right now. Gold is a piece of shit, man. <laughs> Why we shouldn't have sold the gold yesterday? I'm mad I did that. I did it in like three minutes. They got me on there. 2061 on GC futures, bro. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, RE materials leading. But watch those. If those pull back, those would be the next ones. But I mean, you could chase if you're a chaser. But at the same time, again, if you already got good plays, like the thing is, if we have all the plays we have now. We have cushion, but you don't want to add into your cushion because if it turns around, you're going to lose your gains and the fresh money. So more or less, you get what I'm saying? It's like if you already have good positioning, you don't need to chase too much. But these are the opportunities out there. Again, it's everything we've been talking about for December with all of the cyclicals. I haven't looked at AMD. I think AMD is actually, you know, as far as any of those chips, maybe watch Qualcomm. And then Broadcom is probably unreal. And then Spy's still going lower, believe it or not. I think Microsoft is getting murdered. Damn, Airbnb 147. Yeah, Microsoft's down by 0.9. Apple is up by 0.7. That's not too bad. Goldman's running. JP Morgan, 161. XLF is coming down. The KRE chill out. They're still up four. Mm -mm. PayPal. PayPal, very good. I think we're green on that one now. Marvel running. Siri. GLD is just a nightmare. MPW, take it. Dude, two more percent off of that. 
Yin is on the high. So shout out to China. And then Russell's trying to edge back up here. Where's ZB? Thanks for the MBW talk up 10. Hey, man, GG. GG. Again, hopefully this all laughs, and hopefully they don't, like, get, get clapped. You know what I'm saying? Baidu gap. Again, Baidu, I'm telling you right now, I'm giving you full disclaimer. That play is different than chasing everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, because Baidu is in its own little world, literally called China. <laughs> so it's like right now, this is a global rally, but it's all like U.S. stocks and U.S. beaten down cyclicals. That has more of an opportunity than any China play when it's all said and done. The only good thing is if the rally gets out of hand and then everybody starts buying the underweight one. But like for real, China is very, very high risk, high reward. So as long as you're, you understand that, like, it's not like you see everything running up and you're like, oh, let me grab something. Let me go for the one that's down. Baidu is not really the one you want, if that makes any sense. You know, but it's like all, the only other thing, everything else is higher. But I just hope you guys get that because I don't know what's going to happen with it. And then if that gets clapped while the market shoots up another 2%, you're going to get really mad about it. So just keep that in mind. But, you know, I know that risk. I've been I've been playing this Baidu shit for a while. Baba leaps. Yeah, even Baba's up, but Baba's still... They're all in the gutter, though. They're all getting their 1%, 2%, but it's nothing. AMD, 52-week high, Sock sell, Snapchat hit 1680. Zillow's dropping now, so they're still up by 2.8. Where's Open Door and Redfin? Redfin's up 11. Open Door up 13. Spy just hit VWAP, the low of the day, and then coming up, but we are pretty wild here. 4726. So, again, that's where you're bouncing off of. Airlines doing great. Oh, that's a good call. Real estate plays, 13 months. Let's go. I think real estate plays are great. All of them are going to do good. The only problem is, just like anything, they you know they ran up a little bit. But, again, with this green light, theoretically, the real estate is very, very cyclical. And they're going to be able to benefit off of, well, I say less cyclical than not. But with rates, they do definitely get their uh, they get their juice more or less. Yeah, Pfizer's starting to pop up. Uh, where's Disney? Disney at 94. Weren't they at like 98, though? Am I tripping? Yeah, Disney was at 96, 96. Okay, Spy coming back up. Russell already hit it. Russell's leading every single move. So, again, Spy. Nasdaq's actually going, too, though. But they have not hit a high. But Russell has already hit a new high on the day. 3% on the Russell. It's not too late to get into plays, but, like, there's going to be a pullback eventually, just like yesterday. Like, I don't know if you saw what I did yesterday. I was top ticking the shit out of everything. And then I would even try to sell out quickly. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> it's not coming down. So like even my bond play, by the time it came down, it came down to like my break even. So realistically, what I would tell you, don't really worry about the, the plays or is it too late? I would worry about your control with the budget in a sense, or just don't throw too much money into the hype where you would get mad if that turned around. So like I was just saying with some of the gold plays or even MPW, it's just like you don't want to, th if you have other plays, you don't want to throw mo crazy money at something because then if it comes down, you're going to lose your gain and you're going to lose the new money you put out. So again, I think you could take really defined risk but you have to just make, don't get out of hand. That's it. The only way you get out of hand is if you top tick everything and then it's a top tick and then it comes down. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're gonna, pretty much you got to stagger into it more or less is the, is the best way I could explain it. But then you got to just, you still got to watch out for that. But you know, if you let the greed get the best of you before you know it, you're going to throw all of your cash in at, at, at a certain level. Maybe it benefits you. Maybe it doesn't that nobody could tell you that right now. But for the most part, there is that green light in the market. Tesla Investor Group combined, represents combined one trillion of assets. Request meeting with car maker. Tesla's investor deeply concerned about conflict in Sweden. Tesla got letter from fifteen Nordic institutional investors. Are well, Tesla's going up. Spy's about to break out right now. Russell hitting another high. Gold, come down, please. I have my coin. Man, we should have known. We were doing it the whole time. Yeah, green. You have a green light on TLT for to a degree. I know you. You know you guys would have loved to front run it at the low, and I've been telling you wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. But like now, at the very least, bonds are good. The only issue: watch three point eight on the ten year, three point eight, and then three point six on the ten year. So if you really want to play TLT like a G, those are your you watch the ten year and factor that in. But that's literally what you got to keep an eye out for because now we're already below four percent.
Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, MPW, that was a good pickup. We talked about it yesterday. Again, I went with the other stuff, but I, I really, I do want MPW. If it didn't go up nine, I would have bought it this morning if it didn't go up that much. So maybe on the first pullback, but then again, City. And then that's the crazy part. You know the City play we had from the beginning of the year? That is in the green right now. So one of our shitty bank plays is in the green. Bank of America, we're a dollar away from going break even. That is insane. That is insane. But I still want gold. <laughs> I still, at Bank of America, I'm down 500 bucks. <clears throat> at one point, I think I was down five grand on it. And then we got to collect the dividends for the whole entire year. <laughs> you got back into MPW after yesterday. Oh, wow. Very timely question, Hunter. Very, <laughs> that's awesome. That's very awesome to hear. I, I, want, I want more MPW. I'm kind of pissed I didn't get any more, but it's okay, man. It happens. MPW is doing very... I still have so much that needs to come back, so I'm not tripping on anything, but that is a great one. And then, dude, the KRE is 30 cents to $1.60 in 48 hours. So that's literally 300 bucks into $2,000 right now. So again, we'll wait a little bit uh, to ghetto spread it. You can, if you feel scared, you could ghetto spread or sell half. What would cause jobs to decrease? Uh, I mean, like a real decrease is going to be a recession, but everything else... It will just be, you know, natural job market delays, so on and so forth. Spies coming up. Okay, bonds are even hitting. Remember, we had a ZB from yesterday. That's why I like I went with Baidu, but I don't want to get too greedy. I have every single play now. So again, we we're even in the bonds and those again the ZQ is fucking me up, but it's actually calming down now. So again, I was down a lot more, but it's only five hundred dollar loss compared to yesterday. Still fifty eight hundred, but we've made that back on everything else. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I'm going to wait for gold. Mm -mm. LT is ripping. Um, I haven't even looked yet. You will see. I like Starbucks. It's up it's up a decent amount though. But again, try to find uh that's it's it's blue chip, so that makes sense. As long as it's like, seriously, if it's still down year to date right now, yeah, or it's like right where we started the year and it's a high quality name, those are the ones I'm, I'm going to be liking there. So again, I, I think Starbucks had a really nice rally, but where are they at? Yeah, you're, that, 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 this could meet the criteria more or less. Again, they have their own thing and they were kind of one of the leaders, but in general, that does meet the criteria to a degree. Levels on the day, I think the next one's 47.76. Yeah, 4746, excuse me. And right now we just hit a high of the day, 4738, Nasdaq 0.8, Spy 0.6, Russell 0.3, or 3.0. Mm -hmm. Pfizer. Okay. We got the random SoFi. Well, that Rivian's for March. I think just Uber and SoFi are the ones we have till tomorrow. Well, we might have to get rid of the SoFi play. We'll give him a little bit of time. He's part of the regionals. LT gapped up six. <laughs> it's a lot of good mood. I'm telling you, LT is is loving all of this, man. So again, eventually it's it's got it's not going to be like this all the time. You know, when it's bad, I'll tell you it's going to be good. When it's good, I'm going to tell you, prepare for the bad, you know. So don't get too mad at me. But in general, I mean, LT is it's, it's going to love this. But think think for the future, man. That's it now. The, the one thing that has me, like, jacked up about the long term is that simply, regardless of what I thought was going to happen, that it's going to keep me in the game. That's that's the only – that's it because, like, it's like, hey – whether it's soft lands or not, whether the soft landing data turns into recessionary data, you know, I'm just, I'm glad that we have a, you know, we're borderline 90% invested uh, getting into all of it. So that that's the thing. That's why, like, just make sure you guys understand that at certain times, like, especially when everything's going crazy, if you already have exposure, you don't need to push it, you know, and that's, that's exactly, that's why I'm like, the long term is a very, it's very nice to know that there's, you know, there's only going to be so much FOMO when you have the long term in the background. 
Uh, how high? I mean, IWM, I think 2400 is what I'm looking for. I think it. Uh, I'll probably sell out at like 2200 but I do think uh, 2400 is the top. So, and again, but like right now, like 2100 2200 is like the low end of like January rally, more or less. So, and again, that would also bring you back to the March high, which is what we just broke a couple of weeks ago. So again, it's not, I don't think I'm, what I'm saying is too crazy. Some of you may disagree, but I'm kind of aiming for around there. But even then, kind of watching the shot clock too, uh, we'll probably reevaluate by end of December. Or if we hit that target, if we get high 21s, 22 before then, then there you go. We did play pump it up at 4,700, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gold. ZB still on the high. Gold's coming down now, but it literally ran up another 10 bucks. MPW six dollar push. Hey man, if it comes, you know it's cool if it comes back down, bro. I'm cool with that. <laughs> mm -mm. What's my average per month? I don't know. But I got I got wrecked this year on the trade. So long term at all time highs, and you know we've had some killer pickups. But literally up until like this last month, I hit a lot of great trades this month that were amazing. But other than that, it's been a it's been a wonky road of uh, a lot of right moves and a lot of wrong moves this year at the same time. Is it worth selling anything in the LT? I never sell the LT until I reach my ten year minimum, or I need to buy a property. So it's up to you uh, at that point, but I would I would not be selling anything. Uh, again, I told that to you in October, so I think I could tell it to you now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I told you this at the lows, I could tell you this at the highs, and don't don't judge me, okay? Because some people get mad when you say. I've noticed in the world nowadays, like you say, don't sell. People get mad, but at the same time, it's not a recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor, but. Uh, the way I look at it, that's it. Bill, I mean, Bill's a different story. Bill's not really a stock. Uh, Bill is a ETF, and it's a it's a bond equivalent, cash equivalent. I listen to Lagarde a little bit. They're pulling forward stimulus, and then we're coming back down after Spies hitting a high. Russell's just going to the first high of the day. Redfin, yeah. I did Zillow come back up? Redfin uh, or Zillow is dropping. Nah, Zillow came up. That's crazy. Yeah, Redfin's at 10, 18%. Jeez. I think Fed's looking at rate cuts because of difficulty servicing national debt. It could be. There's a, I don't know, bro. I mean, I'm telling you, I could speculate so many reasons why they're doing it. Like I'm saying, maybe even getting ready for Japan. That could be one. But like, dude, it's it's insane. Uh, like, <laughs> you know, like I, I really, what Powell did was just in insanity. So, you know, it could, people could blame the election, what you just said, servicing national debt. Maybe they see a recession right around the corner. Maybe they really believe the economy is going to stay like this for a long time. So unfortunately it's, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to, to forecast when it's all said and done. No one's watching DE. Uh, they're killing it. This could be one of those names. Uh, so Deer is negative on the air, but they might have had a crazy run up. They kind of like look like one of the oil plays, but in a weird, I mean, that's a high quality name and at least it's down on the year. But again, like look at some of those real cyclicals that were beaten down, like real year to date loss. Those are what is, that's where all of the money is flowing to a lot of, again, all of that, uh, you know, that, uh, that money market, you know, you hear five trillion money market. That's that's where it's in. Mm -mm. Tesla hitting new high. Redfin is still going up there. Spy at VWAP. Bonds are looking good still, but they came down a little bit too. Uh, Tesla rocketing new candle right there. AMD on the high. KRE still right below 5%. Chilling. Mara. Where's Mara? Coin Nordstrom's on the high. Even Lucy's getting some. Bro, Redfin's going insane. Yeah, Hershey's. That's that's enough. That's a high quality name. So it's like, keep those in mind. I mean, you guys could pick. Just use the same criteria. Uh, but at the same time, too, you could also wait till we get a slowdown at the same time. 
You know what I'm saying? Right now, there's like this global rally. There's a lot of FOMO between the last two days. We're still, some names are still cheap, some aren't. But it's uh, when it's all said and done, like I'm saying, look at your exposure. If I, the only reason I would be FOMOing in the year to date lo losers right now, only if I had an extreme amount of cash. That's it. Otherwise, like if you still, like if, if nothing has changed, and you're like looking at everything, like again, if you're not, if you weren't really, really weren't optimistic a couple days ago and were terrified and certain things and then been like, but you don't have a lot of cash, you know, you don't have, don't like go and reach into the piggy bank to, to go and chase after things, if that makes any sense. But it's just like, if you do have like, if you have 50% cash, you have a shit ton of cash, go look for, for some of those like year to date, high quality names that are down. You're buying year to date down. That is that's okay. That's I don't have a. I've been saying buy the underperformers all year. So even though that's one thing I at least got, and I mean we were down on them for a decent amount of time, but that idea I believe still remains. That diversification, no matter what, it's going to protect us because we don't know what's going to happen next. This is great. It's fun while it lasts, and it could last for a couple of weeks. It could last for a couple of months in the new year. But at the end of the day, when it does turn around, you don't like every other time. You don't want to get caught with your pants down. So just again, if you stick to a simple strategy and plan and outlay it little by little, you're, you're going to be good. Mm -mm. Break even on my Walgreens. Do I want, uh, do I want off of this ride? <laughs> it's up to you, sir. <laughs> There's a lot of underperformers. That's why, like, honestly, what I would suggest is go pull up a list of the S&P 500, Okay. And then when you have that list of S&P 500 stocks, go through the ones that you actually know about. And like, so if you see a name, it says, I don't know, Disney. I'm not saying, I'm just giving like something like Procter Gamble, just something you know about, right? And then go look at it and go put it up on your chart and then and see where it's at. See how it's moved over the last year. See how it's moved over the last three years. And then hopefully that, and if it is down, if you really, before you buy it, right? understand why it went down this this year though okay go look at their latest earnings go look at at what some people were saying about it and find out what was the reason like walgreens has a reason why it went down you know what i'm saying mpw has a reason why it went down but just again and i don't even think those are uh, uh, walgreens is s&p mpw is not so mpw wouldn't even make that list you see what i'm saying so go through that and, and find them because that's all I've been doing. I've been telling people anytime they bring this up, I just pull up the S&P and I just randomly, I read the first name that looks familiar to me and I go look at the chart and it's, and I see it there. So that will do a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still in the Humana shares and they're clapped. That was actually the bad play of this month. Mm -hmm. Yen's climbing back up. Well, besides the ZQ yesterday. XOM Disney. XOM, though, it has energy. I'm not an energy fan, so you got to watch out for how the energies work. But then again, that's just my opinion. I don't let that stop you at all. Mm. A line getting a monster breakout. I got snap up here. STTK. Wasn't that yesterday? I think that was a biotech. Labu. I really want to get Labu, but that's up way too much. IBB would be safer. And then again, Myrna's in the way. SMCI, Amazon, Chiclay. Oh, getting some reds. Russell's still holding up great. 2.5 on the futures, 2.7 on the index, but futures are trading lower. Oh, you're the guy that emailed me. Of course you are. It's your name, baby. So, yeah. Uh, you got Lyft, you have Lyft $10 calls, right? What did you buy the stock at? What's your purchase price on Lyft? So you have January, you sold covered calls, correct? So the call is covered. So you're in at thirteen ninety, and then you, oh, so you sold a $10 call. So unfortunately, that is where you made your mistake. So don't worry, we could still get out of it. None of this is a recommendation but don't ever fucking do that again, okay? Everybody, if you have a covered call, do not sell a strike price 
below what you paid for the stock. Are y'all with me? Never. Never. Do not do that ever again. That is literally rule number one. Why? Because then it's you're, you're stuck in a situation like this. So all you got to do, though, super simple. Right now, the play is worth $5.30, or 545 is what you have to buy it back for. All right? So I looked at it for you last night, and I saw the Januaries, but now you can't sell anything. You could sell the 12s at 5 because the idea is you need to make up the money you're down on. If you could roll it to another contract with more premium, you're not going to lose anything, and we're trying to raise our price. So in this case, you bought at 13 We need to get above $13. So sadly, I think we're going to have to push it to January 26. Oof. So best I could do is $15, unfortunately. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that $2 a share, you could roll over on it. But honestly, you have till January. Maybe you wait. So let me go back to it. Which one is it? Yeah, we need to make 530. Ugh. You might be able to do the 17s, but here's $15 call is your best bet. You see what I'm saying? Because now you close out the other one at 530, and then you short the 560, or you short the $15 for January at 560. You're at least going to gonna get more premium back. So the money you lost, you get it right back on the option. And then now your purchase price is $15 instead of, uh, instead of $10, which would guarantee you a loss. So no, probably taking the L is just as dumb as, as selling the call below. Because why would you take the loss if you own the equity and he literally does not have to take a loss? So right now, though, the only opportunity that you can do is sell the 15. So you close the January one and then short the $15 call for January. And then that's a bad A. Oh, my gosh. And then you have the page. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's not cyclical. It's all the time. Bradley Frizzle and the Peach, even if Amazon is dumping right now. Horna! <laughs> but then let me uh, let me tell you this. I love you, Bradley Frizzle. I love you. I'm helping out Edward with it. The Peach approves. Amen. But Edward, if you do that play, you have to hold lift for two years. You understand that? So I don't know. Lyft is in the long term, correct? Or is this just some trade and then you did a covered call on? Because that's the issue. If it's long term and you're already going to hold for two years, who cares? But just keep in mind, I'm telling you to sell a January 26 contract. That is two years from now. Uh, two years and that's like 800 days or something like that. Some 600 something. So yeah, it's at least going to make sure no matter what your price isn't lower. That, that will make sure you do not lose. It'll get you out of that situation. No, if Lyft rips, it will not be brutal. He's just going to miss out on any potential profit above 15. So you have to think about it. Right now, he bought the stock at $13, $13.90, but then he agreed to sell the stock at $10. So right now, if he waits to January 19th and that stock stays above, he loses. He's going to lose $3, $4 per share guaranteed right now. And then whatever, he'll collect the $10 from the contract once that contract expires. So right now he's losing. So if he's going to hold it and plans to hold it now, what he can do is roll over that $10 contract to a $15 contract. So then at the very least, he's getting $15 a share instead of getting $10 a share. And then he's getting more premium for $15 a share than his loss on $10 a share. So it's very logical to do the rollover. The, he's going to have to hold it for the two years, but if he's holding it for the long term, then there you go. And then if the stock ever dies, he's going to be able to benefit off of that premium that he sold today. So it's not really like a, a dumb idea to roll it over. The only issue is that if the stock goes to $20, he's not making any money now. That's it. The option may look like it's going down, but he's not making any money. If it goes to $30, he would have made 100%. Nope. He's walking away with a with a dollar per share because he bought at $13.90. So that's it. His gains are capped. So, But he's going to get a get-out-of-jail-free card, but it's a deal with the devil because now he gets out of jail, but now he has no more upside for the next two years on that stock and, unless the unless they add more premiums and then we could refinance later. Technically, what you're doing is refinancing a trade. 
He agreed at a certain premium for a certain time, and now the rates have moved around. So now he could refinance at a better rate, but then it's going to cap him until rates and, and prices move. Yeah, opportunity. He loses opportunity cost, 100%, a million percent. But right now, he's, already, he's losing way more than anything. That's the thing. If he does nothing he, and it stays here, he's going he's gonna to lose everything. That's it. He's going to walk away with a long-term play with an L. Take the L because Uber and Lyft are the same. I don't. Did you not understand that? So that's my take. Not a recommendation, but I hope that helps. Rather take loss and go KR. You guys are crackheads. I don't think you understand what is being communicated right now. <laughs> are you guys not like understanding this? Like why? Because you guys are like, do you? I don't like to lose. Like you know what I'm saying? Saying avoid a loss, get your money. And you'll be good. You could go play KRE and do whatever you want afterwards. But, like, this is a long-term covered call play. This has nothing to do with anything else. You know, so it's not like uh, – it's it's not – it's honestly – it's not even that deep uh, when it's all said and done. That's why I'm like, it's, <laughs> it's real. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, did you see my Instagram? You see the thumbnail, bro? Josh is super patient. He would wait that long for minimal gains. I would, if especially what's the alternative, jackass? <laughs> like, you got to think about it. The alternative is take a $300 loss now and call it a day versus what? I mean, I, I, I doesn't, and unless you guys are saying go pay, pay the 4,000% loss on the contract, take the loss on the contract, which is probably half of the value of the shares. And then just so that you might make money if it goes up to $30 or you just you keep rolling and rolling and rolling like every other time and you'll be good. <laughs> I don't I really don't get it. And it's magnified by 12. Oh, wow. So they're even worse. But hey, amen. I am super patient. I got the long term proves it. <laughs> Shout out to the long term, baby. Shout out to the long term. Mm -mm. YOLO, this is the internet. I mean, either way, he'll do good. I think Edward knows what's up. And like at the same time, hopefully you guys can learn from it. And then again, the long term, that's the beauty. That's the beauty when you do have time again. And hopefully just, you know, I made a YouTube short on it this year, though. You don't make the mistake of selling uh, cover calls just below the price. Mm -mm. I never found out about IBKR. No. And they're still down. That was so weird. I did not tax loss rad. I'm going to do it later. That one's not going to get to benefit off of any of this. And then it sucks because I wanted to do my tax losses at December 18th. But depending on this rally, I just I might wait till the last the last damn week and call it a day. Because, again, uh, there's plays I was going to sell even yesterday. And then they shot up 20%. Yeah, I don't want I don't want what happened last year to happen, so we will see. Mm -hmm. Arc. PayPal's up two point nine. Uh MPW up fifteen. Why are people saying that smart money is keeping out of this? J Pow pressure yesterday. Well, because I, I mean there's already a lot of people invested. So in a weird way, like I would argue that smart money is already invested. Smart money isn't going to chase. And then if they are, they're going to go for the cheap one. So there's just a lot of money on the sidelines. And I think that some of it's going to go to the top tickers and the, uh, the, the high premium. But then, again, the cyclicals or higher quality cyclicals, that's where it's at. But if anything, I mean, I would argue smart money is already in the game. Mm-mm. Rad will recover. I mean, this is the time to do it, but I've I've lost a lot of hope on that one. You never know, but at the same time, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a pipe dream or not. I think it's just going to determine on, like, the actual bankruptcy proceeding and, like, what really happens, but that might be it. Uh, Pfizer for the long term, yeah. I mean, I have to wait a couple days here. 
that account transfer got me screwed up. But either way. Google, I just think a lot of big tech, big tech is not hot right now. So again, I think if anything, money's coming out of big tech and going into what we've been talking about for the last couple of days there and even all year on the on the laggers. Intel's running up there. But then again, some of the chips are just in their own world, whether they're a leader or not. IEP, I have no idea. I would try to stay away from it because I just, it seems weird. But I mean, do your thing, 21. Booking, Airbnb is almost 150. Booking's great. I love booking. It's just, it's expensive. So that's all. So again, like I love Airbnb, but I really do like the the travel space for to a degree. Not, I don't like airlines and shit like that, but I do think booking is a is a better quality Airbnb. But like you're you're paying for it as well too. So it's not like again they have a cheaper premium, but I don't think booking's uh, you know it's still a 24 PE ratio, and I'm sure I haven't checked any of the other metrics lately. It says Airbnb 17, but I think that's because of the one time tax approval thing. Airbnb should be at like 30. 30 or 32. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, we got a hype train? Yo, man. What's up? Oh, man. Let's go, Chatadonia. <laughs> Good morning. Intel to uh, expects to capture larger portion of accelerators in 24 with suite of AI accelerators led by Goud. IMF says near-term prospects for Algeria. What's up with HD? They're part of the real estate stuff, I would argue, but they had a nice rebound already. That's the crazy part. So, like, they already died, and then they rebounded even a little bit ahead. But now I think they're just benefiting. Again, real estate's weird I because, to a degree, I feel like the home builders and, like, the bigger real estate stocks, not like the REITs and the financial ones you would think that they would be uh, a little bit more cautious uh, in the sense that potential rate cuts may lead to, you know, hurting their demand. But for now, real estate plays, especially even the home builders, every, and again, even Home Depot, if you think about it, it's this idea that rates will, will be lower in the next six months. That's it. So if you really look at real estate right now, even anything related to real estate, yesterday Powell is pretty much insinuating and, and people are expecting that, hey, six months from now, nine months from now, rates are going to be lower. So what do you think is going to happen to real estate? You know, if, if the economy stays strong, that's a very good thing. But if the economy does turn around by the time we're ready to lower rates, then we're going to have a problem. Make do, uh, the RTY just got clapped there. So it's still up 2%, but you're off like 1% from the highs now. ES is just chilling. ES still 0.43. NASDAQ 0.5. May Zaza. I mean, just short the Decembers, uh, to be honest. Uh, but then, then again, the Mays have higher probability, so you'll be better. But then again, yesterday, I shorted the ones at 0.6. If the market keeps getting aggressive, you still, I mean, again, you could lose. So my max, so you know how you see the Zaza? It says like 94.68. The top is 100. So just factor, that's how close you are. So if you short it and it's at 97, you're risking three basis points all the way around because it could go to 100, right? And then if it could go lower, that's where you make your money. So that that's just all you got to do when you look at it. But I'm on the December ones, and they're calming down a little bit because right now the market's pricing in 145 basis points of cuts, and Powell said 75. So we'll see. Intel, AMD, Tesla on the high. AMD, Intel, 52-week high. Apple's even going up. I don't know if Apple's all-time high yet. Is it? 199. Tesla's ripping right now, too. Uh, where's oil? Oil went up three, back to 72. Bro, blow. Uh, AI did. I just had some AI, AI news from Intel. They might be having a presentation. I wouldn't doubt it. Mm. Mm. 
We had two trillion in savings two years ago. Now it's two hundred or three hundred. People don't have cash. I agree that the consumer and the amount we had is is dwindling heavy, but the only diff the the money market now. There's still we have record amount of, m of money just sitting in cash. That's the crazy part about all this. That's why. I, but then again, that's why I'm saying watch the cyclicals, because I don't know if everybody, I don't think this move makes everybody take that cash and buy Nvidia. But that's the that's the only other side. But that's the financial world. The consumer is dwindling, but it hasn't shown the weakness yet. But then the investment world is just flush with cash right now. Crown Castle. Uh, C is that CCI? Yeah, I don't think I've looked into them too much. Crown Castle. Sounds very familiar. Upstart. They ran up a lot, but like also, I mean, they're down. They're back to underneath 2029. Is that real estate? If it's real estate, it still applies with cyclicals. Yeah, it's a REIT. So I have to look at what they... I don't know what type they hold. I think you guys told me this one, though, last time. Oh, cell... T they got clapped off of the... Uh, if it's cell towers, they got clapped off of... Uh, off of the AT&T shit and all of that. But this is this is an underperforming REIT. So again, I mean, you are taking the risk from here. But, you know, it, if you like it and you think that's there... I, I don't know. I think you could... I'd rather just go with O, to be honest. If that was the case. I think O is still pretty cheap. Uh, and that, like, you know, it's still kind of at the lows with the less dollars. But then again, I mean, I don't think the towers are too bad. They just had a very bad year off of AT&T, Verizon, and the rest of the communications. KRE coming down. No. It was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. Three. It was up five. So it's already gave up, like, half the gain, a little less. Mm. Let's see. Uh, a little flush there. You're getting a cheek lay at the low. So coming back down, SPY low of the day, but you're still green by point. I mean, I don't know. Maybe SPY could easily go red. Same thing with the NASDAQ. Dow is about to go red after hitting all-time highs yesterday. A firm. Yeah, you're getting, again, I think some things need to move around. And energy is up. I don't know if that's going to play into all of it. Apple's on the low again. KRE is dropping. MPW gave up some. Back down to 10. That was up like, what, 15? CCCC is going insane. I feel like we saw that one the last couple of days. C4 Therapeutics, yeah. XLF. Still barely gaining. TLT is starting to pop up. Um
Sick Jay Z. Okay, so I closed one of my yen plays. Uh, the one that's going to expire in four days took 2,800 profit. Uh, but then I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll it to the next month. Uh, I already have two other ones for June, but I'm going to. Let me wait a second here. You can hear the fan. Oh, that's how quiet it got. That's good. This is good, Habibi. This is good. And then by dues coming back down. Why? Not trading on this contract month? What the fuck? What do you mean? Am I tripping? It says I can't trade on the on the 6JF. I can't roll over now cuz I already closed out the first one. Six J. Why? Maybe it's saving me, but why did they let me do the other one then? Oh, that sucks. I wouldn't have sold that then. They only let you do three month increments. So then the 6JG or the 6JH? Damn. Damn, that sucks. Because I didn't want to pay the premium. That's why I my... Oh, I should have kept it, dude. That's bullshit. Whatever. Tighter spread, but no. All right, I rolled over to six JH. I know I have three of the e of the yen contracts. The other two are in fucking June, but that's stupid. I really thought I could go to the other one. Seven one five six five. Huh? Mm. 
Ooh, that's trading lower. That's stupid. Let me get in tonight. It's a. I rolled over my other yen contract. So remember, I, I rolled over in advance to June a couple weeks ago. Those rocketed up, and I had one more that was going to expire in a couple of days. So I closed out of that one, and I did the rollover right now. But then it wouldn't let me roll over to the contract uh, on the next month. I had to go to 6JH24. IWM bouncing back. Watch out for that. That, and again, see what the banks do. Maybe this is... Our little bit of opportunity, but then again, we don't know when it's gonna. I, I feel like we, I feel like we might go down and fill a gap, maybe. But at the end of the day, too, though, it's like it's very hot right now. But then there's also a lot of crackheads. Very hard to say. I still have another idea. This holds till sep till September, December, January. Did Powell pull off this soft landing? I think it depends on if the data turns or not. That's it. If that makes any sense. Okay, I bought back the 6JZ, so I'm going to keep one front month that expires in four days, and then I also did another rollover, but I'm going to flip that other 6J. Snap gap. All right. I think I'm done with those plays. Uh, snap. Damn. Snap's about to hit 17. All right. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. Mm. Apple. Peter, where's GLD? Man. Gold. The gold bugs. This is. The, how do you guys feel, gold bugs? I don't know. Like, this is now, again, I give the green light for gold now. Unfortunately, I'm green lighting it at the highs, but, you know, this, it, it feel like that makes sense, though, with the whole 2008 scenarios and everything else. Literally, you get the run up on policy. Policy doesn't kill us, then gold is going to get favorable low rates. Otherwise, it's there. You will lose money. Yeah, not a recommendation. Amen. Amen. Is there a like button on YouTube? There is. They say you buy gold at highs. I really, and I feel a little less of a schmuck, but, uh, <laughs> but at the very least, though, as long as the policy, if if we do get rate cuts and now the signaling, like I said, just you know, Powell will green light it all for us. Let me watch in Hood. Is Hood still up? They had news earlier. They had November numbers. And then they were up. The bonds might be a little overdone. They could be. I mean, I think 3.8 and 3.6 to the 10-year. Those are going to be your spots to, like, reassess everything. Because that's it. We already, we're already we supposed to reassess at 4. You see what I'm saying? So 4%. Remember, anything below 4, that's like, holy shit. 
So now we're at 3.9, but 3.9 is a very weird spot. Like we, you have a home at 3.8. See what I'm saying? Like even like 3.8885, 8.5, but like you have way more of a home at 3.8 and then 3.6 is like really where it's like, okay. But so I think bonds have about 15 more basis points essentially, at least on the 10 year. I'm trading the ZB. That one's still up, but that's the idea. U.S. natural gas storage, negative 55 billion estimate, negative 56 billion. Yeah, tomorrow is a big expiration. Tomorrow is actually going to be huge. So everything is going to expire a lot. I think it's like $5 trillion, different asset classes, again, futures, all of that. you are going to gamble on the $6 weekly calls. Go for next week. Uh, again, I, I don't recommend it, uh, any of these plays, but, <laughs> you know, I've, I said it to somebody uh, yesterday, uh, and they wanted to go in on puts, and I even then I said, regardless of what you want to do, just get one extra week of time. Uh, just it's not going to – I don't think it's going to hurt you. And then if you get – the because next week's going to be low liquidity. So if anything even melts up and – calms down and you see how the wave has been but like especially like think about it like the russell we've played it all month we've had great plays on the russell i flipped out of it so many times but i held those m2ks and dude like an extra week if you are right will go a very very long way uh especially when like everything is very volatile and plays this little game so you know just like that extra week i think is going to protect you a lot better rather than going for the weeklies where you're just more prone to get clapped off of it. So just like the time, give yourself a little bit of time. I, again, I'm not telling you to get months and years. Although, again, if you do like a cyclical rotation, I think March is where you want to eye to. Uh, but other than that, it's like I just get an extra week. I've noticed those contracts. I've still, I watched so many of them last week go crazy. You know, we dabbled with a couple of options and we did good on them. But the ones that I missed, I was looking at next week's and they, they all hit. They all hit good. And they, if they catch the wave, you're, you're going to love them there. But a daily here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, it's just, you know, higher risk, high reward. But I do think you got a better opportunity on the other side. I think any China play, any big China play is super high risk, high reward. Because what could happen is that in the next month, the market could keep rallying, let's say, 1%, 2%, right? Take you near all-time highs. Uh, that's, that's, again, 3% away. Let's say you go half of that, right, in a month. You could have that, but then all of the China plays could go down 5%, 10%, if not more. That's the issue with China. But then <clears throat> if China does good, then then there you go. You're going to, you're going to catch up with the rally. You'll, it'll be a little outperformer. You know, if we go one, 1%, 1 they'll go up 10% type B. So that's the only risk with China plays right now. That's it. I do. I, but I, I doubled down on Baidu again. I think that was my third purchase on it. So I think I'm done as far as averages, but I do like it. But I'm, again, I already have the cyclical. So that's why I'm not really uh, too crazy, but like, I understand I could miss out or it could hurt my gains. If I literally, literally just China does nothing. Gold is dropping. The gold bucks. Mm -mm. Roblo, the, I'm, the, I'm the voice of reason. The top isn't near. I don't know, man. Fuck a voice of reason. And I don't mean that like anti-philo. All I mean is that every conservative economist yesterday was, it just Powell said, fuck that. <laughs> Whatever Powell, did, I don't even know how Powell and the Fed all these guys on the Fed, bro, I don't know what they like. Seriously, y'all always tell me, like, oh, I bought weed. I Y'all y'all don't have what they have. You know that? Y'all ain't smoking the same loud pack that the, that the, that the FOMC governors are smoking on. Y'all, nobody is because they they're they're so optimistic. You know that? Straight up. Maybe they all do shrooms, man. May, honestly, they felt they were feeling very optimistic. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah, the shrooms for real, bro. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. So I don't know. They know something we don't. They do. They probably do. Uh, I, I could definitely get behind it. That's why it's either the by the time they start cutting, we may see that. But if we don't, I mean, there's still a possibility that we don't. And then, holy shit, you know, it's it's going to be crazy. Powell said he's ready to raise rates if needed, but no one wants to talk about it. It's all. No, it, 
it's because everything else like imagine if i told you uh it's again it's like it's like i told you I've, i believe in certain things and then you see me at the strip club every day it's like i told you i follow islam and i order pork every single morning for breakfast that's what jerome powell is doing <laughs> you see he could tell you all he wants oh yeah well, i'll raise rates if necessary but the whole entire dot plot is pricing in as close to possible as the most aggressive Fed cutting that the bond market is pricing in. That doesn't like you see what I'm saying? He's saying one thing and then doing the exact opposite uh, or at least the whole committee is uh, more or less. Michael. First song I learned was Onward Christian Soldiers. You are the Intel officer. Wait, what? I feel like I that sales from I need to listen to this now, Michael. God bless you, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And Michael, Michael sent me a, a cool email. Michael want to gather a charity. Michael said we should start. We should we could put together a charity and I'm down with it. I, and I, I'm not going to host the charity, but I, I'm definitely going to donate to a charity. Y'all could be inspired to or not, but. We can't donate until the market goes red. And I don't mean it has to go red, red, but like once everything cools down, I don't want mother effers only donating because the market ripped up 5% in like two days on the Russell. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I've, I've said that in the past before, because usually it's like people get hella unstable sometimes. Like if you start just like <laughs> when the market's like really good, you're like, whoa, let's go. And then when it's down, then you feel really bad. So it's like, you know, I think at the right time, but I'm definitely down, man. Uh, we already did a couple of charities so far, but let's let's run it, baby. Let's run it, man. And God bless you for everything, Michael. I appreciate you, man. You a real one. You a OG, bro. A, a, like an OG, man. I love it. Bill Ackman, majority, we be piling in inflation hedge names. Well, I mean, I think cyc I think you go with high quality cyclical. Worst case scenario, it dies like everything else. Like that has been like, again, these dividend stocks that have already been dying. You know what I'm saying? White man, Pfizer flipped. Oh, they hate it. Mm -hmm. Again, things are coming down. That little bounce did not last. That first buy the dip may have gotten eaten up. Gold is coming down now. Mm -mm. Oh, the Zen yacht, the Zen drop. Yeah, Tesla's just running on all of this. Spy coming down here, though. About to hit new low of the day. Uh, still up a quarter percent. But again, 47.18. That's your level high of the day, 47.38. Next upside level, 47.36. What are the odds of this uh, peak excitement in the top of the markets? Uh, I don't know. I think it's possible, but I don't know about probable where just... I don't know. I don't know if the crackheads stop. That's it. I just think what Powell did yesterday was unreal. I think it will stop. It doesn't have to go up like straight up. You know, the pace we've been on has been unholy <laughs> to say the least, you know, so the pace I wouldn't, that is where we, we could run into issues. But as far as like coming down, I think it's going to like, and, and find like really get a nice, decent pullback. It's going to be as a result of a fed speaker, of data, Japan, or earnings, and almost in that order, uh, borderline. Mm. Uh, amongst all the bond plays, you said you want to get into ZT post Powell decision. You still tracking? Yeah, ZT was the one with protection just in case Powell pivot, unless he went hot, goes higher. Now, now you could go for the long end of the curve. Because there's more value to gain there. But also, too, though, ZT has upside. But that one's going to be for the imminent cut. So ZT, I'd eye it for March, more or less, if you still, uh, if you if you believe some of that. But then ZT has dropped a lot considerably. That's the only issue. But ZT still has a little bit of gap. But if you don't want to trade the future, remember, I think buying the two-year bond as a physical bond is a great idea still. Uh, excellent idea. Because it's now, again, the 10-year is still yield is yielding below four. That's at, like, what, four, six now? Maybe four, five? Uber. Uber was just one of the lead. Again, that's where it's like we're going to see a lot of this. If you already ran up crazy, 
you're not going to get part of that. Again, if you're a, le- a year-to-date gainer, you might hold your gains, but I don't think you're going to rally as crazily as some of the other names. Stuff don't go up forever. Amen. So that's the pace is going to be the issue. But like I told you, those events, you got a couple of different events coming up, namely Japan. And then once after this week, you know, you might even get to hear a couple of Fed speakers before the end of the year. And then we're going to see how the market responds and then little baby sets of data and then earnings. So that's that's the thing I think people got to really realize. Next step is earnings. That's going to really kill this or really affirm excitement until, again, Powell or the data gets in the way once again. But even after today, you got a little less data-dependent environment, and people ignored what we had. It was kind of wild. You about to sign up Calibri, the ultimate? No, get the cheapest one. If you're doing the real estate thing, get the cheapest one possible. Usually, they're just upselling you a bunch of other stuff. The cheapest, that would allow you to complete the prerequisite for your state. What happened yesterday? Uh, pretty much Powell was very dovish. I'd watch the watch list. That's a, that's the best way to get a recap if you missed the whole day. Mm-hmm. You never got the chance to. Yeah, just go run it real quick. It'll it'll explain it. But at this point, it's just the basis points, uh, the, the cuts implied on the rate curve and the comparison. But if you want a more in-depth analysis, I would hit the watch list up. Got less than 15 hours to complete the course. Kaplan. Kaplan's no longer a Fed member, is he? I don't believe so. Austin, the budget. I mean, I, I'm just curious, like, you know, is is uh, is a Powell former Fed member looking at that as well, running regressions on what that's going to look like over time? No, I- <laughs> it turns out, listen, this rate rally is good news for the fiscal side and that the issue for this coming year Let's say we have 27 trillion of debt in this country held by the public, okay? The, the, the Treasury is going to have to issue 9 trillion of new debt this year, seven refinance and another two to finance the deficit we just ran. And the, the debt rolling off is probably in the low twos, and it's going to get refinanced even in a positive case, probably in the low fours. That's 200 basis points or you know, $180 billion yeah, more former plus CEO of interest of the expense Dallas Fed. before we've even started the year. So at Harvard. It, 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 I don't think the Fed is explicitly going to focus on it. He was one of them. But traders. I'll tell you, uh, I'm focused on it. And I think the markets will be focused on it. We've got a substantial amount of treasury volume that we've got to issue in the years ahead. Debt to GDP is over 100 percent. And I'm more focused right now on what the 10 year does over the next three to six months. I'm as focused on that as I am on uh, on what decisions the Fed makes and the timing of those decisions. You think the 10 year stays below 4 percent through next year? I mean, I don't know. The reason you've got estimates all over the map for those who think it's going to come down a lot more, I think they're expecting a more severe slowing in the economy. Yeah. They're expecting even a recession for those who think it's going to be sticky here. I, I think they're thinking the economy will be resilient. I personally think if we continue to run two trillion dollar deficits into 2024 and we keep spending on these projects, I think the economy is probably going to be more resilient than people think. And the Treasury is mm-hmm. trying to respond to this very quietly by front end loading issuance i.e., in bills, not testing the market's capacity for the 10 year. And the 30 year going lower. And, and I think this will be the th- one of the things I'll be watching very closely is how deep is the bid for duration in the Treasury market. And I think the Treasury is going to be very careful we'll about go going overboard in testing that. Agree. Thank you, Robert Kaplan. Oh, really good to get your insight. Especially I actually went to the bathroom. Good to talk to you. Former Dallas Fed president. All right, we got uh, we got uh, news on uh, that pending proxy fight from Nelson Peltz that we've been oh, talking Disney. about for some time. It's now official. 
um, just a few moments ago. Okay, go uh, Pelsa's Tryan putting out a press release confirming what our own Jim Cramer actually reported a few weeks ago, namely that they would nominate two, not three, two board members uh, for Disney's board. Of course, if you recall, Peltz a year ago was in the midst of a potential proxy fight to seat himself on Disney's board, and then he gave up that proxy fight right after an interview that I did in, uh, early last year, early this year, with, uh, with um, Bob Iger. They're back. And this time it is not just Peltz, but also another nominee, Jay Rasulo, uh, which is an interesting uh, name to note here because Mr. Rasulo had been uh, the CFO at Disney um, from 2010 to 2015 and also had run the parks and resorts from 05 to 09. The Disney I know and love has lost its way, uh, Rizzullo's quoted as saying. As independent voices in the boardroom, he says, Nelson and I are confident the combination of his decades of experience at Disney and Nelson's significant boardroom skills and history of driving positive strategic change uh, we'll get things back on track. Those are my words, not theirs. What I also would share with you from uh, their letter uh, is the following. They say the root cause of Disney's underperformance, in our view, is a board that is too closely connected to a long-tenured CEO and too disconnected from shareholders' interests. Uh, the board, we believe, lacks objectivity as well as focus, alignment, and accountability, although the recent appointment of two new directors to the board is a step toward greater objectivity. Uh, they go on to say this reactive board self-refreshment on the eve of a proxy contest is insufficient in their opinion, both because the new directors were chosen without shareholder input and they don't seemingly own any amount of stock. They do talk about, Sarah, the U.S. Fact House that of Representatives passes $886 billion, billion, of Disney stock, billion dollar defense and policy bill. sold the vast majority of his ownership stake. As well, I would make a point, though, that th I believe 26 of the 33 million shares of Tryon lists are actually like Perlmutter's, mm -hmm. not Tryon's. Which has been a Disney argument. Yes. Against him. Without a doubt. I mean, if you just look at the stock price, so Peltz called off the last fight in February with you. The stock was. Interesting. That's crazy. Most of the Disney board doesn't even own the shares. Sounds like open AI. No, again, it's not for profit. That's what they say. Interesting. Volume 25 mil. What time is it? It's been an hour. Hour 15. Not too bad. Any defense military play? Uh, maybe Boeing, but I think they're up a lot. I don't know if that even really falls in that category as much anymore, but I don't know. Uh, there was news. I think L3 Harris had news the other day, but <clears throat> I'd have to double check. But I think they all have that other older war premium and then everything. TLT is starting to run up. Where's the yen? Yen is going lower, surprisingly. But then TLT is just ripping 1.6. Defend if it could dip. Oh, where's win? That's honest. Honestly, win's an interesting one. Intel says Gaudi Accelerator, <coughs> Gaudi Accelerator outperforms NVIDIA H100. Are so again, Intel. I think they're having an AI meeting. Spy going lower, TLT bonds going up. Yeah, Pfizer was green for a little bit and then getting dumped on even further. It did have a little pop yesterday towards the end, but remember the low would have been like eight percent. I think this is like six percent from the past two days, six percent down still. Spy does not want to play along. Nasdaq's even slipping a little harder, too. So Nasdaq's going into a new low uh, before the SPY even is. So again, SPY's like holding on here. I think energy's helping it out a little bit. But now the Nasdaq's the worst performer. Dow came up, though, in the last 30 minutes. Last 30 minutes, Dow was almost break even. And then the Russell really calmed down. New high on TLT uh, and the bonds, 30 year. Yeah, Russell's chilling 1.8. But Russell was up half. It's double this. So he literally gave up half there from the morning. Again, K, same thing with like KRE and a couple of other of these plays. Snap is still killing it. They're doing great. Airbnb, slightly great, 148. <clears throat> your wife got you tickets to Ralph Barbosa for your birthday? I think she does tune in on stream. No way. 
Oh, dude. I, you should marry her. What? No, wait. I'm already married. Wait. That's, wait. Oh, she got, oh, there. No, that's a good gift. I like it. I like it, bro. Tell Miss Charlie thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Charlie. That's dope. That's awesome. Charlie, when's your birthday? I know I'm going to, I usually you have to tell me on the day. I'm not good with birthdays, but y'all don't even know my birthday, so don't get mad at me. Ain't none of y'all ever said happy birthday to me. If you do, it's on the wrong day. It's kind of offensive if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. little comedy, some chicken nuggies. Sit in the front. Don't do not sit in the front. I, I, that's the thing, bro, because, like, I love comedy shows, but I don't sit in the front because I know. I did one time, and the dude called me Lava Lamp. <laughs> he said, he said, what do you do for a living? I said, I said, real estate. He said, no shit. He said, you look like you probably sell lava lamps or something. <laughs> Yo, he was funny as hell, though, bro. Yeah, I did it I, after that, bro. I never did it again. I was like, nope. And then one time, I'm going to get recorded getting roasted on. Uh, it's your birthday, d -Mans. God bless you, baby. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. This no, nah, I mean it's kind of funny. I wasn't offended. I was cracking up. I was like, that's facts though, low key. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like low key though. I was like, that's a, that's very original. I've been called I've been I've been called a lot of things, but I haven't been called that one, man. I haven't been called that one. So I was like, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Called you Aladdin, yeah, bro. I loved it. That was original. That's how, that's how you diss me, bro. That's like you know what I'm saying. He dissed me with something I never heard before. I was like, nah, bro. I got you. I got you. That's that's fire. <laughs> Do my feelings get hurt easily? Uh, no. Uh, you know, if anything, I've realized like my my big problem is like probably when like I get too involved in what other people are doing. So, like, I don't, you can say, I've been shitted on my whole life. <laughs> like, I'm not, at this point, and, like, even then, like, I had siblings. Like, you have no, I, like, dude, my siblings have said to me the worst possible things more than anybody ever. But, like, usually it's, like, if I get frustrated with what people are doing, that that's where I'll probably get, like, that. But that's why, that's why it's stupid, though. That's why I'm, like, man, I'm more fati, bro. I'm more fati. But that's all. As long as I get that under control, my I'm very, very chill. Mm. We're totally sitting in the front. I'm going to wear some 70s looking Cardi carrier pip shit. Bro, do it. Do it. Oh, man. I'd love to see it. Family goes hard on, not even like, bro, like family, like I have a lot of siblings. And then again, we're just like, you can't get canceled in my household, apparently. So it's like, <laughs> it's, we just, it's like the roasting is crazy. But then like, just like if we get mad at each other, oh my goodness, it's, 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 it's real, bro. It's real. Mm. Like my, um. Uh, like the roast I did, it was so fucked up. But like all my like childhood friends, they'll they'll never forget. Uh, because like I I have multiple sisters, and like how I used to describe them, because like they're like which one works here, which one works there, and like the way I used to describe them, I would I would name the where my two sisters worked. I would call them by like where they worked at, you know. And then the last sister, I would call her customer, because they worked at food places. <laughs> We roasted my sister when she was young. She was a little chubby. And then, uh, dude, but then, like, she got so fit <laughs> five years later. That's it, bro. She said, fuck this. She started hitting the gym. And now she's the most fit out of all of them. So, but, yeah, that's that's how we, that was, like, the light roasting. But I think it had an effect on her. <laughs> I hate to say, but it was good. It was good. Yeah, and then I lost my hairline. I know she got better hair than me now too, bro. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. 
The Bank of Japan can affect all the currencies, uh, especially, especially the dollar. You're the best motivational person ever. I mean, that wasn't my intention. I was just trying to be funny, and we would just clown her a lot. But, like, they would actually just physically beat me, so that's why I would clown them. I told you that. Like, when I was younger, my sisters used to think how I cried was cute because I would frown. Like, right before I was about to cry, I would make, like, a really expressional, like, frown. You know, go, mm, and then I would start bawling. So they would slap me on purpose until I cried just because they thought it was cute. I'm like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are psycho. Mm, you shouldn't laugh. It's okay. I dealt with it. I, I turned out fine. <laughs> You see, nothing's wrong with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I do all these, but yeah. I'm totally normal. You traded hands? Dude, I was like, I'm really young comparatively. Like, they were, they had, nah, bro, they bullied me. They bullied me. I couldn't fight back. That's it. Mm -mm. They were helping you? Hey, man, I guess so. I'll take it. I'll take it. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Do you think if you didn't get slapped, you wouldn't do the Biden voice? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, bro, it's just like maybe if I avoided like one set of trauma, maybe I would have like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe one less personality I would have possessed probably other than that like i don't know man you never know more fati that's why it's like you know i'm glad how it turned out but shit bro it could have it could have went either way mm. in that case i'm glad they slapped you okay thanks for the support thank you <laughs> fitch affirms sanofi double a minus stable withdraws all ratings we don't have any TLT plays, but we have bond plays. So I'm in a bond. Literally, I top ticked the bonds yesterday. Um, the futures, that's up. We even played it the day before and the week prior. Uh, so I was just flipping in and out of them. But yesterday, I bought one and held one, and I'm still in it. I'm going to hold it to like 3.8 on the 10-year, even though it's a 30-year bond I'm in. Two-year, 10-year inverting. That's Again, market will go up if we invert. I thought we were going to do a little bull steepener. Or I thought we were gonna. I thought. Or I thought it was gonna. Uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna yeah, go up a little bit. But nah, yield curve's still down by 0.45. TLT's practically flat at the year. Yeah, it's only. It's up to August levels. So that's why I was saying, like, again, you know, you may you may feel like you missed all, out on the move, but it's like this is actually at one point the low. You're just getting in at o October levels of last year. So, which is crazy though. But then it was crazy that we hit five percent. Uh, you know, like just what a couple months ago, PayPal went red, Netflix down two. Snap hit seventeen, man, that's insane. Holding the high value, good luck, baby. Good luck. Remember those AC units, appliances that need to be replaced, the roof, baby. Just do good work, do good work. Imagine it was your mom buying the house. You know, imagine it was you getting the house. Somebody. <clears throat> Had it been a shoe, Josh would have been Bush Jr. That's a funny joke. That's a, I don't know. I don't think they appreciate that one, Feed Me Seymour. That one's a good one, triple three, but that's like next, that's a next level political joke. I see you. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> that's it. I had to, I had to even praise the, the level of that joke before I could even like giggle at it. I was like, wow, that's great. That's great. Adopt me. I could be your son. I mean, you could just go call your parents and tell them you love them. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever you feel like was a father figure or mother figure in your life. You know, I'm sure you had one. Maybe like a teacher or something. You know, I'd start there. I'm not going to adopt you because you're like, oh, I had parents. And like, I went to the guy I'd never seen on the internet and told him to adopt me. Like, that's not a good resume for the child I want to adopt. 
not going to lie to you. I don't know if I'm supposed to look at their resumes if I go adopt in, but at the end of the day, it seems pretty unloyal to me. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> The Dodge scene around the world. Some people will never know, though, man. They'll never know. They'll never know. Mm -mm. Tesla, they hit that high recently. Spy came back above VWAP. NASDAQ back to 0 0.3. Spy back 0 0.4. It's still moving a quarter percent, like, pretty easily. And then Russell back to 2.2. Two. Bonds are loving it still. Again, 30 years still running. Russell 2.1. Yeah, we're going to walk away for the holidays. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But again, next week, there's not going to be any watch list. I'm still going to be live, I think. I don't, I don't know if I'm unless I go to Chicago. Uh, but other than that, uh, we are going to be uh, uh, what's it called? We are going to be uh, no watch list. I'm going to chill. And I'm still sick, bro. It's bullshit. I've not had a cold for this long in, in a long time. Usually I'm done by a weekend and I'm ready to go. Let me sleep for like 10 hours, bro. You know, and then I'm I'm just, I'm good to go. But that's it. Take the week off. Well, if I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to take a week off. Like that's it. I'm li like legit. <laughs> if I'm going to be at my house, like I, I can't, naturally I can't even sleep in long. Like unless I like literally just go pop a melatonin or I pop some NyQuil because I'm sick, bro. I don't sleep long. Like I'll, I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m., just it depends on what time. So if I'm not leaving and traveling, then I'll, I'll just chill here. I take my vitamins, bro. I've been, I've been down. I'm going to take a B12 right now, bro. I'm going to eat like echinacea. I got vitamin D. I got, what is it? Quir 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 what is it? Quiracetin. I get, I sleep early, but I just, I wake up at the same time. Like I can't sleep in. He said, lot, even sick long term. Don't tell me that, bro. Come on. <laughs> hey, Matt, going all time high. I have zinc too. Pedialyte. Oh, maybe an early gym sesh. I have before. I've woken up at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and gone worked out, but like I was dead the rest of the day. It was just, I felt so weird. I hate, I, I hate working out in the morning. I don't know how y'all do it. My bro said sleep when you're young, because when you're older, you won't sleep in. Yeah, I didn't believe it, but that's, it's so true. But then again, like I, I've literally brainwashed myself to waking up bright and early for the stock market every single day. That's, I think, what fucked me. You saw my picture on Instagram. Your girlfriend is right. You're funny looking. I come watch your comedy shows. All right, man. Thanks. I can't even get mad at you. My own girlfriend said the same thing to me. So I don't know. I just take it as very supportive now. I'll let you know when the show tickets are on sale. Mm -hmm. Take a thousand milligrams vitamin C, help your immune. Next time, start doing it the moment you start to feel sick. Dude, I, I was down in them, bro. I was down in the vi Dude, it, it's just been weird. It was like a little... I thought I felt better after two days, and then I went to the gym. I felt perfectly fine. And I come back from the gym, and the next day I'm clapped. Mm -mm. Any quantum computer plays? No, I don't. Don't you get overstimulated with watching the stock market? Don't you get burnt out? I'm going to give you a hot take right now. Are you ready? The stock market is not stimulating. I have a long term. <laughs> 
But like, honestly, when the market is not as like intense and when everything is like borderline manipulated in terms of like data and the lagging effects and it's not as like, like Japan is pretty stimulating, but in a weird way, it's not that like that crazy. David Goggins says the answer to waking up early to work out is record yourself saying why you don't feel like waking up in the morning and then share the recording with your wife or girlfriend so she could hear what a b-word you are he said that motivates him to wake up early I don't know. If she think I'm a B word, that's on her. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I even then, like, I don't care. I'm like, what you say? Then that's it. Fine. I'll I'll get it on my own then. I'll get it on my own at five PM. Screw you. I don't need you. That's it. I'm not I I don't know. I think <laughs> Yeah, serious. My girl be like, Okay, that's fine. My girlfriend went in, she'd be like, uh, you want to watch a movie then? Mm -hmm. I'd like to be the first one up in the house. Ain't no one going to get me. Move out there, baby. Tell her I'm cold and tired to her face. I do. I'll tell her, give me a jacket <laughs> if you can. <laughs> possible if you can i don't know if not i'll tough it out google on january 4th will begin testing tracking protection and then gm cruise laying off 900 or 24 percent of its workforce what if pfizer goes bk we'll be sad about our long-term position but then you can celebrate you know <laughs> And justice will be served. But listen, man, if Hunter don't get in trouble, I don't think Pfizer getting in trouble. I'm going to go out on a limb. All this, you got to be hitting the bed. I go to bed at like lately, like because I've been sick. I've been going to bed lately this last like week at like 8 or 9 p.m. But like usually I'll go to bed like 10, uh, 10, 10 p.m. to like 12. It just depends what I have to do. Oh, Ocho Cinco, baby. He does it again. God bless you, bro. Chad Ocho Cinco is literally, is literally a Chad. And he's Ocho Cinco. Is, is Ocho Chico or Ocho Cinco? Horna. Let's go. It's Ocho Chico, but it, I say it Ocho Cinco. That's the thing. It's Ocho Chico. Yeah, but I say Ocho Cinco. He's Chad Ocho Chico. That extra syllable, though, is going to mess me up, man. It's like uh, the chico, then cinco. Same syllables, I guess. Ocho chicle. <laughs> what you think about Intel at 25? I thought it was shitty, but turns out that was a very good play. I think if you got it there, you got a fucking killer. They didn't cut the whole entire dividend, but nah, Intel at 25. I, I, I wish I had that one. But I was I was not down after the dividend cut. But I think that's a great play if you're able to run it. Uh, Russell's starting to break out. Uh, not break out, break out, but, like, get back up to higher levels. His, Chad, his name was Chad Johnson. <laughs> his last name was Johnson. Like, the most generic last name ever. Chad Johnson. Like, that's it. He's like, oh, chill, sink. He was the best, bro. He was the best. I'm so glad. I was like young when I was watching Chad at that at that time, so it was good. It was good to watch him. He was so good. You work at Intel, they give you a discount on the share purchases or what? I would take advantage of that. He did change it. Well, Terrell Owens. Don't Terrell Owens was the first one, but then Chad was like he was the first one to go like crazy crazy. And he's just funny, bro. I like, <laughs> he's funny. You got Snapchat at eight, biggest long term, feels good. Amen, baby. Amen. I'm sure you didn't like it not too long ago, but long term, the time, baby. Longer you hold, the less risky it becomes. 
Google will roll out tracking protection out to 1% of Chrome users globally. Oh, shit. Wait. How is that going to affect Snap and Meta? If they're talking about, like, tracking protection on apps, if Google does it, can't that be a, a headwind? Mm -mm. Intel offers 15 off. Oh, yeah. You should, again, if you work for a company and they got a good stock, bro, especially if it's a blue chip, I would I would be maxing out whatever I could if they give you a discount through like the 401k or whatever. Max that shit out. Uh, I'm telling you, especially, like, especially if at Intel, you're getting 15% off and you get like a little baby dividend. Oh, I would run it up. We sleep on the fact that Ocho and Tio played together. Honestly, you're right. For real. That was an error. I kind of forgot for a second. That's like, but then they didn't work out that you can't have two superstars like that, though. You know what I'm saying? You can't, like, you, they, they, they just superstars. That's it. Pfizer dividend six. Yeah, I mean, they got, they're getting murked left and right. Mm -mm. You got Amazon? Oh, run that up. You got one in a, you got you work at American Water? Oh dude, hell yeah. That's a great one. <laughs> AWK, right? American Water Works. That's a fire one. That's dope. Toll Brothers on the high. Novartis going up to NVS. Oh wait, not NVO. And then Bond still climbing. Spy at VWAP. Russell up two and a half. Again, TLT literally hitting another high right now. I don't have any play on crude. We should have grabbed that would have been a nice cherry on top but we don't have any crude place we were gonna get them the other day but we skipped out you got 50 percent off of working at am it's that much no way oh dude i'll give you guys loans to buy out your stock then if you want just give me like give me some money on the back end i'll give you a zero interest loan just let me get a share or two at 50 percent off that's crazy. 50% off, that doesn't seem real. I don't know if that's even possible. I know some, like, smaller companies, but that's or they have to max it out at some point. Maybe 15. They, they could do 50%, but maximum, like, $3,000 or something. Yeah, 15% is about right. And then you're running up there. Bonds again. Is that arm on the high? Cart is up. I want to get more MPW to trade, not in the, I mean, long term too, but we got to still wait. But I don't want to be a schmuck. It's up 20% in two days or 16%. 50 if he's higher up in the company. When is it vested to? Yeah, Euro close is in what, 20 minutes? 10 minutes, 18. Well, you're, I mean, the Euro, like Europe ECB and Bank of England was kind of disappointing. It did not really follow the vibe of Powell, but we ignored it. And again, retail sales were hot today. If that was pre-Powell, we would have sold off heavy, but not today. I've got 20% with CVS. That's a good one. Trump camp plans Iowa blitz and push to vanquish GOP rivals. Dozens of AIDS advisors head to the state court caucus. Honestly, doesn't this feel like 2021? No, not at all. 2021, there was no... You didn't even know what fucking red meant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... 2021, there wasn't no value play that was down, you know, 50% on the year. You know, Pfizer, you know, big names, they weren't they weren't really down like that. Like 2021, we didn't know what the word red meant. We didn't know what it looked like. Like it just it just wasn't really there. AMD sell a lot of things just took a red candle there. Again, especially after bonds running up.
Mm-mm-mm. All right, little Chicle there. A couple names just sold off. And again, a couple of your bigger names are already down. Yeah, AMD just went red. They're up like 1.8. SEC Chair Gensler live on CNBC. Oh, Baba's still going? Yeah, China plays are holding up decent. Yeah, uh, China plays are holding up decent for now. Hopefully that lasts. That cheek lay was big, but again, bonds are still going up. I Again, we'll keep an eye on the Russell and everything else, but I, I don't think the SPY and NASDAQ, they're going to be in their own little world, okay? Because again, there's a, there's still things moving, but you are below that level now. First time below it today, uh, you still got like what? Maybe like 15 or 10 points to fill the gap and go red. NASDAQ might even go red. It's at point eight. Mm. I've almost deciphered your trading language. Surprised you haven't shared how to trade. Uh, well, we have a lot of like tutorials on the main channel, but like I would say the main benefit here is like getting live updates and news and knowing what's going on in the market uh, in real time. And then we definitely do the long term as well, uh, which is again uh, multiple years in a row. Uh, it's been an amazing thing. Mm -mm. IWM TLT yeah again I mean I don't know if, if you picked up on IWM TLT this year I don't know why you're mad or this month I don't know why you're mad I have TLT 92 93 up 1100% TLT safe till your expiration tomorrow I mean it might have a little drawdown but I don't think it's gonna die I don't wait I don't think I don't think TLT going down to 92 tomorrow no I don't think you'll no no I think you are safe in that sense, but other than like, it's not going to fall out the money, but I don't know how much your max profit or minimum profit will be, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AMD gave everything back. Yeah, UWMC is killing. Anything real estate related is nuts. Can't even Redfin. That's still up 15. Stupid. Long-term recommendations. Well, none of this is a recommendation. Uh, okay. Uh, stocks, options, extremely risky. You can't lose all of most of your financial investment. Lose all financial investment. Occasional purpose only. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, but, whoa. How do you have that badge and that's your first chat? Good morning, corpse. That's crazy. <laughs> God bless you, bro. First chat and he already has a Harley badge. How the hell? That's crazy. I'm not mad. I've been here since 2018 and chill. New people. Then what, I mean, then what you trying to say then? Say it with your chest then. I don't know. To me, it seems like you're either bothered or side eye or I, I don't know. Otherwise, it's a very unproductive comment of talking shit. And I don't want to talk shit to you. I don't want to be like you uh, or anybody who talks shit, you know. Like, seriously, I had, even after yesterday and the two days, you know, I got love for people, man. And it's just like, you do focus on something bigger. Like I said, you got to get beyond it. But yeah, he's flexing without flat. But I don't know if he's flat. That's why I said, I don't know if he's flexing, if he's talking. That's why I'm like, just say what you want to say then. Otherwise, it just not even looks double weird. But yeah. He built different. That's crazy. Three months, bro. Troy reps Harley. Look at Troy in there. I don't like the yield max. I think they serve a purpose in the short term, but I, I don't think I would ever throw a, a yield max into the into the thing into the long term. Mm -mm. So sensitive. No, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So maybe I could help you. 
Uh, if someone's asking, like, if it's trading, like, I'm, I'm not here to tell you I'm going to make you $10,000 a day trading and then gamble all your money. But, I mean, you know, we go over a lot of long term. I We've proven we could get you a lot of information faster than anywhere. So, you know, I really think if you focus on your skill, your strengths, you know, and if you do notice a weakness in the channel, you could definitely, you know, find a way to balance it out. But, you know, hopefully we could uh, communicate that effectively, you know. But that's, I guess that's my sensitivity. I feel you. Is Gensler still talking? I need to go pee again. I've downed a lot of water in the morning. And bonds are still running up. Mm. To be or not to be. paid out dividends i like I, I like how they operate i think in the short run but i don't know if i would hold them. they're just too new for me to hold in the long term they used to have them back in the day and then they disappeared you want out of your financial situation you don't know how to trade or pick trades do you have any mentors i could reach out to so that's the thing that's see like and i'm glad like i'm saying if we could get a real discussion on what you want to do, what you think you're missing here or not. But like, if you really want to get out of a bad financial situation, I would encourage you to have a budget, a savings plan and a long term, and then work your way into trading. That's it. The only difference here is I don't sell a pipe dream of trading. That's all. I will show you trades that I will hit right on the head. I will show you a $50,000 loss on a trade. You'll watch me lose a bunch in a row. You'll watch me hit. I don't, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything, but you know, it's like I don't sell the trading pipe dream. That's why I don't have sponsors. That's why, you know, comparative to a lot of the other stuff. That's why people get mad if I don't use technicals or do it how they want me to do it. But I just I don't sell that pipe dream of trading. Uh, but I do think if you want to change your financial situation, I've done it for thousands of people by literally saving 10 percent, setting up a long term and having a budget and then with the knowledge you gain and if you do have the time to spend or while you're working you can listen in you you will find the opportunities to trade there will be fleeting moments where big opportunities happen yesterday two days ago was damn one of them literally it's uh, again like a lot of the chatter that i hear i mean it's we've had great trading days in in december so far but it's not all about the the, the trading like i said that's not what i sell uh you know the long term though that's hitting all-time highs and you know that's how it is but that that's what it so if you really are serious about changing your financial situation you could ask the chads about what i just said hey josh thank you for everything and everything you everything brother your advice on saving investing keeping the face first deal commission hit are you serious oh no nah, no way naji let's go Get the fuck out of here Bro, you're telling me you closed on your first house a couple of days ago and now you got your first real estate commission hitting. That's insane. Let's go, baby. Finger to the sky, baby. Let's go. It's all about the LT. You taught me so much, Josh. God bless you in the chat, baby. Amen. Oh, no, let's go, Brian, too. Amen. 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 Nah, man, for real, though. Long term. But again, it's like it's bit long term. You're going to work your way into trades and all of that. But like if you if you want the trading pipe dream, you're either going to hate me or you're going to envy me. And because you're going to get really weird about it if it's not there. But like everybody with the long term, bro, in this 10 year plan. I don't want to be like Rick Ross, but like we're going to be rich forever. God willing. Like it's not, but like, you see what I'm saying? Like seriously, like there's people here who have been here for a while. If you're ever confused why we have so much support, uh, regardless, it's like, dude, that long term and, and this, I, these concepts of saving money and 10% and sticking to it and not fucking panicking when it goes against us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like don't underestimate what that creates. And like, we have a lot of people who have really, turned around their financial lives just with that simple aspects of it so for real like you'll be able to go about it man mm -mm -mm. so i don't know man uh, if you guys are really serious about it i i have your back but if you're looking for the trading you're gonna you're gonna be look you're gonna be putting people on a pedestal for trading 
until you realize, oh, shit, I just got to figure out my own thing. And then at that point, too, everything else I said still applies. <laughs> like, again, long term saving, budgeting, no matter what, eventually you're going to find your trading strategy. You're going to find out what it was that that does good and that you do good with. And if some people do trade for a living, some of you are destined to wind up on Wall Street or destined to trade for a living. I'm not against that at all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But like you're not going to get there in a way where it's like, oh, well, let me copy somebody and do it like you're gonna find your own edge exactly i believe in that 100 uh, percent and but again everything i say it doesn't mean what i say goes out the window you know the value of of long term and then again being able to get information Im immediately and being able to have an understanding of it it could go a long way too but you know it's like like i'm saying though the the long-term saving budget you want to change your life financially that's that's it that's it's sitting right there in front of you every single day There's a bull loose on the rails at New York, Pennsylvania. What? Hold on. Yeah, Coyote posted this. There's a delay on a New York train, but apparently there is a loose bull. Are you fucking with me? There's no... You're fucking with me, right? It could be legit, but like no, no, exagger no exaggeration. I really think... That there is, that's crazy. Loose bull. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, this is real. Okay, bye calls. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, there is a literal bull on the trainway. Bro. Bro. What? That has to be, yeah, this has to be a Wall Street prank or something, or I don't know. How does that happen in a city? What? My goodness. Yo, that brought to you by Jerome Powell. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Yo, the NASDAQ futures are down. NASDAQ's up, but NQs are in the negative. Was this? Yeah, NASDAQ futures are even like at Powell level, more or less. Mm. That's crazy. Your training account was destroyed by end of October. Sold my long term to make more money back. But Jay Powell boiled me over. As Billy I said, I'm under the water. Never sell the law term, baby. It's okay. Replant the tree. Oh, don't worry. Everybody makes mistakes. Again, I say it. I'll say it with no shame. Uh, do I, I mean, it's getting a little better now, and I, I hope I could, you know, finish it out strong. But at the end of the day, you know, I had a pretty bad trading year as well. But the long term is where it is at. Uh, and that's it. Even if you fuck up, I mean, again, you could you could feed in. You see all the negativity I get on certain things you know it's like you could feed into the negativity you could be negative to yourself others are going to be negative with you but when it comes down to money it's simple you uprooted your money tree go replant it and try again and follow the rules with it this time and that's it you know and that's that's what you got to learn and move forward with but you know the long term um, you're not the only one if that's uh what i could add on to that you're not the only one who has ever a lot of people in here have had the uh have had them have made the mistake of uh have made the mistake of selling out their long term at one point they didn't believe me they didn't listen and it's okay it's fine they didn't they're still a chad it didn't you know and it didn't stop them from benefiting off of today you know what i'm saying like that's what uh, they did it just before you it's all about time time in the market instead of timing it but you know it, it happens so like all you could do is replant it and and do it again it's all you got to do all you got to do Sometimes you got to trim if you have a reason. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm never against selling for the right reason. In arbitrarily because you think it's too high. Like how come you didn't stop smoking weed because you thought you were too high? You kept smoking. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think it's a simple logic. 
So if there's a right reason, oh, I'm about to have a kid. I got to I got to stop smoking weed. OK, then you could sell long term. Oh, I'm about to buy a house. I'm about to do this. Like then then it makes sense. You know, I'm, I have another investment. I want to invest in this company. I want to go into a private company and it makes sense. Like, there you go. There you go. That's different. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But it's not my best analogy. But at the same time, I do think with the right reason you you could trim and sell. But at the same time with without the right reason i've i've seen too it's very easy it's very easy for us to be wrong why do i say that cuz i was wrong this year i did a lot of things right and i did a lot of things wrong but i didn't think the economy would be this booming by this december you know what i'm saying i didn't think the bank situation would have been overlooked that quickly with with rates even going lower but guess what that's why i hold in my long term cuz i know i could be wrong i was wrong yesterday too but again, the plays were right. But at the same time, it's like you don't know what's going to happen. So that's why it's like without the right reason of putting, making sure your money is always working for you, why are you going to sell or trim without an idea of where to put it or what you're going to do with it? Yeah, exactly. It's money in the bank. You do not go withdraw for no reason. That's a better analogy. <laughs> Economy is not booming. Is stock market... Well, I guess the economy's not booming. It's not growing at a crazy pace. But then again, I mean, a 4% GDP, even though all the numbers are manipulated and don't really indicate anything, uh, which I could still get behind. Uh, unfortunately, it just, it's not as bad as, as I would have thought it would have been in the, in the beginning of the year, more or less. And I think that goes for a lot of people, including the Fed and every economist in the world. It's government spending, not real economy. I agree with you. Or literally UAW workers coming back and not reflecting real job creation. I, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like at the same time, though, it I still would have thought it would have been bad. I, at the same like, we have three more months. You have till March. That's my 18 months on the yield curve. And if that don't materialize, I mean, we're going to have to see what's up with it. The fact that it holds up is all you need to know. Well, it could be 1999 then with that logic, though. So that's, and again, where the NASDAQ is looking just like 1990. What the hell? Yeah, you're running on, I'm looking at TLT. That TLT candle is huge. Yeah, yesterday it didn't. So it's still, but the uninversion, if that happens in March, and then we, let's see what happens after there. But again, I still believe that soft landing data can turn into hard landing data. However, and if it doesn't, or in the meantime, it's gonna, we're just gonna, you can melt up with no, with no questions asked, unfortunately. That's kind of my take. So again, I don't know if the soft landing is gonna happen. I'm not a believer in it, but it's, it's possible. Like, again, maybe I'm wrong about it. Uh, now I'll accept that. That's fine. But I'm not, I'm still, I'm still very skeptical. But then again, I mean, I, like I've told you even a year ago, when I would tell you I was skeptical beginning of this year, I own a long term for a reason. Like it's not as if I still will trade, get upside. I'll take some shorts too. But at the end of the day, it's like it's anything is possible. But I do still think soft landing turning hard landing. This is the setup for it. So we'll see. It was the eight week. We shouldn't move on an eight week bond though. Like that's we we should never move on an eight week bond, but that again I don't know I think everybody is just juiced. I feel, but it did. <laughs> amen, I, amen. I feel you. It shouldn't, but it did. I agree. I agree. I cannot deny that. And for yeah, but it shouldn't move on those. Those are usually that's just the Fed. That demand's not really too crazy. We should not be this high though. I've again I I didn't really believe it. I'm very skeptical. I was at the beginning of the year. I I I gave up the shorts by June. Uh and then I said I'll wait to reposition on the, on a short if I want to go for it, but it's definitely doing a lot better than I would have expected. And that that is where I'm saying, but then again, I I do think a hard landing is still possible. 
I think the calls, I mean, again, I, I say TLT is a green light now. If you want to play TLT, I mean, I'm not going to tell you it's going to get shitted on anymore. So, again, I mean, this is back to what? The low of, of August? So, honestly, you can't get too mad at me. <laughs> it's just you've missed out on the lows there. But at the end of the day, there's still going to be some... Wait till Yellen comes to fuck it up. But I'm not opposed to TLT anymore or the bonds. I still think the two year is there. But, uh, again... Um, I'm in the bond place. I've, I've just been trading them, and then I've been trading them, and now it's there. The NQ short? No, that was the ES short, and I closed it out right before the Fed because I made more money on the bonds. So, yeah, I have no, no, sh I have no shorts on anything, actually. I don't think I have, except for the ZQ, and I'm down $6,000 on that one. That was just from yesterday. But, again, I've I've made considerably more uh, uh, in the last two days, even today, uh, again, I'm not going to flex it. Uh, so I just, I hope it continues. I don't, I honestly, I just, I don't want to jinx it so I could do good. Maybe we turn around the end of the year, who knows, God willing. But at the end of the day, uh, that's the only thing I'm short on. Average it maybe at another time I, I could be patient with it. But again, like if that play goes bad, there's a ceiling. But if that play gets really bad, all my other plays get really good. And they'll outpace it uh, substantially. Margin for long term, I'd avoid it. Because again, once you put it on margin, it's harder to hold forever. I'm not... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you missed out on rally. I'm sick. You didn't miss out on the rally. Again, it's going to develop over the next couple of weeks, and there's a lot of events, and there's still so many plays that are down. So I wouldn't really trip on it, I would, but I would look for those plays that are down. Mm -mm. Uh, what was I saying before that? What was I trying to tell you? I have totally forgot my, my thought after I just died. What was I saying? That, that just got me. Oh, TLT. I don't have any TLT options or or plays on shares. I'm in ZB. I've like I told I've been flipping the bond futures since like what, November? I was I, and I told you I'm not down to buy and hold on TLT. Now if you want to buy and hold, I hate to tell you it at a high, you wait for your next pullback and then you could go long on it if you really want to wait and hold. But I've just been flipping the ZB. So even again, ahead of the Fed, we hit the ZB, I closed out and then afterwards I got it. You're blonde too. I don't feel so bad. Oh, you have no idea. I get like, that was, pfft, no. Like in normal conversation, bro, I forget shit like crazy. So I regret smoking all that weed growing up. <laughs> Sometimes I could get real stupid on some things. So yeah, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I, feel like I'd, I feel like I'd look good if I was a blonde. You know that? I'm not going to lie to you. When I was young, maybe this is where the Malibu most wanted in me. Maybe this is where it developed from, but, like, I really loved Eminem when I was growing up. Like, the kids at church, they, they straight up, bro, they, they uh, what's, it, what's the word? What's the word they used in the ancient Rome? They de-something me from the church. They decommunicated me from the church because, like, I would rap Eminem at church, and all the church kids would fucking roast me, and they would get so mad at me because I liked Eminem, and I would like it at church. Yeah, I got excommunicated. Dude, they were so mean to me. And now they all do drugs, <laughs> but they, and then they changed their lifestyles completely. And I'm like, haha, funny how that worked out. Uh-huh. But I, I used to love Eminem. And at one point, my mom beat me for this. My mom beat me because I asked her if I could bleach my hair blonde. Because I wanted to go blonde like, uh, I wanted to go blonde like Eminem. Uh-huh. My mom got so mad. She's like, why do you want to do this? And I told her because Eminem. Oh, I got my ass whooped. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just wanted to be Slim Shady, bro. Everybody did, I know. But they didn't, they didn't feel me. Illumina, yeah, San Diego company. They're good. They struggled recently, but they're kind of a powerhouse. They do have a little bit of risk, but I mean, assuming they, uh, they're they able to... I think they need to recover a little bit, but 
you know, and hopefully their growth doesn't slow, but they're, they're a powerhouse in the biotech world. They're not bad. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, they need to recover, but like, honestly, Illumina might be fire, but like, I need to go see, I forgot what it is that brought them down, but like Illumina is a, it's a big, it doesn't, it's not like Pfizer where they have the same type of history, but they're definitely not bad. I don't even think they pay a dividend. Yeah. It's pure growth stock. You bleached it six months before M drop. Oh, it's, Oh, and then they say, why are you trying to be like Eminem? That's hard, though, bro. <laughs> you actually got to do it. I wanted to do it so bad. You had no idea. She was teaching you not to be a follower, to be a leader. I don't think that's what her intention was, but I'm down. I'm down. I really wanted to do it. I really wanted to do it. You had no idea. Oh, you want them shadies as just them titans. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? You dyed your hair in the second grade. Your book photo looks crazy. Well, sure, man. Y'all got to live the dream, though. You beat your son, smacked him over the guy selling a little Wayne CD. Oh, it's, dude, you know what the worst moment in our house was? It was when my mom would go on a prowl and she found our CDs and she would just snap them all. <laughs> and we got clapped when we come home from school, especially when she thought they were gospel. It was bad. That's it, bro. This Did y'all ever, ever have the CD snapping stage? Oh, it was so heartbreaking, too. You have no idea. I brought my little Bow Wow CD. Got, I, had, I had a little Bow Wow CD. I like Lil Bow Wow, too. He had some dope albums back in the day. Y'all don't really understand. Like, Lil Bow Wow at one point had some good-ass good, good -ass songs, bro. Okay, maybe I was just younger, but I rock. I had a little Bow Wow CD. Every C. Oh, dude, it was The Reckoning. Uh-huh. Dude, it was awful. You snapped them. Man, that's cold. That's cold. Why? If you want, go go call your son and just say, hey, man, sorry for snapping your CDs. I'm not sorry that I did it, but, like, I know how it feels now. Just tell him, bro. Just tell your son, and he's going he gonna to give you the biggest hug. Because for real, man, that's – I would be like, yeah, I feel you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have no idea. You have no idea. It was the controllers taken. Nah, that's light work. That's it. I told you at one point, bro. Cause my mom would try to like first she took the controller, and then she's then she's like you I figured out a way to get around it, and then she took the electricity wire, and then I found a way to get around it, cause like she didn't want us to game and you and eventually bro there was a period growing up my mom just cut the internet, she said fine yalla that's fine you guys want to keep playing no no internet, she said go ahead play now go do it I was like, that and that's it she won, and she won. I would be like, I, that's how I got a little smarter, too. I was like, I need it for school. She said, figure it out. You'll do fine. I was like, oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dad cut the TV cord. We did that before, too, yeah. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Some people, like, I don't think my nephew will ever understand that. <laughs> like, I, like he, he, like, he's getting used to, like, only, like, a certain amount of iPad time. But, like, I don't think he'll ever understand, like, nah, no internet. Because y'all just too addicted and then y'all be looking up the devil. <laughs> My dad just called my music cannibal music and told me to wear headphones. It's pretty dope. He's like, just, I don't want to hear that. Do what you want. <laughs> mm 
You have to wait for Wednesday to have youth group. Yeah, bro. Straight up. I would use the I would use the computer at church and then I got in trouble. I downloaded Grand Theft Auto cheat codes and my dad thought it was for real life. So the whole like, oh, like there was like a cheat code for like hookers. Yeah. My dad beat the shit out of me. He said, why you look at, at church? Huh? You try to learn how to. And I, I was very young, too. I, I didn't even know what it was like, to be honest with you. So it was. Yeah, it was bad, bro. I'll never forget that. I will never forget that moment. That was like a core memory. Because like I just was trying to learn R1, L1, R1, R2, L1, R2, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. You know what I'm saying? Like I still have it memorized. I was just trying to learn that. And I just oh, I, it just opened up a whole new world. Mm -mm. Spawns tank at church. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't forget the cheat. That one I memorized. That was before, like, you had, you know, like, printing was a big deal. You had to memorize it. Bank of America. We're about to go green on Bank of America. So is everybody else from the beginning of the year. I can't believe it. This is, it's ridiculous. So, again, the banks have already recovered SVB, not the regionals, but let's see. What are we down on it? Oh, we're still down a dollar a share, though. One more dollar, we go break even. But, shit, that's better than everything else this year. You bought it at 24. I bought it at 34. And then I didn't average down because I was like, the banks are insane. I did buy City. I'm up on the City play. Now, I guess I averaged with another bank. You got the Anarchist cookbook in... I remember that thing, bro. That thing was crazy. I re That was like big in the early 2000s on the internet. Wow. I haven't heard that in a while. I shouldn't say that out loud. Some of the weird kids in here are going to find it. <laughs> I don't know if it all applies, though, nowadays. It's probably all outdated. Yeah, that shit, that shit was crazy. You had that in 97? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Don't try to impress people. Change my life. Amen, bro. It's a constant battle, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, it was a good feel the other day. So ride with it, man, and always remind yourself. Amen. Mm. Yeah, the feds will find you first nowadays. Yeah, right? For real. I say I'll leave that. That's up to you guys. JP Morgan, 52 week high. So another bank. Again, that's even long term, too. Yalla, again, bonds chilled out. Bank of America's running. <clears throat> any risk in lending shares? Not any risk. You're not going to like lose them or lose your money. Uh, but it's just really a personal decision. But yeah, I don't think it's like a risky activity. Just make sure you trust your brokerage. You know what I'm saying? We make sure it's not like a sketchy brokerage. Like if it's at something more established, I could get behind it. <clears throat> yeah, JP Morgan is almost 30% in the long term now. That's great. I don't think you could sell covered calls if you if you lend them. I don't know. I usually just do covered calls, so I don't I don't like really lending. I think I turn all my lending off. I just don't. I'm very protectionist. <laughs> I don't like don't touch my shit. Bank of America. That's killer if you got it. So I'm going to write it out for a little. We could even sell out now if we want as a tax loss. And then we just collect all the dividend. So like Bank of America now, when's the last dividend? Oh, yeah, we're already going to get the last dividend, too. 24 cents a share on 500 shahs. So 120 a quarter times four. Four, eight, we still take a loss. So I'm like 20 more bucks. If I make 50 more bucks, I could close out break even then. And then just write off the capital gain under the year. Ah, is it under the year? Yeah, I have till February, March. Mm -mm -mm. C drill limited announces organizational change technology officer Leif Nelson will not realloc relocate to Houston to depart company. 
Snap is wild. And yeah, Snap is now about to be dollar for dollar green on the big account, which means after after covered calls, you, you're, you're up on that. And then on the small account, I want to say it's up like 40 or 30. I don't know. Yeah, 40% on Snap. <clears throat> Tesla run again Tesla's year to date down I believe no oh no 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 they just had bad earnings they're up though yeah they they're like Airbnb but Airbnb should follow along Tesla they look exactly the same not related at all but they just move the same but again Tesla has been a little bit clapped yeah oil's going crazy but again oil if oil goes too crazy this whole soft landing thing might go out the window uh, in a weird way uh, but then again, we also don't want oil to go too low. Just and and any commodity, really. That's the the weird issue. Gold is chilling. Gold, see, gold gapped up before it even came lower. That's why I'm like, it's it's just marching higher. I want to get a position, but sold covered calls deep in the money. I would look to roll them over, uh, especially if it's long term. That's just what I do. Again, some people have uh, opposition to it. We talked about that today. But in general, I'm a, I'm a, still a big fan. Oh, damn. You know what I just realized? Holy shit. You guys remember those old PayPal calls? Those just went green. Why? No fucking way. Those were dead, dead. So old PayPal calls. I don't know. if they were, I think they were the January 80s. Yeah, those just flipped green for some reason. Like, they actually have a bid above what we paid for it, not even just the ask. AAP up 7. That's that's part of the cyclicals. Yeah, RKT keeps going crazy. I had to get rid of the rocket, though. All real estate. Anything real estate related is absolutely loving this. I did not add wall to the long term, no. I only I did not get back into UWMC, no. From last, it just it was, it kept running, and it stayed too high. We have it in Colt's sister, though. I haven't even looked at Colt sister. She's her account's probably loving it. Except for the Walgreens, but then she had a lot of cash too. Mm -mm. Etsy, they're down. They had bad news the other day, but I'm not really the biggest fan of Etsy. But I, I do like the company, though, like the model itself. But lately, I feel like they, they're they still kind of new, and they still burn a lot of money. But Etsy is like, I like it that it enriches other people. There's a lot of businesses there. But then a lot of people have been claiming, they've been saying that, like, Etsy, in a weird way, it's like it's not as much mom and pop as it used to be. Like, you know, I thought it used to, like, have, like, a big, small business community, and there still is, but it's kind of shifting a little bit. Is what I've heard. WTI gains rise as much as 4% in New York. So what about to retire? Like to roll over 401k? I think I have an old video about... It's called FIRE. That's what the... That's what the financial advisors like to do for some of the retirement stuff it's a way to set up for retirement but if you are going to roll and like take control of your own 401k just make sure you don't gamble with it that's it otherwise you know at this point you should be going for more capital preservation uh capital preservation and income uh but again it also you know take a look at your expenses your life right now you know what you would forecast to spend how much things are going to cost, you know, the cost of living. But, you know, at this, when if you are getting ready for retirement, your investor, your investments should be literally more about capital preservation and income. So right now, honestly, a bond would be, you know, a bond portfolio adding to that would probably be in your, your interest. Wish you had Meta and Netflix. You ended up with snow in NVIDIA. Habibi. Don't worry. Habibi, you have it in the video. Habibi, don't you worry. Snowflake, too. Don't worry. You're good, Habibi. You can't get them all. I wish I had the Nvidia too, you know? Don't you worry. I'm going to be holding the KRE calls. Yeah. 
you could set right now, I think it's like 400%. And bro, honestly, in two days, that's a fire ass gain. Like right now it's $300. Oh no, a little bit more than 300. It's like 500 into uh, 15. Uh, I was at 1800 earlier. I thought I only bought 10. I had 15 of them. Uh, so I misspoke earlier. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a good gain. You could ghetto spread it now, or you could sell half if you're, again, if you want to be more protectionist, you need the W, you want to add to it. But I, I am going to hold that for a little bit. That's, I, there's a reason why I got March on that play. And like, if what I said happened, happened, it would, it would set up really nicely. And sure enough, it did. So I'm going to be riding with that. And then I'm probably going to ghetto spread when it's up a little bit more. Four more years till retirement. Should I put 60 into the long term? Maybe 40. I mean, not a recommendation. Again, this is where you consult with the financial advisors. But like, I don't, because I don't know your expenses. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like, what's your housing cost? That's a big thing. If you're really about to retire, you're you're on the older end. Like, what's your housing cost? Like, because in a weird way, if you're telling me you want to go and try to get income off of bonds right now, and then you're going to be telling me you're still renting or your housing payment isn't fixed. You know what I'm saying? In a weird way, like setting up where you live, that's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, and it's and then make sure your your fixed income, even anything, retirement, social security, pension can also benefit you on the back end. But, you know, if you argue, you guys still got a little bit more time, but you can allocate uh, to, to some bonds. I think getting ready, you know, good bonds. And we have that opportunity in a weird way. You could get the two year, but it's not going to last you throughout the uh, throughout the throughout the retirement. You can go on cruises. Josh sold the house, just renting now. Single guy, rent is 1K per month. So maybe email me your full situation. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial recommendation. And you got to really lock this down since, you know, it is your retirement and the rest of your future. You know, I could g always give you my feedback, but I do think you should probably maybe buy a house. Where do you live at? If maybe it's cheap enough, if the rent is a thousand, but in a weird way, you could wait four years if you'd like, you know what I'm saying? But like, I would consider how much money you have. We maybe try to lock down that. Cause think about it. If we could get you a house paid, whatever, like if you were going to put a hundred grand in a 200 grand in the bonds or your long term, but if we could get that into a, into your living expense, then again, though, if you do get it cheap enough, maybe on a cruise, uh, like seriously, some people do be doing that. Like you could just travel and do some of the, they have it for older people and retirees. I think it's like, 20,000 a year so 2,000 a month or something but then you could like live there and go crazy I live in SoCal I mean, you got so you live in SoCal with a thousand month of rent then fuck yeah don't listen to me and buy a house keep renting and maybe if they lock it in too I don't know <laughs> you know what I'm saying but if you got like a good living situation at that price and you're telling me you live in SoCal then yeah then I would I would def then I, I see why you probably sold and are renting could be rent control, rent protection. And honestly, though, they're about to, like, in a weird way, bro, in L.A., like, and even it's going to happen a lot in SoCal, bro. They're doing a lot of, like, protections for renter. There's, they're making it very hard to kick people out. And then they're lowering deposit income, like, the deposit amounts. So, like, in a weird way, if you got that locked in at a low price in rent, it may be hard to get you out of there. <laughs> in the future so that might be better than buying a house uh more or less it is worse for the landlord you know they don't there it's actually like in i think in la county they do not use the word landlord anymore i believe it's offensive uh so they now use the word uh housing provider so like a, like a birthing person, you know, it's just like, but instead of, but you're a housing provider. Yes. Straight up. Not, not, no, no, I'm not joking about this. This is not a joke. This is real. Well, you can't say slumlord either. Uh, but, uh, so no slumlords, no landlords, uh, but literally housing provider. <laughs> land king. I'm the king of the land. So that's why. So housing providers, and now you can't, you could only charge one month security deposit instead of up to three for short-term rentals at some instances. 
and then uh, like the proceedings to like evict somebody are going to get a lot more difficult so that housing providers cannot evict people as easy. But then it's only going to lead to higher rent costs because now everyone's going to be hella sketched out on who they rent out the property to. Yeah, there's no yeah, well that was a couple years ago. They said master bedroom was was offensive and then they said it's now primary suite. Mhm. Mm yeah, slumlords are now substandard housing providers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The world's gone crazy. Well, I mean, listen, you could do whatever you want. Like again, it's not like just because people do something, it means everybody is acting like that. But, you know, be nice, be respectful to people. You know, there's a lot of people that like, you know, want to cause drama sometimes. You know, like I've been on Xbox. I see it in the chat. Like literally people just like to stir the pot. And that's like, you know, they're just shitty people. But, you know, it's like not everything is like, oh, the whole world is like, like there's still a lot of people who are will be straight up with you in the wording. And even if they say stuff, they may sound wrong. I it's not always that negative in their heart usually, or they're just, they're ignorant to certain things. So, but it's not really like, I wouldn't define, like it's, I don't, I haven't heard this, li this housing provider term used outside of Los Angeles or like San Fran. So, but I don't, I wouldn't, I would, I would hate to say that's the whole world now is like that. Mm, and gold is coming down a little bit. After three years, finally positive on LT. Glory to Yahweh. Stay in the course, baby. Amen. Amen. Even if it took that long, bro, it's going to be beautiful because now if it does get a lot better and we don't get the hard landing, which I still think is possible, you're going to have the perfect setup. From here on now, it just grows. Walt Disney has an experienced, divorce, and highly qualified board. Statement. Apple's hitting the low. They were just high. And then Spy chilling out. Again, banks were edging near the highs. Bonds came down a little bit. Russell's still up. I think the expiration's big tomorrow. I don't know if the expiration, we either do nothing or it kind of melts up slowly to the final range. But I, I can only imagine what it's going to be like after all of the old purchases on options and then after what happened yesterday. So we will see. Yeah, thank goodness Disney shared that with. I read such a weird ass headline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not that upset. I question what the Democrats did the other day. Uh, no, I don't care, man. Believe me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, like, I've, I'm more bothered by the guy <laughs> who's, like, trying to get me to say stuff about Pfizer when he already knows the answer, you know? It's like, so sometimes I'll just, like, I just ignore things if it's if I feel like it's going to get into drama. You know, sometimes I say stuff. Sometimes I'm very serious about it, and then I'll start having some fun with it, but... No, nah, man, honestly, if you hold it down, you in the game, bro, you know, hopefully you do good to others. And like, that's how I believe that, too. I have my liberalism of doing good for others. So as long as I feel like that's that's the game plan, man, it's all love. I'm, yeah, I'm more bothered by Powell fucking flipping this script. Yeah. Were you kidding me, Powell? That was it. I can't believe it, bro. I can't believe it. Insane person, bro. Insane. Intel says, God, that's old, I think. But at the same time, too, though, it's like if I know people, if I know your mind is made up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I know. So I already know where a lot of conversations could go. So it's like, you know, if we could all I'm always open to sharing ideas, man, for real. I, if yesterday doesn't show you I'm willing to change my mind really quick, you know, I, I am. Uh, so it's like, you know, that's all I'd ask is the same. But, you know, keep an open mind. But at the same time, if it's going to lead to certain things, then, you know, it is what it is.
Yeah. We keep sort of I need to go pee now. Threes, but follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Apple an drop in, but spy and other things going up. Oil running too. And shovels, follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. Oh, BRB. To ensure that the AI becomes a reality. Let's dig into that a little bit more with our next guest, Ed. Sylvia Jablonski, CEO, CIO at Defiance ETFs, who, you know, has been coming off what is an extraordinary day in terms of macro policy. And I'm interested if you can put that onto the micro of whether or not technology and the AI hype is still something to buy into at these points. Absolutely. So, you know, I think yesterday felt like Santa Claus came to town a little bit, right? The markets like the outlook for next year. We're finally done with rate hikes. I think, you know, we'll have some restrictive policy, but but at least no more kind of like pounding on the gas to, to hike rates and, you know, kind of break the economy. So I think that sets tech up very well. And I do think that the next five to ten years of technology are going to be super computing, quantum computing, and AI. And we've talked so much this year about NVIDIA. You and I have talked so much about NVIDIA and AMD this year, and I think they're kind of the clear leaders in chips. But what I think will happen next year is now all of the floodgates will open. So Intel is going to come in. Companies like IonQ, like IBM, and you know the bigger components around AI, like data processing, supercomputing, 5G for the speed to make AI, AI work, will all become tradable themes. And you're going to start getting you know, beyond the magnific Magnificent Seven for AI, please. And what's interesting, though, is how much the exuberance becomes real revenue. Now, NVIDIA has managed to prove that point to some extent, but I think of Adobe, we're going to dig into that story later in the show, but ultimately it's earnings not living up to the hype in terms of how quickly it can turn it into revenue into the bottom line. How much can an IBM, how much can quantum computing finally become some sort of revenue driver? Yeah, and that's a great point. And I think what happened a, a little bit with AI is that AI has been around for such a long time and there was a news flash around Microsoft this year and then AI became kind of the word of the year. But then it started to feel like a bubble and people started to equate it to, you know, meme stock mania and, you know, kind of, kind of that world that happened and then it, it was kind of like thrown to the side a little bit, but now it's back because, to your point, they're starting to show revenues. So I do think that everyone who sort of hitched the word AI onto their wagon is now going to have to prove it in, you know, Q1, Q2, probably actually Q4 as well, um, mm -hmm. earnings. So I do think that you're going to start seeing that play out and it is super important for companies like IBM. So IBM is a company that has a, a formed you know, quantum computer, and they're actually working with companies like Cleveland Clinic to have better outcomes in drug trials and things like this. So quantum computing is now actually becoming more of a reality, and it exists. Granted, you need a whole room the size of this and a lot of air conditioners to run it for a process now, but it's, it's, it's there, right? So five to ten years from now, you know, sky's the limit. All right. Take it. Did MPW come back up? <clears throat> yeah. KRE still chilling. Disney at the high, too. We'll see. I want more MP dubs, but I don't, I'm going to feel like a schmuck after the last two days. I just got to be content with what I have and be patient. <laughs> That's all. Be patient and have be content. But if y'all picked it up, though, I'm glad we had a good talk about it yesterday. Uh, so it's good. Again, the Powell gave us the cyclicals, man. I can't. I, dude, Powell is shocking, man. He didn't. He was talking about rate cuts. He ain't even have no pride. He don't care about it. He sent the message that financial conditions don't even matter to him. Oh, man. The Pfizer. I don't think... I wasn't talking about you. Uh, there's, there's one person every time. And it's I still love him, too. Like, I, I, exp, I tried to explain it yesterday. I'm like, hey, man, y'all know what it is. I don't know why. Y'all want me to say certain things, and you know. And, like, I try to be fair with a lot of things. And, obviously, I'm a human. And I, I have my biases, and I'm incorrect at times. But... At the same time, well, like to get, I don't want to, I don't like to get hyper fixated and stuff. And then sadly, just it's so easy to get into the identity politics of things. But it's all good. I think the KREs are up like four hundred percent or something, three hundred, four hundred. You sold you on I IBM is still in the gutter. I think I still like three M too. And they trying to clap you? Yeah, sometimes. But and even then, it's like. If you were, if you really are like, we want to get things out, like, again, I just give out information on, on a lot of different things. So it's like, if you want to hinder that, I mean, that, I mean, it shows where you stand on things. ARC is good. ARC, we've, we're past it now. ARC, you could sell out now with 4,000 net profit, I believe, after you, so you're still got way more money. You got like an extra one, one or 2K. You get 4,000 net profit on the ghetto spread. And then if it stays above 50 by January, and the other contracts expire, you get another 2000 So we could ride that for a little bit. 
but Ark is that was a great that was early, that was the first cyclical ghetto rate cut play. We hit that early. So that one was a great one. Yen's dropping right now. Russell's going up. Again, where's the Bonds? Bonds still chilling out. They had their run earlier. Schwab, more bank plays. Those are still on the high. Pfizer, they just keep lowering their guidance. It's 278 on the carry. Thank you. Thank you. It's 400 earlier. Yeah, the ghetto spread is dope. It works. The average down on 574. Oh, you fucker on MP dubs. I was going to do it yesterday, even after the 8%, but I was like, I have I have so many plays. I have the Russell. I have a shit ton of the yen. I have a bond play. I have a mini Russell. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm benefiting off of this. I'm making good money on these moves. But then I was like, I'll just be patient. <laughs> but then, fuck, man. Yeah, it's good. If you got some of those, it's a fucking steal. Because, again, as long as management don't fuck it up, dude, that's that's easy now. You got a Monday morning. Nice. I want gold, but I need I need gold. The gold is vicious when it comes down. That's the beauty about gold. It's going to give us a red candle. That'll be good, but it might run up another $50 before that happens. That's the only problem. So I have GLD. I FOMO'd the options end of the day yesterday. Those are barely up. So like you could tell it's a FOMO option because I'm, I'm barely up on it. So that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Gold, I think I, I'd, I'd go with gold at like 2030 or on the future, but even then, I still think that's high. I want, we sold out at 2020. I like 2020 for gold. Maybe 2034, that would be the support level, but I don't know. Mm. Sold a lot of cover calls. I feel, I feel. This could be a good time to sell some cover calls. I want to on Roblox. Roblox and Snap. I want Roblox to go up a little crazier, though, because those options get juiced. And then Snap, again, if we could go green on Snap, like, without the without the other covered calls, holy shit. Uh, then if we sell these covered calls, it'll be beautiful. These are back to 2022 prices. I like to sell out with a year of time usually. And then I try to make sure it's like well above my purchase price. So I still want Snap to go up a little bit more though. This would be a decent time though to sell some of them. We could keep this pace up. I mean, we're going to get a couple of events. I think December 19th. If you really like are waiting for like a bearish reaction, if if Japan fucks us up on December nineteenth, you're clapped. But then the only other events will be the Fed speakers that will follow up this move. But again, I told you after this week, liquidity dies down. Everyone's going home. Everyone's gonna do it just like again, even ever all the schedules start to wind down. It's still like another full week, but for the most part, you gotta wait till like the event. Everyone ignored data today. So, like, that's the problem. Like, we had bad data today that if that came out before Powell, we would have got clapped. If Powell didn't do what he did, we would have been focused on data dependent. Oh, that data insinuates this. Everybody would have moved all over the place. But then, with again, even the ECB and Bank of England didn't even play along. And then that's that's it. So, it's like, it's bleh. Did you reinvest the pre? What do you mean the pre? You mean Pfizer? I reinvest everything that pays a dividend. But lately, because the account transfer, they've paid them as cash. And, like, I again, I keep moving my shit around. So, like, I lost, like, a one month of drip, but I got it back in cash. Yeah, mortgage rate. Of course they did, bro. The bonds, if those Fed futures dropped, I mean, that's that's literally related to mortgages. Again, expectations. And then people locking in shit. At least the lenders locking in a higher return. And then they could go loan out uh, at a different time, though. It's crazy. recession or not people are going to move i think so it's like i said i think now i don't think you i think bill is still going to pay for you but at this point if you have more than 50 percent cash if you have a lot of cash you know finding under under very 
very lower valued or again laggers on the year like that's where it is but you got to be careful because again hard landing may occur but in the meantime you could still run up a lot leading into it but it's just like and then again if it's already near the bottom then there you go like that's that's why I like certain names that's why I like Pfizer and, and some of those because they're already dead so it's like even if we pop and then end up having a recession you're just going to come back to where you're at now no I'm not assuming everything would be perfect no 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 uh, I'm saying though, just like that we've already been buying deep value. That's what I've, if this is what I've said all year, just go for the underperformers. I still believe the same way, but now it's like, okay, I still believe underperformers. And now just, if you're having a lot of cash, there's going to be, you know, pretty much by Mar January or March, we're going to find out if something bad happens. And if it doesn't, again, you're going to melt up all the way leading into it uh but before then so i'm just saying aim near the floor you know go for the stuff that's already down that's been our strategy all year and now it really applies especially if you're because you got to think for next year if they do cut rates next year then you're not going to be holding on to bill that much longer right so it's, it's kind of getting ahead of it more or less what would it take to hit a new low on the s p it's possible but i mean not probable at this point what it would take to hit a new low on the S&P, like below 360, 380, you know, of the last couple of years, it would take a hard landing. It would take unemployment, literally non-farms going massive negative, unemployment almost doubling, uh, and literally maybe even inflation coming back up. But it would take a real deterioration of the economy, a crash, a crash landing. Yeah, hard landing. It would just a bank collapse again, like a real failure you know, like something of that nature, but like ultimately fuck all the bullshit, just jobs, unemployment and housing comes down massively, then you're going to come down. I, like I said, I said it earlier, I still believe a hard landing. This is the setup for it, but unfortunately in the time it takes or until that happens, or if it happens, the market is now just got a green light with, uh, with a promise, not a promise, but a, a good idea that we're going to be accommodative in the next six to nine months, which is insane because even Powell's down to support or the Fed is supporting that idea. Inflation could come back up, but that's going to depend on commodities and oil, unfortunately, because that's what's made it all come down more or less. Non-farm will be critical, yeah, but it's not. But again, if it moves at the same three to six month average, no one's going to bite at it. Again, retail sales was hot today. That would have clapped you a month ago. So it's the same respect for non-farms. The data would have to really plummet. But if it kind of operates slow and steady in the, like within the range like last time, everyone's just going to just, you know, we're going to keep fluctuating doing what we're doing. And then Powell, and then if we get a black swan by the beginning of the year, otherwise, all of it goes to March in the next SCP. Merck, they're still trading down. That's a, that's a name everybody knows about. They had good cancer drug news today. They've been, yeah, but see, they're not down as much. They're down on the year, but they've been doing pretty well. So you're still paying some premium, but down on the year if you do feel that that is a quality name. There's a 100% chance of rate cut in May now. Yeah, if, if you guys don't understand the reasoning, because even though they're saying by the end of January, rates are going to get lowered, everybody's now thinking Powell has to cut by latest March, because if you cut later than March, it's going to start looking very political. That's the only, that's why all of the front run rate contracts are getting a way stronger bid right now. Mm -mm. I do think Divi stock, I think they're great. I don't know about undervalued, but that's where I'd want to put my money now. Again, because most of them have underperformed. They're negative on the year. If you could get a high-quality blue chip with a decent yield, it doesn't have to be that high. Uh, again, I mean, they're underperformed all of the, the crazy tech running. So it's like, why? You know, like, I, I love them. I love those plays. Again, we were just negative on some of them yesterday, and now they're up. So it's like that's, that's what we've been trying to build out 
because again, we'll get, we still get diversification. We'll get our dividends. If they run, we'll get that. We still have our growth and cyclicals. So, uh, but I do think that's a, that's a great place to FOMO money into right now because it's not FOMO if they're still near the lows. That's why you think he changed his tune. He's forced. So he's, so he's not cutting in November. I think, I think ideally would it, maybe the tinfoil could be Powell knows we're going to have to cut rates this year because shit's going to drop faster than we expect. But then he has to forecast rate cuts now because if he did it randomly while it was happening during the election, that wouldn't have, have boded well with a lot of people. But other than that, if he does cut too late, if he doesn't cut early into the next year, people will will start bringing up political connotations by it. They already are tar- talking about it now. That's why it's already getting some movement. Beating dividend at 2% with the growth aspect. That's good. That's you're gonna. That's more so growth to some, but there's still quality names like that. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not opposed to that at all. But you don't have to get as aggressive though. So like, if the dividend yield is below five or four, doesn't mean that it's bad. Like you know, because again, you got to think for the future. That's we might go back to our normal stages of three to seven. Remember, higher end is is pretty high. So it's like a four or five isn't that bad there too. But like two percent with growth, you might be just be going for a growth stock at that point. I think JP Morgan might fit that criteria. So happy we get out of Bank of America. I feel you, bro. Is Yang still green for you? I got out of it with nothing, but then I missed out on extra profit. But I think Bank of America is going to go. If nothing happens in the next couple of days, Bank of America should go green. And then we have right now we're, we're green with dividends on the same. I don't know if you have the same size. So right now I'm down $450 on the shares but I've collected $480 on the dividend this year. So theoretically, if you wanted to sell out with a $20 gain, you could be out there. Yeah, I sold Yang for only $60. Like I said, we could reposition, if anything, and go from there. I like Pfizer. I have Pfizer, but I'm, I'm waiting to average on the long term because I'm moving accounts. I have a flip play, but I'm actually down with Pfizer. So... But again, I mean, I don't know your whole portfolio and everything else, but this has been something I added to the long term. You got 10,000 shares? What the f- of of what? Of Bank of America? So, you got mad dividend then. I don't know. Airbnb, I want to add Airbnb. Cuz Airbnb's up. That's what I'm saying. I love Airbnb, but this isn't the time to buy Airbnb. That's up 100% on the year almost. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just, I, I, I only want things that are negative uh, in like quality. I said that you have $10,000 in it, maybe. I don't know. I was like, well, how many shares? Because I was like, dude, what the fuck? I was like, how are you w- not more pissed <laughs> when Bank of America was getting clapped dead. Oh my gosh. Target could be a good one. Yeah. Target. You all know about Target. Some of you, you may, you may drink Bud Light or may not like Bud Light and still caught up in that. But Target is one of those names. Again, negative on the year. It's actually right, 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 right where it's at. But then it's moved up a lot. The only risk I'm taught is if we really turn around hard landing, you, st- these stocks have pumped up heavy recently. Mm-mm. I'm not up on Walgreens. Walgreens is one of those places, but that's more higher risk. The dividend still yields nine. So you got to think about that. If it's not on the S&P 500, that's a, that's already a red flag, right? If it's not on any major index, red flag, okay? But then also too, if it's paying above six, 7% right now, I would I would approach it with caution. Why? Because it's still yielding higher. And if it's a quality name, we're thinking about the future. So it's like you got to balance it out because there's some names that are that are pretty calm. Mm-mm-mm. When everything is up, you want to buy them. But when it's red, you're hesitant. Uh, yeah, sometimes. But in this, this has been the strategy I've outlined all year. Yes or no. Whether we thought it was going to collapse, whether we thought it was going to run up, this whole idea of, st- of telling you not to buy things that are up. 
have I not said this this entire year, regardless of what I've been right or wrong on. I Because I know for a fact I have really stood to this point where I just said, listen, if it's running and it's up on the year, do not buy it. That's I've stood by that this whole entire year. So the whole idea of buying value and, and diversifying, we have stuck with it. I know, yeah, so a lot of people say it too, but just in general, just make sure, like, you know, again, if you have too much cash, though, this is the time to start moving a little bit. But other than that, and there, and again, there's still risk on, on around the horizon. It's not like it's a way there, but it's like this logic and diversification, it's going to save you. And, th and then again, you see it, whether the market's down or up, my strategy doesn't have to change and you're going to be good. <laughs> so that's all you got to keep in mind. And then like I'm telling you, if the yield is high right now, they could still be shittier quality. So it's like find the high quality index names that you see are, you know, a fair yield. You know about them and then that's it. Western Union. See, that's it's so MPW is still on the sketch list. Now you see Western Union. Uh, Altria is still on the sketch list as well, too. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like well, not 10 percent cash is not too much. You could still keep that in bill. You'll get for at least another six months. You're going to get 5% on it, you know, but anything above, uh, anything above 20% cash that starts to get a little high. And then if you have more than 50% cash, I think that's way too much right now. That's when it's all said and done. Caper. No, I haven't heard of them. I'm, I have to look. It sounds familiar and it doesn't at the same time. Capricorn, uh, I like PayPal, but we're green on it now. So it's down on the year. I could still get behind buying more, but even in our long term, that would be an average up now. Yesterday it was red. On hand or in bill? In your, I'm talking investments. I'm not telling you look at all of your money in the world, but like whatever you have is set aside for your investment accounts. 20% cash is not, that's it. I'm not, I think tw anything above 20, 30, you, the light should start flashing that you have a lot of money in cash. And then 50, it's like, go, just go buy some high quality dog shit right now where it's again, uh, appropriate yield, still beaten down. You know, the name, everybody uses it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to question it, but it's just like, you could, you could get, and then again, it's not like you're FOMOing too heavy because it, again, the market's about to hit all time highs and some of these are at 10 year, five year lows. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's what I'm really saying. I, I don't, I, I have no problem preaching any of those. Uh, you, because that's what I'm telling you. I'm not telling you go buy NVIDIA. I'm not telling you go buy spy ETF, you know, 3% off of all time highs. And Abivai wouldn't buy it. It's near all time highs. Like again, some names like Pfizer, it's 6%. That yield is a little too high. Everybody, it's like, it's right at the cusp of it, but there's names out there that are like, yo, they're still at four five year lows, three year lows, two year lows. They pay a decent dividend. You all know about them. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that you're not buying, you're not catching the FOMO. You're catching something at a multi-year low, especially if you're planning ahead for several years. We have a lot of dividends. I bought a lot of dividends. That's I've been telling you my goal last year was increase my dividend stocks. So we, we literally increased our dividend yield by 100% this year. And now it's like, I'm thankful. I want more dividend. I'm always going to want more dividends. But now it's like, again, if the future shifts and if, if let's say everything goes perfect, we're going to be very glad we stacked up what we did. But then again, I do think we're going to get a lot of flip flop, a lot of good, a lot of bad, then a lot of good again and a lot of bad again. That's why I, I'm approaching with the strategy that I am in diversification. Why not park most of the cash in short term treasury? Because what if things end up good? That's it. What if the soft landing actually happens? I don't believe it. But what if I'm wrong? What if you're wrong? Then you're going to be sitting on a majority of your investment money in cash. And then guess what happens now? If you have to wait, if it rockets up another 10, 15 percent and then it, and then we get the hard landing. 
it's good. It's kind of like the cushion already there. And then before you know, and then if no landing happens, if it's soft landing and all that bullshit, then, oh my goodness, you're, you're, you're everything that was dog shit, dirt, sh dog, whatever cheap is now running. And now you're getting less yield, paying higher prices. It, that's what gets people stuck in the market sometimes. That's why the idea with the long term is slowly but surely always around the always around the time. I'm listening at the quarterly cancer screening. I wanted to let you know, Chad, that you guys have really helped me since my diagnosis. No way, bro. Oh my goodness. I got I got multiple prayers your way, dog. Amen, bro. That's good, man. Then tell me the jokes you like so I can make you laugh. All right, I want. I'm all you got. I know. I know some jokes you won't like, but I, I got you, dog. You let me know, man. Let's go, warrior. W let's go, baby. And honestly, man, I'm praying for all the chads. A lot of this year has been a, a crazy ass year on a, on a lot of different levels, man. But like I said, bro, chads are even what you guys have gone through, bro. Like I'm telling you, that's that's one story even right there, man. So, amen, bro. And I hope uh, that's why, too, like, you know, that's we got to share the love, bro, and show the love to each other, because above all else, man, you, you look at we're all here together, man. We vibe. We spend our time here. So, man, like try to encourage others because you never know. Never know what someone's going through. KRE, baby. I got a good feel too today. I don't know. It's kind of about being a warrior. It might be. It might hit, man. It might hit. Chads are sound and resilient. I could get behind that. I still can't believe we had a fucking banking failure this year. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, KRE back up to five. That one's looking good now again. It was looking good al already, but we like the, the, the high end. I want to listen to that song Michael told me. He said, what do he say? It's like Warrior or something? Bank of America, new high. Again, gold, 20. Gold is up so much. I know. Body does need healthy foods. I feel you. I, I, say, I, I agree with you in shame. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know. I had wings yesterday. I'm not going to lie to you. So I just, I don't know. I was craving, like, because my nose, I crave spicy food because I can't, like, breathe. Because my nose and this little baby sickness... So I was like, nah, man. So I know I feel ashamed, but you're right, bro. You're right. Onward, Christian soul. Why does it sound so familiar? I need to type it in. I'm not going to lie, though. I am here. Oh, my God, my way, what's up? He'll be here when you be. I only know that because of Guitar Hero. Don't think I'm that cultured. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm vibe with the piano. Christian oh, I like it. It's the new Pump It Up. With the will of Jesus going on before. All right, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I've heard it, though. It sounds familiar. I, had, I only had lyrics. I didn't know the song. Uh, so shout out these YouTube videos put in the text. I, they had the lyrics on Pump It Up too, but it's pretty simple. I learned Pump It Up very quickly. Don't you know, Pump It Up. <laughs> You've got to pump it up. Wow. Um, I used to hear that at church all the time. I'm, I don't think I've, I've... The name sounds familiar, but I don't. I don't recall this one. Lucid is probably running off of the hype of all of this, but they got clapped recently because of the CFO and then leaving and then delisted off the NASDAQ. Let, that's a slow ver version. Let the Salvation Army sing it for you. What's a trustworthy platform to trade binary options? Oh, this one's an easy one. None of them. Binary options is like OG scam. I don't even think people in the chat will disagree with me. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm be like, oh, like, don't do this, don't do that. And somebody like, no, I fucking love Weeble. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really think everybody in, unan- in unanimously has already, this is like, it's like the OG scam. Like, just don't trade binary options. Yeah, just go play DraftKings. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a full blown scam. It's binary options is like trying to play the stacker game, where you win an Xbox at the arcade. It's so uh, it's it's a full blown like rigged scam. Like I, again, I don't think I've had any disagreement. There has not been one smart ass yet who's like, well, I didn't know. Like so, it's usually like I think unanimously, everybody everybody knows binary is is just a scam. So I want to do it. I would stay far away from it. RxRx. I think it's just the hype, bro. That's it. People talking AI again, and then it's cyclical. All of it, all the trash is going to come back up. So we're back. We're we're positive on RxRx now. Again, I was murdered on that play. A lot of murdering has came back. My goodness. I don't even think they let... Do they let binaries even advertise on Google anymore? I don't even think they let them advertise because of how, like, it's just full-blown scam. UNH down three? Oh, wow. That's a good one to add to the list. It's like a binary option. It's just like if you think... It's like a weird... I don't even know what type of instrument to call it. But they're like, if you think the stock will be at this price by the end of the day, all you got to do is say, you bet on this, and then you make money. If you think it'll be lower, but then there's no, like, centralized exchange. So it's just like a computer taking you up to, like, one penny and then just takes all your money. It's like a, it's literally like an arcade game. It's like a... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. No, craps, you have better odds. I'll win money in craps, bro. <laughs> I've never traded binary options, but I've I've always known to stay away from them. And then everybody figured it out after they got cleaned out. But, yeah. Simplify trading. You only need to trade in 30 seconds. If you think the stock will go higher by 12 p.m., all you got to do is press this button. If you think it'll be lower, all you do is press here, and then you win. It's, I think Crash, I would rather play Crash. I'd rather play Rubik Crash instead. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not. <laughs> I'm tell, I even, I legitimately, bro. I would legitimately, like, I would rather play, like, oh, I'd rather go on steak. Uh, like, it's straight up, like, nah, it's, it's, it's so, it's so bad. Should I sell my BMW E46 M3 to buy stock for the long term? You don't drive it often? What kind of condition? How many miles? Because if you got that shit in pristine condition, I mean, that's going to be a collector piece, I feel like, one day. There's a lot of them. But, like, even then, that's word to the S2000. Like, you saw what that thing did. But then again, like, you know, cars will depreciate. I think a better idea, if you're going to sell the car, go get a house. Go get you a cheap rental property, and maybe you take some out of the long term to get it. But that's what I would do. I don't know. It's it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Have you heard of Kalshi, where you buy contracts on real world events? Yeah, they offered me two hundred thousand uh, dollars to sponsor them, but I I I chose not to. It just does. I don't really want to promote gambling in that nature. I'll gamble on a future. Fuck that. But like, uh, you know, long term. But like, I don't know. I don't. I, it's cool, but not really. I don't know. But there's like Kalshi, the other guys. Who was the other one? They offered me like 50K. Because like, I I just said some bullshit. I was like, give me 200K to gamble on your platform and I'll do it. And then they agreed. And I said, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, nah, I'm good, man. Thank you. But we'll see. Maybe. Maybe hard landing comes out, the long term gets clapped, I might need it, but 
I've already turned down other shit. I'm kind of, I don't even give a shit anymore. <laughs> like, you know, God is good, man. Finger to this guy. You do a lot of things for 200K, heavy respect. Well, listen, change that now. For real. Trust me. Money money will not be everything. And, and again, there's been periods of time, especially recently, where you look back and you're like, damn, I should have been shady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you. Uh, again, the PPP loans and, and all of that. But when it's all said and done, though, like, it's, I don't know. You never know how things are going to play out. And it's like, it's it's always good. And then at the same time, like, you know, reputation. And like, again, like I tell you, I mean, look around. Like, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've done a lot of good things. But like, you got to realize, like, you know, we have a really nice community here. And it's like, it's built on on a lot of good principles. And it's just like, I'm not, for the beginning of when I started this, I've not been here to just slaying you bullshit and make a dollar for myself. And, you know, and there's a re and then again, the long term and you see how it's benefited and people know and, you know, you could have trust in and you could have something good in a place that that's very rare. And it's not like, again, uh, no amount of money could could really ever replace that to a certain degree. You know, like when shit gets when, imagine when shit gets like bad and you in trouble, wh like what is better than somebody that, you know, that you could trust and has your back for real that. The money you could have, um, again, you could have a lot of money. And, and that's something I've noticed. The more money I've made, the less people I could trust. So you tell me what's going to be. So right now, you'd be like, I got a lot of people I trust. I need money. But definitely, if you want to build something, you want to build something long term, man, you got to look ahead for that. And and I'm telling you, that my, mindset will, it's, it's not going to get you the connections you want down the road. And that's what you will do. I'll never go homeless if you lost it all. I, I'm in, bro. That's what I'm banking on. Like, that's it. I feel like you see me. I could still lose on trades and shit. Maybe I go crazy and I end up wrong. I'm betting on it, man. You know, God willing, it doesn't happen. But, like, if I ever YOLO into the yen and lose it all, like, I'm moving in with a Chad. At, at, at the very least. I know one person got my back. They'll be like, I believe in you, Josh. They're, they'll, they'll believe in me enough. They'll know. I just I made one bad trade. But, like, come on. Let me sleep on the couch. I'll get back on it. I'll give you a couple ideas, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Funny how Jesus isn't mentioned when it comes to making big money. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, I would say my whole life is is glory to God. I don't I don't think, you know, I shit. I still got people calling me lucky, so Jesus, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But like, you know, I, again, but it's, it's beyond that. You know, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit with Philo today because it's just like, I don't know, man. I do from where I came from and other things and like, you know, and I see a lot of myself in you guys. And it's like we've shared a lot of similar lifestyles and like some of you are where I was at just not too long ago uh, or even, you know, at different stages. But it's like, you know, it's uh, that's why belief in faith and, and I don't know, maybe Jesus itself, but you could take the faith. Uh, just in, 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 in broader than that, I know not everybody's ready to chew on that, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, there's, there's a lot of things, but you know, I've, I'm, I do say glory to God on anything. I mean, big money, big losses, all of it. I'm always going to be grateful. I'm always going to be thankful and I'm, I'm always going to stand. I'm going to live by how I, what I believe. Uh, and that's, but again, you could call it Jesus, but I call it love your neighbor as you love yourself, you know? Because a lot of people claim Jesus and conservative this and that, but it's just like, where where's the love for other people? Where's the the help for the for the poor and the giving back and that stuff I believe in. And you know, sometimes I'm a little rude in that, but and sometimes I, I fall short of it. But at the end of the day, like that's what it's about, and that's why I mean, there's no paywall here. I'm not here to sell you a pipe dream on trading. We can make money on trades, but that's why I do say long term, save money, financial habits, and like I I know it's had a positive effect, and I see it. And then again, if I if I make a mistake one day, I, I hope you guys got my back. Uh, again, I might need a couch to sleep on, you know, hopefully not. But we'll see. Mm. Well, YCL, they went crazy. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It might be new. He'll get sick of the Jesus stuff eventually. Or he'll just realize I'm not like your typical Jesus person in a way. Because that's what I'm saying. I don't, I get a lot of Jesus people don't like me. <laughs> Y'all don't realize that. You know that? So like, you don't like the Jesus stuff, bro. Cool. You don't believe in God. That's fine. I still love you, man. You know it's not going to change my attitude or what we do. But like, I hope you guys get the guys who don't like believe or have shared the same opinion as me. I hope you realize how much animosity and negativity I get from Jesus believers. You would be shocked by it. <laughs> you would be shocked by it. So that honestly, most of the of, I, a majority of the hate I've gotten, I'd say it's 60 40. And it, it's it, 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 ba it balances between back and forth, uh, like of, of like the religious people and non religious people. But like, you would be shocked, bro. You would be shocked. It's we're just off a of Euro class still 940. Oh, man, it's almost few. We need to do some push ups, man. Even if you under the weather. Was it because you don't conform to their idea of religion or because you're Josh? I don't know. I mean, a lot of things rub people the wrong way. But like, I think the problem is that I, you know, I recognize I'm an imperfection and I'm a work in progress. And even though I like to encourage people towards it and you know and talk about it it's, it's there again i deal with money and like i say it i say it all the time like i my mind for money and business like again i'll invest in cigarettes like you know what i'm saying throw me in hell like <laughs> like people are ready to fucking put me on the cross already for that and i'm like you know what i'm not jesus i'm probably the guy who is next to jesus who is like yo remember me in heaven bro like please like that's i guess that's my approach uh but I don't know. Uh, everybody has their own thing, but it, it happens a lot. It's easy, you know, if we get if you get caught up focusing, yo, EKC, I Excelion, they're getting clapped. I put it up, but I didn't call it out vocally. Uh, EKC down 4% one candle. Check news on that. Mm. Uh, press release. No, I don't see anything. EKC down five in a candle. That's huge. I'm checking news on it. I don't have one thing off one wire. What is it? EXC? Did I say K? EXC? XLU. It's a utility. I don't see anything on that. Moldovian president to put U.S. accession. Oil prices extend gains. Not seeing anything on that. EXC. Excelion and utilities. Tesla on the high, though. Spy trying to run up. Again, UNH is down too. Yeah, XLU getting murdered off of that. EXC again, 5% one candle, no news. Could be guidance. I think it's nuclear. I know it's a utility. I think they deal with other stuff beyond uh, nuclear energy, but it's just a utility company. A cam on the high. That someone was calling that out earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I, I put that on a stream alert. No idea what that is. Yeah, youths are getting murked off of it. But yeah, it's part. Honestly, I have to get in the philo soon. That's the thing. This goes for all of people. It's simple. When you focus on the flaws in others, you just simply stop focusing on God or what you believe in. That's usually what it is. Because if you did focus on that, when you would see others' flaws and things different, you would be like, oh, shit, that's me. <laughs> I don't I don't want it. That's why I get mad when I get like I get mad at myself when I get caught up in the drama because I'm like, I don't want to say anything. You know, that's why sometimes it's better for me to ban or ignore it than not because it's like because the minute I start judging you man i'm judging myself it's the same thing i forgot everything i believed in so amen i don't believe in i love you i love you too man honestly you got you got a real love more more so than you would think man so amen bro amen even if you don't like me saying amen you know what i'm saying but like i got you bro is it a union walkout i don't know but that's huge 
I even went to the dollar there. I need to check the yen. We did make another play. We did two plays on that today. A rollover, and then I added an extra flip. Flip, flip. PayPal, their growth. Yeah, XLU is utilities. I think EXC is uh, one of the bigger ones. Remember, we would watch those hand in hand. I think I have an XLU play still. Oh, shit. That one's at a loss. I would have liked to sell that. It's a, it's a barrel, small loss, but then it says I bought it December 6th. Shit. So then I think I'm, that would not be a short-term loss, unfortunately. Hmm. Do you think they give me six-day delay? A Marin quickly falls? Not another one? Is that utilities? Is AEE? I think that's uh, that's a utility as well. Yo, utilities are getting collapsed. It's not just A. I'm pretty sure AEE is a utility. Electric utilities, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one. So two different utility plays getting murdered right now. No reason, no news. I've checked a little bit ago. Troy not even finding anything. So keep your eye out for that. There's supposed to be new EU laws and regulation today. That's what Coyote's saying. I don't know about short it, but something, I mean, something just dropped them like 5% right there. It could be that legislation. That's the, be that's the best thing I could go off of right now. And then oil still rock. We should have got that oil play. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. All right. So I think this thing could still go up, but I'm selling out of RXRX after I just reminded myself, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. Because now I got like other like PayPal options and random high levered plays coming up. Um, I'm getting out of RXRX. I sold it. I took $385 profit. But I do think that will get part of the cyclicals if everybody gets hyped up again. I had 2K of profit at one point, and then it turned into like a 3K loss, and then $300 profit, but we're out. Mm. Yeah, it went to 10. Dude, AEW, uh, we could have got a little bit more, but oh my gosh, a lot more. I would have made another, th I would have made like a thousand bucks, I think. Six to or eight, no, 800 bucks. No, 1,200. Shit. Bird in the hand. Yeah, and I'm like I'm saying, if you have high like options, futures, I have higher leverage plays that are running. So, and then some even coming back that I already wrote off as a loss. So, I'm going to take some of the share plays that, if, especially if we were down on them, came up. I'm still walking away with the green, but I, I think RXRX could still move, especially if everyone gets called crackheady again. So I still like it. Again, I like the price we got in at, but I'm just going to try to be responsible and uh, take a little bit off the table. And then hopefully my PayPal options just make me more for that. I think there's a ruling. I, so again, another person saying that. Utilities will drop it to a degree for a soft landing. Utilities are weird because they're kind of in the mix of both of it. But last time we started cooling down, they did. They got murdered. Mm, all right, I got your little cheek glaze. Uh, where's the Russell? 
Russell's still holding up right below 3%, though, man. That's solid. Interest rate. I don't know what's going to happen in Japan, but I, I'm, does it, regardless, I'm going to be holding the yen. So, again, if bonds are already running and everything, even after Powell, eventually, I think the yen is going to, if it doesn't give us a bigger gain by the end of this year, I, I think that's going to be the ultimate play coming into next year. I've been saying it. Again, I rolled, even before any of the hype, I rolled over to, like, middle of next year plays, end of next year plays on the yen already. So, I'm a big, big fan. But I don't know what's going to happen. And in a weird way, maybe Powell is talking about rate cuts because he knows Japan is going to do it. And then if Japan shocks us, it, like what if like what if the Bank of Japan does what Powell does and comes out with a complete shocker? There you go. And then if you're worried about financial conditions, if Japan fucks everything up, then there you go. Your financial conditions and bonds, bonds will ease up real quick. I play the yen through slash 6J. If you watch the watch list, you would know the other ways to play it. So don't play me, bro. Come on. Come on. You could do options and all that. We've covered it for a while. Mm. You said K. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say that next. I'm going to say K. You ask me something, we cover it every day. I'm going to say K. You remember when K used to be offensive? I remember when I was young, bro, we would get, like, mad. I would get mad. Like, if a girl would tell me K in a text message, I would never talk to her again. Like, no lie. I remember that. It was, like, super offensive. Yeah, that's why people started adding the two Ks. And they're like, oh, okay, that's it. That's how you let people know you were like, you were mad, K. K. I would get butthurt. I would. I used to. That's still rude in my book. No way. Oh, you crazy, Monica. Because <laughs> now, like, I just learned it from doing business with old people. Because, like, hella, they would just K me. And I'd be like, what the fuck? You just. Oh, he meant, okay, he's acknowledging me. No, nah, like, I, I learned that in real estate with the old guys. They always do K. They all, they're like, K. Like, they just don't know. They got fat fingers. They don't know how to type so much. So it's just, they like, always, they just hit K. Mm-hmm. You stand with Monica. Mm-hmm. Old guys do it, man. They do it. Like my dad, I think my dad does K all the time, and he has no idea what he's doing. I'm like, you sound really rude right now. <clears throat> Mods banned you yesterday after I said RKT. Josh's people practice market manipulation. You really think you're you move the market like that? That's insane. But did you include a rocket by chance? I don't think you got banned. You probably got timed out. But yeah, if you read the rules, it's in the description. It says no rockets, please. You know, I've never had a good investment opportunity presented with a rocket emoji. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed rocket. I mean, it get RKT. It makes sense. I timed somebody out today for RKT because they put a rocket at the end. I understood what they were saying without the emoji. So you were hyped for two hours, thinking at 10k. Wait, what happened? Did you? Was it fake or what? What happened? What? Mm -mm. I asked my girl. Said you need to go get it authenticated. That's the thing. She said the authentication is the is the key with it. It's counterfeit? Oh. Wait, did you buy it or did someone just give it to you? How'd you know it was counterfeit though? Cuz that's if you took it into Cartier though, and they tell they stopped they stopped authenticating them. That's the problem. So, like everybody started copying it so much that Cartier 
if you don't have the receipt, they won't even authenticate it for you. They won't even do anything because they're like everybody because you could do it. You don't know it. You could do that. So like you could go to your jeweler and tell your jeweler, make me this bracelet with a with a screwdriver and a jeweler can copy the Cartier bracelet in a second. It's not even a replica. You could go to any decent half ass jeweler and tell them to mold uh, the Cartier love bracelet is the easiest thing to do. And it's literally a tenth of the price or 30% of the price. You bought it from undeliverables. I researched about the engravings. Oh. Uh, see, look, I thought because even if you took it in, they won't even Cartier, though. Now that everybody started doing it, Cartier won't even go to the liberty of authenticating it. If you don't have a receipt from a Cartier place, they say you're on your own. Good luck. But yeah, the next one is Van Cleef. So ladies, if you want one of them Van Cleef bracelets or necklaces and you know your boyfriend got a long term and he don't want to spend the full amount, you tell him to go to a jeweler and tell your jeweler to make it and they could do the whole Van Cleef design and it will look exactly like a Van Cleef with higher quality if you want and then it won't even have. Yeah, you're dumping right now though. But it's same exact thing. Jeweler can make those. RTY even just sold off half a percent. It's not bad. Spy and NASDAQ are a little uglier. Mm -mm. XLU is what kind of started this little dump here. Are bonds dropping? Bonds came down a little bit, but still mad elevated. It could be off of the energy ruling. I'm. I, that would be the only thing that's happened so far. And again, that caused the immediate reaction on some of those plays. All the other, no news for now. Again, German Chancellor, EU accession talks for Ukraine, Hungary, PM Orban. No, I see a lot of global stuff. The only thing is that utility stuff. You're dumping now. Do you own any jewelry? A little bit, but we'll we'll get back to that question in a little bit. Because <laughs> this is, uh, uh, hello, what just happened? Again, Yen's thing. Yen's the most stable. Russell's coming down, not as much. I do think something energy utility related is, is actually murking us right now. Because that's really big, uh, honestly. And now NASDAQ is red. Maybe if SPY goes red. Banks aren't reacting too much, which is a little better. Mm-mm. Atlanta Fed GDP quarter four, 2.6% previous 1.2. It could be that Blackstone Advent are in uh, also vie for stake in DFL. I have Atlanta Fed GDP 2.6 versus 1.2 negative or something like that. That's the only other thing coming out right now. Remember, there's a big expiration tomorrow, but the only thing I'm thinking is utilities. I only have UMC in the sister's account. But other than that, no. I sold it for tax losses, and then it still never went below my tax loss over the last year. I thought I would be able to buy back, and then I just didn't because it didn't happen. Spy again. We're still speculating on why we dropped here. Amazon, Microsoft still dumping. It's either utility, energy legislation, uh, or the really good GDP release. It's not like a major one. It's just like it comes from a Fed, like a regional Fed, Atlanta. But everything is still up considerably. Again, that just brought the Russell down back to two. So and then again, the Nasdaq went red, but gold. The yen, dollar, bank stocks, they're not... You know what I'm saying? This is this, this is some area of the market. That's why I'm speculating energy with that. But other than that, I, maybe you could blame the zero days and the expiration. But that's about it. 
Bonds came down, but Bonds had an extra run. So Bonds are up a shit ton. Like, again, I think we're, we're up a lot on the Bond play even after that. We're up even more here, but it's just like Bonds are still running to the moon. And, uh, unfortunately, fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it. And what time is it? 1 p.m.? All right, I need to go to the bathroom. We'll see if anything happens. Follow me on Instagram, at the Trading Fraternity. You are going a little bit lower here. I don't know if it's news-driven, though, so be careful. Otherwise, look out for energy and utilities. BRB. ...to signal that the rate tightening cycle is indeed over here. Was that just luck, or was this really sort of about the way that Powell and company navigated this policy tightening cycle over the last year and a half? Jay Powell is not the person landing this plane in the United States. This, the entire cycle has had next to nothing to do with the Fed. We got the inflation because of COVID and the war in Ukraine. And we're getting the disinflation because supply chains opened up, workers came back to work, and he didn't take a second job or drill oil or any of the things that needed to be done to get supply going. That's what took the pressure off. I'm sure the Fed is, is they are having an effect but they're not the disinflation. Mm -hmm. And and it's, it's happening, and it has room to run still. Uh. I, I am curious, though, too. I mean, I, I feel like the Fed conversation is an easy one to have because you can look at the economic data and you can see why the Fed had to say what it said uh, mm -hmm. yesterday here. But when you look into the rest of the world, particularly over there in Europe, uh, we also heard from the BOE today, and we're going to hear from the Bank of Japan later. It's a much more complex story. But I am wondering if the Fed signaling that it's done raising rates and even ready to start cutting, does that take pressure off of those other central banks? Maybe pressure off of... The economy. I think that's kind of complicated. The one thing that I would say, the United States has led the world, or led Europe in particular, on inflation. Our inflation picked up faster. Our inflation has come down faster. So in some sense, I think Europe, while they don't come from the same place of strength in terms of growth in the labor market as the U.S., and I think that was important, they just, like, the it's, it's taken a really long time for everything to work out. A lot of these are shared disturbances. I think Europe is going to catch up and make even further progress. So we're going to get there, but they're absolutely signaling patience and caution as they go into next year. And so this gets us to this idea here as to whether if the Fed does move forward with this and the other major economies maybe don't find the ability or the willingness to also follow them, does that create a disparity that could have economic consequences? To some extent, we're all in this together. The United States is the largest economy in the world. And absolutely, Fed decisions had an effect on the interest rate, even just the interest rate risks around the world. And they are, it's not that Europe, the ECB and the Bank of England are going to be bound to the Fed as it starts to cut. It's that the reality is going to bring them all to the same place because the disruptions are widespread. Mm -hmm. So I don't, it's a, I guess I don't want to say that the Fed is t like leading the way in terms of what ECB and Bank of England should do. It's that we're a little further along in the unwinding of the disruptions than say Europe is. Does that mean, do you think the Fed actually will kind of be the first big bank to actually cut rates? So I think markets got a little too excited yesterday uh, with Jay Powell. I, I am highly skeptical of them cutting in March. They're just, they're going to want to really see it painfully clear in the data. And they're going to get two more inflation reads before March. They, given where they're at, and, and you see in the, the summary of economic projections, you had a big shift in the participants who move their risks. Like they think it's more balanced mm -hmm. in terms of inflation up or down. That's the first time since early in, in 2021 when inflation picked up. That's a step towards being comfortable to cut. I just, they're going to want to see more data. And I don't, it, it's hard to tell. They're all going to cut next year, right? Because it's going to be the right time to cut. So I don't know exactly who and when. And like I said, I don't think it matters so much, yeah. at least not in the United States, because we've got a lot of strength and a lot of kind of padding to deal with the, the Fed. And frankly, Europe doesn't have that same 
margin of error. Yeah, uh, she's certainly, uh, Christine Lagarde over there certainly has a, a little bit more of a complex task, I think, than Jay Powell, which says a lot, <laughs> uh, given how, uh, all the, uh, the navigation that Powell had to do uh, over the course of the last year or so. Claudia, always great to yeah. talk to you. Claudia Sam, the founder of Sam Consulting, taking a look here at the big rate decisions out of the ECB, the Fed, as well as the BOE and others. Of course, as she mentioned, the markets, the bond market particularly, has been out in front of this for quite some time. U.S. rate strategist over at Bloomberg Intelligence, Ira Jersey, joining us now to talk a little bit more about that, Ira. And I do want to uh, kind of get your thoughts here because well, I, I, I wanted to come back, but I like Ira. Uh, the bond market prior <laughs> to this meeting and saying it was way too extreme. It this was the way only too many cool cuts guy on Bloomberg. <laughs> way too many people saying that the peak in rates was behind us here. This now does seem like a validation here of those moves. Did, did it not? Well, at, at some level, no, there's remember, a couple we, of good guys remain, on Bloomberg. We priced but I like in it. even more cuts, right? So it's not that it's not that the Fed caught up to the market. It's that yes. the Fed caught up to the market, and the market said, "Well, we want more." Um, so right now, we're, we're talking about maybe six rate cuts being priced into the market starting in March, like you Mark, guys yeah, were just talk down those about. Fed futures, and, and, Ira. You know, I think that maybe the market has gotten it. a little bit ahead of itself, um, but at the same time, like the market's not very liquid right now. Not only because it's holiday season, but just holiday the pipes season. that all. Of the bonds that have to go through are much smaller now than they that, than they were as compared to the size of the market. So you, you're getting some of these extreme moves, like the 26 basis point move in two-year yields that we had yesterday. Um, so I, I think that you're you know the everyone who was short is now getting flat, and you know now we're we're going to try to find a new level here uh, to kind of consolidate at least for a little while. Um, but yeah. we're not quite there yet, it seems. Well, where do you think that level could potentially be? I mean, I was taking a look at the 10-year. We're below Below that 4% uh, level on the 10 year, uh, for I think for the first time since at least July here. So that's a pretty significant move down. We're still far from the lows, I think, of the year, uh, but we seem like we're still headed in that direction. Yeah, so our, our year-end forecast that we uh, made back in September was about 3.76%. So, you know, another 10-ish basis points from where we are for 10-year for Treasury yields. I, I think the big surprise to me really has been uh, how much two-year yields have, have drifted lower. Um, you know, you mentioned it's been about 50 basis points just in a couple of days. Uh, and, and, you know, so that's really a sign that the market is really trying to discount the, uh, you know, very dovish Fed. And, and I suspect that the risk here is that that the Fed won't be as dovish as what's being priced into the market at this point. Um, but, you know, then again, I, I thought that we were uh, kind of mispricing that a little bit before yesterday. So uh, so the market definitely seems to want to lean only one direction right now. So I, I think, you know, at least near term, it's hard to fight the momentum. Uh, you got me so I like the MES uh, idea. I went to MEN right, M M and Q. Great to talk to you. Ira Long. Jersey over at Bloomberg hey, Intelligence ones, leads ones. our uh, rate strategy down there here. Thank you, Ira. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll tell you guys now that I'm banned from there. I was going to have Ira come on on an interview. I talked to him uh, several times. He's a really cool dude, but they wouldn't let him come on. <laughs> yeah, they got they have him under contract. They approve where he goes and who he talks to like in public. Mm -hmm. I went to MNQ at 16 cents. Hi, I'm again. That's why I went to MNQ. But I'm going to do that for a flip there just in case we get a stupid pop. But we could still go lower. But I went NASDAQ's the one that's down. NASDAQ futures are down by 0.4. Josh Brown um, from CNBC. I don't. I mean, I don't really listen to him. Like, I'd liked. I liked Ira Jersey. Like, I'm. T that guy's a genius. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I. I just. I genuinely like. I only reach out to people if I like very well. Like, listen to them and vibe. And I'm like, yo, they got some knowledge to drop on here. So again, like again, Bill Ackman. Remember, he responded to me. I never hit him back up though. I don't. I don't know if I wanted to do the Bill Ackman route. He's cool, but. At the same time, I just, I was, I don't know. That was when Bill Ackman was pumpy, dumpy, and all this, and I, a lot of stuff, but. I 
I reached out to Hugh. He has not hit me back up. I think maybe were you guys like mean to him for the first like nine months when TLT went down? But I haven't heard back from Hugh yet. No, whenever he likes to, though, it's a it's a it's an open floor. MNQ, it's slash MNQ, it's a future. It's a micro future. She's a national treasure. How could you be mean to that? Because I know what it's like being on the internet with stocks. Oh, he hasn't released a podcast in two months? I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Maybe he's just living life. But, like, dude, everybody, like, if you're not used to, like, talking about your stock plays on the Internet, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's crazy to think about. Like, because, like, dude, people get really aggressive with you. And then, like, if people know you're doing wrong or bad in a way, they'll be like, oh, I, I lost everything because of you. They'll, like hype it up and then there's people who really get mad if like they're really losing and then it's like you deal with a lot of different things so like i could only imagine of the tlt stuff and then how everybody like goes crazy you know what i'm saying it's not even like it's just it's crazy i don't know it's like if you're not used to it it's definitely like it's a different world like again i'm i was always on like internet and xbox so i guess i was kind of prepared for it and like I've learned a lot too, but it's just like at the same time, like, dude, the internet with stocks is an insane, insane social dynamic, bro. It's especially if like, especially when things don't go right. Oh, you better, you better have a, uh, your helmet on, bro. You better have your helmet on. I never built more than a hundred, so you don't hold me accountable. I mean, again, I mean, I'm here again to the point. You don't even trade, so it's like you know, I, it's it's crazy. Depending on who you ask about me, I got different opinions. But when it's all said and done, man, you know, we're not trying to do anything, sell it. I'm not. I have my plays, but at the same time, like you'll see me get washed on shit before. So, you know, it's not like I'm parading it around like I'm the the best, and this is gonna be the best. It's worse than 2K, yeah. 2K is pretty bad though. 2K. 2k is just is so stupid because there's no money involved you see what i'm saying like i get it money stocks like for real and then you see so many like there's such a a disparity of like wealth in the market between people doing good and bad you know what i'm saying but it's just like dude 2k is for no reason people just start getting wild after one minute and there's nothing real at stake you know what i'm saying like it makes no sense at all Mm -hmm. I remember when you bought ETC at the highs. I do too. Uh, did you remember when we bought Bitcoin at $10,000 and everybody, at least 5,000 people got involved in that trade too? <laughs> See, so it's just, I get, I, I've had a lot of success and I've had a lot of failure. I just, I get over everything very quickly. I get over it faster than anybody else gets, a, gets over it. Uh, but it's just like, you know, there's so many different things, but I'm not here to be like, just like yesterday, I'm not here to be right. I don't know if y'all are, are, are on that. I obviously want to make money and I'm, you know, I, I put out my, my best effort at it. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm here to share with you guys reasoning and logic. And what I really hope I get from it too, is that you could help share something back with me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, because that I hope I could share my logic with you and you could give me a real challenge or real support that isn't just because you're mad that I have followers or money or something. You know what I'm saying? Because that's sadly what a lot of it is sometimes. And it's where we could have information and the logic. So again, like I hope the logic of the, uh, the logic of the, like the bank play yesterday, I really hope that helped you learn something. Again, the logic of why I was wrong and then instantly went to only long plays on the Russell and shit like that. Like there was a reasoning and like, I hope, that is what I could share with people and guide them to make decisions on the market and hopefully not have to rely on anybody. You know, that's, that's really what it comes down to. That's why I know paywall. That's why people get mad if I don't promote the whole 
cabal of, <laughs> of just damn do trade like this day trade this do it like this do it like that it's like you know I, I really believe in people learning their own way and, and doing what they got to and and getting to that point so yeah <laughs> Yeah, there was a little lag on the options yesterday. We could have took those KRE. Rejection on MNQ. Even gold dropping now. Well, we'll see bonds, dollar, and then watch banks. I have XLF up for a reason. If they start to give up, then we'll know things are really dumping. Mm -mm. People will dislike you whether you're right or wrong. Yes. And that's something why you all got to understand that. And that's why word to the philo. Don't try to impress anybody. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that, that, that'll that save you a lot of the trouble. And you'll you'll stay alive a long, a long time in this market. And that's it. And just keep an open mind. Uh, that's it. Then and, and learn and vibe, adapt. You'll be good. And long term. But yeah, so I could see, I don't know. I have not heard from Hugh in a minute. I'm trying to impress future me by making small good decisions. I like Intel, but it's I I didn't like it at 26 and I like it now, so I don't know, man. I, I think Intel is going to be good, but I, I don't I want to buy it at these prices, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm, I'm very weird when it's all said and done. So it's, it's hard to say. Maybe if it comes down. IMMX, I think 2020 or 2021. I think I sold that for a tax loss. I've had hundreds of place. <laughs> but yeah. In Intel is going to be your Novo cooling it. It might be, but like if it is, it is. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the the end of the day. Like that isn't I know I don't like to think like that you know what I'm saying everything is just different everybody has their own unique situation or like every stock too maybe it is the next Novo but at the end of the day I think it's good I'm, I'm I'll tell you it's I like the company I'm just I'm not ready to buy it at that price but so I don't disagree that it has high potential and could go up but I'm not really uh like you know I, I don't have to buy it right now uh, and again, I have, I have other things I'm focusing on. And if it goes good, I'll be happy for the people who benefit on it. And if it goes down, I'm, I might become a fellow shareholder. Thought you still had no, I think, I don't know, maybe. I'm pretty sure IMX I sold. I have other like recent biotechs like Itos, uh, Folk, and a couple of others, but let me check IMMX. No, I don't think so. I don't have it. Do I think real estate prices are going to come up? I mean, if people get too optimistic with mortgages, but then again, I think by the time the mortgage rates really become like juicy, to start spurring things, we have to see the data of things slow down. But if anything, I think stable to slight tilt now higher uh, because of the rates. But other than that, I think it's just going to be stable until unemployment. I'm using unemployment as a gauge more or less. But again, I mean, I never got out of real estate. Uh, that was no matter what anybody on fucking YouTube said. Uh, we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like real. So it's just like, I always said though, you had to be conservative though. The last like year I did less house flips this year compared to any year in the last like four or five probably. So, but I still acquired for the long. Uh, and, and again, I think you just got to balance it out. Be, you know, always look for a deal in real estate. Don't buy the highest in the neighborhood in the last like six to 12 months and you'll be good. 
there is truth to banning corporations. Corporations is like it be con it's like hedge funds, and then there's some definitions of corporations of people owning more than four properties. Uh, but I know they there is truth to the rumor of them trying to ban hedge funds. So like actual hedge funds banning them from buying, which again I don't I don't like regulation, but I'm like yeah, it's not bad, not a bad idea. But then like just let the hedge funds buy the mortgages. That's how it used to be. So like up until like 2021, the hedge funds would just buy the mortgage debt. They would never buy the property. They would just buy the paper. So and then they just started getting crazy. Word to BlackRock, and then now then it got then it got nuts. Yeah, because they used to buy the paper. The paper, I used to sell them. I think LT still be selling them to the hedge funds, but they don't buy them the same way. Like, I, that was good money back in the day. Like, what you would do, it was uh, you would sell MBSs, mortgage-backed securities. You would fund mortgages, and then you would sell them to a hedge fund, and they would buy it up in 24 hours. So that's how you could fund $100 million of loans and then sell it to a hedge fund the next day because they would just buy it as a bond because the mortgage was paying like 4 or 5% or something, right? So they would buy $100 million worth and then they'd hold it in their hedge fund so they could go gamble on everything else and get a guaranteed 5% when rates were at zero. Yeah, now they started, they, as, since 2021, they started buying the hard asset. No, it's not 08. I know it's, it's a mortgage bag. It's selling. We're not selling. It's not like pools. They would buy the mortgages and hold them. That's why, like, if you, you probably, like, your mortgages used to always change providers all the time. That was the, that's part of the reason why. I don't know why we dropped. There was a little bit of news on, like, utilities, but besides that, it's hard to say. Can we land in, are we? Our good friend Raul. Too many cuts are priced. Well, that's what Ira was just saying. Again, we went from uh, Powell matching up to the Fed or Powell matching up to the market. And then right when the, he did that, the market said more. You could tell me why the drop. Let's hear it. I'm all ears. Again, still holding up nice. Your tinfoil is they got mad about losing so much on the meme stock rally. They wanted everyone to be renters. I disagree because I was telling you guys in 2020 at the end of it, in the beginning of 21, real estate's going to go crazy because of inflation and money supply. I believed it heavily and I went hard on it and that, that paid off very well. But it, I think it had to do with just that. That was the fact of the matter. We dumped so much money and then then the COVID housing shift was part of it. People wanted to be in houses, but I really just think it was uh, it was part of just, again, people, a lot of more people in the world, more money than ever, and, and then not enough houses when it was all said and done. And like, I, But again, I was trying to tell all of you for a very long time, uh, so, and some of you did profit off it immensely, uh, and some people said, no, it's going to crash and this and that, but it, I mean, it was something that, it, that was, that was life-changing. Uh, for sure, for I, I know for a lot of people, but I don't. I don't think it was a hedge fund conspiracy. I think they just caught on to it, and then they started just front running it and pounding it. Yeah, I don't even think the hedge funds lost. One hedge fund got blown up. Every other one made a shit ton of money. And then, yeah, Zillow and Open Door even got clapped. They got murdered, bro. Redfin, they dumped all of their properties, but my goodness. Dude, that was a crazy moment to watch Open Door, bro. They were so dumb. That was just crazy, bro. That was literally, I'll never forget it. They were just, they were buying houses at whatever the AI told them to buy it at. I was buying houses off market, and I wouldn't even, f like, fix it. An open door would offer me 30, 40% higher. 
it was the stupidest thing ever. It was insane. But then again, everybody was caught up in it. So, but it just again, they they were just top ticking everything. Yeah, I'm down on the NQ. Is the actual Nasdaq? Well, actual Nasdaq's down a quarter. NQ's down 0.55. I'm down 120 on that future. Mm -mm. Spy might go negative. Fill the gap, and then we go from there. Little cool off after hitting another high, and then still at 47. We'll see. Maybe we give up 4,700. Pfizer new lows. I'm. We'll see. If, again, I'm still in like a, that weird account transfer with the E Trade stuff now. Uh, but I, could, I might be even down to average on my flip shares. Make one last average. But I think Pfizer will start moving up once the market really comes down. So how many times have you guys seen it where the company gets killed and then the market goes up? As the market goes up, the death keeps getting worse. And then the day that the market actually dies, the death one is going to get get the bid. That's what I'm what I'm looking for. I'm down like 15 or 20% on Pfizer. So I'm down a lot. My price is at like the 34s, like low 30s or mid 30s, unfortunately. The other low, <laughs> the other like 10 year low we thought it was. Market got a breeze. And I mean, again, the Russell is up. Gold, like these other things, but like the Russell is now just falling under 2% right now. Yeah, low ticker is very active. Short term, one minute, 30 seconds, five minutes is even starting to tick up. You've been just going down, straight down. We've seen the blue chips run, indexes will hold, small caps. I, I mean, that's what it is. And even then, if you don't want to be a jackass in FOMO when everything feels like this, the small caps are, again, not even just small caps, but the ones that are beaten down, that's one area, and then the cyclicals usually blend in. There you have it up, filled the gap. RTK, RKT never paid a dividend. They just did one special dividend back in the day. We buy all-time highs or wait for the pullback? You buy the names that are still down. I mean, we've been talking about this even before Powell and the market ripped. You go for the names that are like high quality but are not at all-time highs or at a yearly high even or even higher than last year. Like there's so many names. I think Coca-Cola, unless it goes up more again today, it's just like there's so many names that you all know about that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Blue chip names are going to be a big part of the economy, no matter what. It's like, that's where you want to be at. And it's, I, I don't consider it as FOMOing into all time highs because it should be down. Like it's again, I'm looking at one right now, you know, it should be lower. It's not as if it's, uh, you know, going to like necessarily hurt you. I mean, it could get bad. It could get worse, but at the same time, that is how you could, you know, adapt with this environment and go about the long term. And again, that's what we have been doing. I like Baba. We've been talking. I think China plays are high risk, high reward. 
China in a weird way is separate from all of this. So China, I made a China play today, not for the long term, but you do have to watch out for that. That's it, because there's a chance if you buy China and the market keeps rallying, you may miss out on the whole rally and China goes down 10%. That's still a, a, a huge possibility. So you got to really, uh, really, really decide in that sense. Shout out to long term. Long term's great. Oh man, that little candle popped and dropped. That sucks. I had something for you. I'm waiting though. I'm waiting to give you give you what you need here, but unfortunately we keep dumping. Mm. You need I I it might be time. All right, let's say should we do it? We could do it. Okay. I'm saying it was I was gonna do it a little bit. I was like, all right, we got it because we don't know why we drop. I think it's just normal momentum until like banks and other things come down. We do need push up. Let me get I need my back. I need to do one more. I just need to do like a couple resistance pulls, bro. Oh, I see I got this I got sickness posture, bro. I be getting sick. I ain't been, been able to move as much. I ain't been going to the gym because I be getting sick every time, bro. I need that. Let me pull the resistances real quick. I need it. Do you think it's worth looking at Magnificent Seven? Puts if people want to catch up. Uh... I think if you want to like, if you think they're going to rotate out, but I don't know how that one, it's, you got to be a little bit more accurate. If that makes sense. It's a, you're right in idea, but I, I think the execution will be difficult, but I'm not really too opposed to it, but I just don't know how much, just like a couple days ago. Do you remember when the Russell led the way for like four days and then the NASDAQ would dump and then the NASDAQ started to come up again and then it, it finally recovered and then it caught up with the Russell and then they just did it all over again. So the idea is good, but I just I think it's going to be easier said than done. Jamie Dimon visits U.S. Capitol. Is it Jover? That clever. It looks crazy. When I went to the bathroom and I saw this, I was like, damn, that looked wild. But only thing was utilities at that moment. Update on college just said the CT shows everything shrinking. This is what we want. Feeling blessed and strong. Thanks for the positivity. Amen, bro. <laughs> so sad. hopefully I didn't blow your ears out with that. That's what I'm talking about. That's good, bro. It's good. I'm sure you how do you you how, how do you feel? <laughs> you know, I feel you're like, whoo. Hey man, hey, let's go. For those who start at the lawn, you're going to ask me the same question, McCann. I just answered your question in depth, even though we answered it for like 45 minutes in the morning, sir. I love you. You don't even want the lawn term at this point. You don't even care that much. It's good, though. That you, ain't, you don't have that much FOMO. If you if you didn't even want, you didn't listen for the first answer, you ain't even FOMOing too hard. So it's good, man. I'll make a video and just wait for the video, and I'll, I'll get it for you. Gap filled? Did it? No, I not I don't see it. Maybe on Nasdaq. Well, Nasdaq's already red. Oh, eagle eye, harder. <laughs> what great timing! What great timing! 
many more gaps to fill. God bless you, bro. Should bonds be back to 2021 once we're done? I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of range in 2021, right? Logically, it just look at the rates associated. So if you think TLT gonna go to the ultimate high, don't forget that ultimate high is zero. Uh, or TLT that reflects like I think it's like a two percent or like a one something. I don't know. So just you could go back in time and see what the 30 year and the 10 year were at, and that'll give you your answer. I would have to double check. I, I would have to look at it myself. I wouldn't want to give you the wrong answer on that since it's easy to get the right answer. Mm -hmm. Chad, I know the market's going down right now, but we'll see how long this lasts. We'll see right now. It's like down but up. I know it's hard, it's hard to explain. But it's time. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for Philo. And I like this Philo. I'm going to bring up some things that you like. We're going to I I heard something the other day and it tripped me out. So I can't wait to share it with you cuz it's it's one of our favorites. It's one of our favorites, man. You're going to love it. But I'm going to start with something, man. Okay? I, again, we were last talking about controlling your mind and a, and a couple of other things, okay? But I want to share with you something. And maybe some of you will be able to relate. That today's philo is all about FOMO? It's not. No, 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 no. Again, like I told you the other day, I, not only do I love how y'all been vibing with philo, but it's like, Dude, sometimes I write these in advance or I'll have notes in my phone. Like, it's just when the, when I get to them sometimes or how things are and I want to tell y'all one. And then yesterday we had Pal. So this one I already had. So it's not really related to FOMO. But depending on what you feel uh, in your life, you may, you may attach this to it. But here's what I'll tell you. The basis of all spirituality is based on faith. And I mean that very literally. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. What do you think I'm saying about that? The basis of all spirituality is based on faith. What do you think I'm trying to communicate to you right now? Let's see. I'm right, but like, what, like, what does that mean? Belief. It's about believing without seeing. Got to believe. All right, you guys are getting close. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because sometimes you say this, people going to take it very religious too, which again, there is a religious connotation. I just like, as literal as it sounds, you have to understand that like, think about it. All of faith in anything or any like spiritual experience is all about believing in something, no matter what. So like low key, like even the people with the crystals and people who say they're spiritual, you guys do shrooms and say spirit, it's all revolves around a belief. There is some level of faith associated with it. Yes or no. Otherwise you'd be having fake spiritual experiences. Really think about it. I'm not saying you're not spiritual. I'm not saying you didn't. But what I am saying is that if there really isn't an element of faith or some level of belief, you have to believe something to have made that moment spiritual. Yes or no. Whatever you believe in, no matter what you believe in. But you had to believe something for to that point where you're like, wow, I had a spiritual experience. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. 
you like, nah, with mushrooms, you don't have to feel spiritual. It gets you spiritual. Or maybe the mushrooms just made you start believing in something. That's why people have bad experiences sometimes, too. Again, you start with faith may have just increased and whatever you could attach it to God, a dog, who knows what it could be. It doesn't matter. All I want you to understand is that the basis of all spiritual encounters and belief or faith and all, it starts with belief, that faith. Honestly, I've told you this before. You know what? I have never heard a voice. <laughs> You know that? I've heard a lot of people. I, I think if my dad's even, he's like, God spoke to me. I've never had God speak to me. I've never heard a voice. I may have had God speak to me in various ways. But it started with some faith and a belief in something first. I've never heard a voice, but I've always had faith. Even at other times, even beyond God and religion and that, like literally. That's why Earl Nightingale... And that's why, like, Richest Man of Babylon, I tell you, they changed my life. Because after reading, I, did, I started to have faith in something beyond, beyond just a spiritual faith. But then, then again, like, bro, going from a certain lifestyle to, like, getting certain things you want, having that freedom, bro, it, it's spiritual. Especially, that's why I said, some of y'all experience the same thing I have, the way we grew up and all of it. It's like, bro... Not being around money, not, not being around certain things, thinking that life was only supposed to be this. And then the moment that you had that belief and you were like, well, I'm going to pursue it. Oh, it's almost spiritual what, what, what starts to happen afterwards. The first time you believed in the long term and then you saw it work, that was a spiritual experience. Well, there was faith behind it. So... I don't know how you guys want to apply this, but I really hope you get what I'm saying because I think it's huge. I think it relates to so many different things. And then again, like, dude, what's your work? Like, honestly, go, don't believe in God. Go ahead. But like, for some of y'all, man, I really hope you start believing your true potential and what you can accomplish. That's why, like, don't tell me the excuses. Don't tell me what, why the, why, oh, it's too slow. I'll never do this. I can't do that. It's this and then this. And, like, you're only, like, it's like think about it. It's, it's just lacking faith in belief at all corners. When it's like, dude, you go, you, I, I know some of you have had this experience. That's why a lot of us, you know, we are connected. The way y'all share, you guys, some of you are addicted to drugs, homeless. You're, the backgrounds y'all share. And you're like, you know, man, I may not believe what you believe, Josh, but, oh, I feel you, man. Yeah, you had a spiritual experience. You've went through something at one. You had no hope. You had a view, a mindset, a perspective. And you at one, whatever it was, whether it was a word that, that inspired you to see something, an action, it, it led to you believing in something bigger and but that you couldn't see that wasn't there. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm looking through the penny saver, bro. I didn't, you know, the things weren't there. I read my first stock book with not a lot of, it wasn't there. Nothing was there. I say, well, I could do it. There's a belief. I'm, and you wonder why, like, like how I act certain ways, seriously. That's why you see people who go through certain things and they did believe. And you, well, you wonder why they act like they do. No, it's come on. Dude, that's a very spiritual experience. And I know a lot of you have had it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a simple breakdown. Your situation. And we're going to rhyme it, give you some rhyming words. A situation versus revelation. You know what that means? Situation is right now. It's what you're in. It's what you could sense and perceive. It's literally what you feel. Right? Every, it's a situation. What you are in. All of us, right now, when, while you're listening to this, you are in a situation. You could hear your senses. It's what is around you. And right now, what you are in. 
versus a revelation. What's a revelation? I'm gonna be great one day. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first person in my family to do this. I'm gonna become a doctor. I'm gonna I'm gonna accomplish I'm gonna become the AI coder. I'm gonna invent something. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be an artist. I could go down the list. Some of us have this. Again, where where some dreams come from. Some people got a revelation. That's how some of you, you were younger and you decided what you were going to do. Even now, even if you're older, you're, some of you are just deciding. You're like, no, nah, this is what I'm going to do. That's a revelation. I'm going to have a huge long term one day. That's the revelation. It's going to be able to pay for a house. It's going to be able to have some income coming out for it. It's going to make sure we good. Situation right now, you only got $200 a month. Maybe less, maybe 50 Oh, come on. Y'all don't feel me. Y'all don't feel me. See, that's the crazy part. Because all of y'all, imagine in the beginning, the way some of y'all encountered here. You were All of you were in a situation. You experienced it. You felt it. Your money, your job, your friends, your family, your emotions, social media, whatever it was, right? You were all in a situation. Some, some of you had belief, some of you had faith, some people didn't. Some, it took some time, whatever it was, but then eventually some people either had a revelation or not. Oh, you could have all been shared the same revelation, but it doesn't mean that you lived in it or that you went through it. And then you look around and be like, why are these people so nuts? Why are they so hyped on all of this all the time? Why do they still watch this? Hmm. Because in one point in their situation, they had a revelation. And now that's they start to go and make, uh-huh. Versus you could have the same revelation and then what? It's okay. This ain't to say, oh, look at you should have done this. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I just want you to understand how this works everywhere. Because y'all got to realize situation is very sensational. I don't know if you feel me. I don't know if you feel me. Chad, market's still dumping, though. Hitting another low. Philo is not stopping the downside. Philo is not stopping the downside. NQ even with a little flush. Another quarter right there. Mm -hmm. That's a bigger red. Now bonds might go down. Like I said, watch if the banks start to slip. I've been keeping these utilities up. Mm-hmm. But man, situation is very sensational. That's why it's so hard to overcome a lot of what you're going through right now. That's why that's why some people like Philo sometimes. That's why it's important to always renew your mind for real. Cause bro, when you're in a situation, it hits. Your sit your monetary situation hits more than having sex. That's what I mean by sensation. You feel it. You are, you, I can't, that's why when I tell some of you, yeah, if you save this little amount, one day it's going to change your life. You're, you, the, what you sense right now, cause your situation, it's so powerful. You're like, I don't know about that. Very, very easy to disagree. Why? Cause the sensations you're going through it. I'm telling you to ignore what you are going through and focus on something you have not seen or is in in the in advance. Oh man. Market getting dumped. Some of you are like keep Philo and Josh. <laughs> they take it both sides of money, maybe for a little bit. Everything's gone negative now, even the Dow. Everything except the Russell. So again, if anything, this is gonna be like those couple of days. But I don't think this is news driven. You'll be good. Man, so Chad, believe, bro. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to believe in. You don't have to believe in what I believe in. I hope you again believe in yourself, the potential you possess. I hope you give some effort to the future, for real, all the time. Cause I I want you to have a spiritual experience. Then you can. I don't know what you define it as, but this is what I'm telling you. It is. 
You know, and think, and I'll just, I'll tell you one thing now. This, this one kind of blew my mind too. You know, it's always easy to stop something if it gives us trouble. It's a wicked concept. That's why the devil only give you things you like a lot of the time. But that's why it also gets paradoxical because then we end up getting trapped in it sometimes. We don't notice it at first. But then it's like, wait a minute. How come people don't want to believe in something sometimes when I'm like, like, seriously, when that belief is giving you trouble? Because think about it. It's easy to not do something. Like, bro, you haven't noticed if something gives you trouble right away, you are you will go and pray to God instantly. You will change. That's it. Your first trade you lose on, you ain't never going to trade again. <laughs> You do a, so many different, if it gives you trouble, that girl, you still notice a bunch of red flags. You're like, nah, she ain't that cute. I'm out. You could, if it immediately gives you trouble, you, you avoid it. It's easy to stop it if it gives you trouble. But if it doesn't give you trouble and it gives you comfort, you usually don't notice till you realize the second half of it. Mm. So that's a, that's a little side note, but this is what I'm going to end it with, man. And I hope you all believe, man, a future for real and invest in your future, man. Go ahead. You don't have to do the long term. That's fine. I'm not, it's bigger than that, dude. It's really, really bigger than that. I hope you I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than a long term, man. Long term's all supplemental. You have potential. You had like, you know what I'm saying? You have some like, seriously, what's the point of thinking you keep you, you, this belief so small that you can't do anything? Stop it. That's what I'm talking about. It's bigger than money. It's bigger than all It's It's for you. So this is the part I knew you guys are going to like. You guys remember the armor? <laughs> You remember the armor, the helmet, the chest plate, the belt, the shoes, the shield, the sword. You, you guys know the armor, baby. Huh? <laughs> Keep it shining, baby. Can I tell you, can I tell you something about the armor? This blew my mind. And again, I know you could try to pick it apart, but honestly, this one got me thinking a little bit. And I said, damn. I said, damn, man. I want you to notice things about the armor. Like imagine like a like an old Roman soldier, right? You know, Bible time wearing the armor, the helmet, the helmet may be the only exception. That's why controlling your mind and your head is so important. And bro, and if you, the helmet ain't dented, bro. You good. That's it. You got a prayer. Say, God, give me my mindset back. That's it. And then the mindset back, you focus on him, you get it back. Amen. Oh, they. <laughs> but no, think about the armor. I want you to visualize it. The Roman, right? He wearing the little head, right? He wearing a chest plate. Chest plate, right? Chest to the sun. He got the belt on. He got the shoes and a shield and a sword. You imagine it with me? I could show you a picture, but I think your mind is better. Wait, wait till I tell you this. Are you ready? None of that armor covers your back. Y'all don't feel me, Chad. Why am I saying that? Why am I telling you that? None of that armor covers your back. Yeah, you got it. It's because you're not supposed to run from the enemy. 
You ain't supposed to run away, baby. You're supposed to face it. Situation, face it. You have the arm. That's part of it. There's nothing on your back. You run away, you're going to get clapped. Face it. I don't know what you think is going to stop you, what you think is in your way, what you think is not going to be there. But no, 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 no. The minute you turn around, you will be exposed. That's what, that is why they call him the accuser. If I could get you to doubt yourself and run away from the battle, that's the weak spot. Getting in your head, I can't, I don't do it. We're backing down and running away. Turning your back to what you are supposed to be facing. That's the only way you're going to lose, man. So, Chad, I don't know what you want, man. I hope you have a spiritual experience with it and you, you believe. And I hope you believe you can face it and stand up to it. I was, anything you want, I don't know what it is. But you better face it, man. You can't run away from it. Because that's the only way it gets you. So, Chattadonia, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. I hope you take that one to the bank. That is your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on that video. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch. This is main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate costs. There it is, chat. There it is. There it is. You like? I told. I got. It. I, I had this feel. I was sitting on this one, man. I was sitting on this one, bro. I, I was waiting for you know. I see. I was supposed to get it to you the day before. Then then we started talking about the other stuff, and then pow. Then you know. So I'm glad, man. So God bless you, Chad. God bless you. Man, which one of y'all did this? I search F three fifty. Josh answers. Which one of y'all added me into the Middle Eastern playlist, bro? You, you y'all cold, bro? What the hell? Somebody put me. They mixed. Uh, apparently, it's in there. That's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> Still on empty, but I'm gonna keep on driving all week. 
Nigga, I just miss my exit. I breeze when they let me ride. Loading up my F350. I don't drive a fucking EV. Gas tank still on empty. But I'ma keep on driving all week. I think I just miss my exit. I breeze when they let me ride. My driving got my girlfriend stressing. Screaming in my ear like a bird. They said they wait an hour to charge. Bounce me around. I'm that Bill, right? Uh, oh, I got, and, I got your girl got on. By- if you want, that came up next. They came up next. They knew. I got. I have the second country song. It's almost done. I'm on. It's, it's, it's on the way. It's. It sucks though. Like I kind of. I might be able to record it because like I sound. I sound a little good when I when I'm sick. It's a weird thing. But then like, well, I got a lot of work, man. Been doing a lot of end of the year too. But I was supposed. I. I don't know. I still don't know if I'm gonna leave. I kind of want. I really want to go somewhere, but like I really don't. And then now I've. Now that I feel sick, I'm like I really don't want to go anywhere. So we'll see. So I don't know, man. If we do a show, I'm going to take advantage of my, like, D-list celebrity status. And I'm going to make you guys come to my first comedy show. When I don't know when. I don't know when. If I ever do it, though, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure. You know, because I realized that, that people do that. And I was like, oh, shit, I could get away with that. You see what I'm saying? I know I could get at least 100 of y'all started out. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck it. If you don't want to go, I'll make it free. I'm not even going to have to sell the tickets. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I beggars can't be choosers, you know? But it's like I'll do I'll do that I'll do my first my first show will be a will be a comedy show, All right, but I have to I don't know I don't know if we could do that, so we'll see man. Mhm. But that that would be the only one. Cause music's a lot of like that's I don't know if I could perform perform, cause I only did one country song in my life man you're know, asking a lot asking a lot. I can't pre buy dude I don't even have a comedy set. <laughs> like I don't. That's what I'm saying. This is all just a very, just very large future ambitions, man. I don't know. That's it. It's gonna be like this. You're like all the reviews. He wasn't even funny. He just talked to the crowd, and then it felt like we could have done that on YouTube.com/slash the stock market. Mm-hmm. You'll play guitar for the live shows. Oh, I'm down. We get you and Marcus out there too. Let's see. We can have a live talent show. <laughs> You should get uncle to open for you. Controversial jokes only. Nah, I don't think so. I mean, some shit will probably be controversial, but you know, as long as we're in a, in a room, a safe space with Chad's, I'm sure we'll be good, man. I play a mad tambourine. Oh, let's go, Charlie. I, you know, you know, y'all, I don't know if y'all knew this about me, but I'm pretty good at the kazoo. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No. Okay. Mm-mm. Crowd work will be fine. I don't know though. Y'all didn't, y'all might take it different if I'm looking at you, just staring you. Maybe you'll like it more. You won't feel as bad because you'll be like, yeah, he looks weird, I guess. But if I just start clowning on you in real life, man, oh no, I don't know. Some people might. I, I, I don't know. I feel like Chad. Some Chads might get anger issues in real life. You gotta be careful. It was chill at Cole Real Estate. We had no problems, but you know, other than that, that that'd be the only downside. That's it. I'm just used to the chat. If I do any like negative crowd work, if I start, if I start making any jokes, they're gonna be. Be like, what you say, Josh? All right, okay. I'm five six, man. Calm down. We are okay. Chill, bro. Chill, 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 chill. chill. It'll only it'll be the only crowd work where the where the crowd talks shit back. <laughs> That's what I can envision. No, I did not close the Russell. Or the MNQ, I just grabbed that. I'm down 90 bucks. Down 300 for a little bit. LT? I think LT's like 6'1". LT's a tall motherfucker. Which is like, you look like a Greek god, bro. It's it's so insane. That's it. You either look Middle Eastern or you look like a model. I got the Middle Eastern part. That's how we break That's it. You know, honestly, though, LT, though, I told you that he lucky he did the hair transplant because he was looking 
Like, I, dude, he was looking old at one point. He would have looked so different, though. But it did, it did him good, man. It did him good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, full head of hair employed. <laughs> oh, LT, you too. Okay, there you go. You live in life, baby. You live in life. That's you singing. Yeah, that was me on that song there. Boeing's running. A couple chads were calling that one out earlier. So, again, you have this little drop is just off straight moment. Boeing's running. U.S. Supreme Court uh, bans Illinois' ban on assault-type rifles and large-capacity magazines. You blowing up his spot? Nah, man. He blew it. I think he still got pictures on, like, his real estate site sometimes with the pre-hairline. And I'm like, man. <laughs> it looked like another person, bro. It's so insane. It's so insane. In the car, you're driving, you can't read the chat, but you're cracking up. It's good, man. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's been a good day. Good day. Very confusing there on that move, but then again, it's still every everything's up. Boeing is going vertical right now, 255. <laughs> no such thing as an assault rifle. We have defense rifles. <laughs> Man, that must be the most Republican shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Defense rifles. Come in my house, I'm going to defend you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's not an assault rifle. What about a defense rifle? Mm-hmm. I reclaim my time. I yield back. <laughs> Amen, brother. It is a good way to uh, view the words. I, I've never heard defense rifle, hence my reaction. I don't know if Boeing news. I don't see anything. Usually with a pop like that, you get something. But then again, I mean, word to the rotations, that could be part of it. Dead count bounce. I don't just, we're in a weird, there's, it's very, this is just like last week, two weeks ago, because everything, even if it comes down, like, look at this spy, but like, why is the Russell look like this? Do you see what I'm saying? You guys remember that? It was literally two weeks ago. The Russell had the pop and then Nasdaq here, I'll put it up here. You guys don't remember that? Russell went up, NASDAQ would die, Russell would keep going up, and then NASDAQ caught up, Russell would die, then Russell would shoot up again, NASDAQ shot up, then would sell off, and then they matched up, and then now it's doing it again. You, do you see what I'm saying? So it's like until I, I would get worried once the Russell and everything really starts to, if it gave it back and vomited it up immediately, that's what we got to really be looking for. So that that's the, the biggest difference right now. And then again, like your banks and anything benefiting off of this crackhead nature, it's it's still up. AR. AR stands for Armal Armalite Rifle. But then it's still AR. What? Whoop. It's good, man. I, I, like, I like that, though. You said defense rifle. I like it. I like it. <laughs> defense rifle. Yeah, IWM is holding extremely well. Even then, it was up almost 4% off of nothing this morning. No, not nothing, but, like, that's big. So I'm glad, I'm glad we're in it. Again, even the M2Ks, even the mini ones did a lot of damage. I'm going to start using defense rifle. Dude, I've never heard that. That's why I like it. <laughs> it's pretty funny, man. That's a good one. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what Lucy got was getting murk the other day. I'm surprised, but then again, cyclicals they said buy it. And then we sold out of RXRX with a small gain today, uh, but I'm out of that. And then again, even old PayPal calls came up and some other shit. I think the PayPal's came back down though. Yeah, PayPal came back down. The PayPal. And then KRE still looking nice. So let's see. Tesla had a good day too. UNH got clobbered though today. There's still some downside names. I mean, even then, Microsoft and a couple of those big techs. Bonds are still holding. Yen was up and then came back down, but still green. Actually, I'm negative on those other rollovers. I, hey, I hope we could just take the gun laugh, but like this wasn't supposed to turn into a, like a town hall. Y'all have elections in a month. I think y'all visit your local town hall and present them this. You know what I'm saying? And even I'm a, I'm a gun owner, even though I'm in California. So, OK, but like at the end of the day, like I'm not that was not the open the door to turn I, even the Twitch and the YouTube. Y'all just started getting into it. Calm down. Calm down. Like, I would honestly, I would love to hear Vivek answer this shit. So, please, someone get it to him. Got your new eye prescription, negative 13. That's not bad, is it? Eye doctor. Mm hmm. It was a good joke. Let's leave it out there, yeah, right? We found, found a way to laugh at it. And, you know, you got educated a little bit in some senses. That's it. It's terrible. Did you get inspired by all of our eye, eyeglasses talk? But don't, do you wear contacts? You sick fuck. I'm sorry. If you wear contacts, you're insane. I like touching my eyeballs. Nah, bro. 13. Dude, I think, uh, I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, it was really bad, but I don't, I don't know. I never know the numbers. Contacts, my glasses are like two inches thick. Oh, I feel. Because they do have to make them bigger. I don't know. You could get away with the what's that? What's that killer dude's name? <laughs> the Netflix show, and he wear the sunglasses. Yeah, he got big, thick glasses. You could say it's retro. Anything below net? Yeah, Dahmer. Don't, uh, he had nice glasses, I guess. He, he pulled it off enough to murder everybody. No, okay. Clark Kent. Nah. You're legally blind. I'm a five. How are your contacts? Half an inch thick. Get contacts so you can see at night. If someone breaks into your house, you have to ask the murderer to wait. I can still, like, see, but, like, man, I'll, I feel, though, but, like, I'll just yell random stuff, and if they don't respond back, I'll know. I'll know who it is. That's it. I'm going to just say random phrases. Be like Chanel purse, and if my girlfriend don't say anything, it's not her coming in. That's it. I'll say the Lord Jesus Christ. If my mom or dad don't say Amen, and I'll say God is good. If I don't hear all the time, I'm blasting. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. Your house is booby trapped. We hit pies. That's illegal in California. Hate to break it to you. That's why I have cameras. I have cameras too, but like, I mean, I would probably look at the cameras, but like, I, I'd assume I wouldn't have enough time to be like, hold on, let's do some analysis here. Again, I got my electricity box fucking jacked. I have it on video. <laughs> My cameras don't go out when the electricity go out, which is good. But, I was, uh, but then again, like I still did not know I couldn't prevent it until afterwards. So, 
Mhm. How much Square? I think Square and PayPal, I mean, those are part of the financials and cyclicals that could benefit. I'm a PayPal guy, but Square had good growth on their last earnings. I was actually... Dude, PayPal went negative? Man... Now, pies are illegal. No, but booby trapping your home is. Because then again, if there's like, like if a firefighter came in to save you and he got hit with a pie and then maybe he tripped and then he like couldn't save you and then got in trouble, you would get, you would get in so much trouble. Mm -hmm. I looked into this because I was like, dude, I'm just going to booby trap the shit out of my house. Easy. I was looking into turrets, trap doors, all of it. I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, library doors to, like, flip them and, like, try. You know what I'm saying? They walk through a door, then they get stuck in a fake library, then they can't get out. Like, I, dude, I looked up all. I was about to do all of this shit. And then they, they told me it was illegal. Mm-hmm. My two-year-old sleeps in our bed. And last night, she's sitting up in bed, like, 3 a.m., pointing, saying, Ghost? You woke up and had the pistol before you knew what was going on. No one was there. You worried about a robber? Bro, little kids saying ghosts freak me out. That happened to a lending lending daughter. <laughs> lending tips told me this story. He took he took his daughter when she was like really young to like one of the properties and like She's like the happiest little girl and like she was just started like crying and she was like no and like pointing and like she was just like freaked out and she said something about like and even now to this day if we if we bring up the house like the address we say the word of the street she freaks out cuz she's like no no that is just creepy Mhm mm Yeah bro kids it's it's, it's weird It is. I would have tripped out. I'd be like, what you mean, ghost? Can you describe him? I would have got a sketch artist. Do you have to disclose death or murder in a house you sell? If it occurs within 12 months, I believe in California. I don't know if that's a national law. But if it happens within 12 months, on the 13th month, you don't got to tell them. It's non non-applicable. Like, I had that happen once. Like, thankfully, the lady told me. She didn't have to tell me, and I was like, I'm not buying this. Because <laughs> I wanted the house to live in it, too. And I was like, I'm not buying. You keep it. Fuck it. Because it, like, it was like a double murder or something. And I was like, man. Y'all crap. I don't want any of that on me. That's bad vibes, bro. If they ask about it, I mean... They could lie to you, but then again, then they could get in trouble for lying to you about like something like specifically. But for the most part, if they find a way to avoid it and you're okay with not, it, then that's it. But by law, I, I believe twelve months. I don't know. I I don't think it's twenty four months. I think it's just one year. Why do you think they call alcohol spirits? Ooh. Mm -mm. NQ. All right, I'm back to break even on the mint. My kid kept smiling, saying hi, grandma, to an empty corner once. Scared me so much. You yeah, man. I was just telling y'all I don't want kids yet. And now, yeah, no, don't tell me these stories. I'm never going to have kids. Got a little fucker in the house. He's like, hi, Grandma. I'll be terrified. I'll be like, hell no, no, heaven no, no, stop it. <laughs> Dude, that's, what do you do in that scenario? You could talk to your grandpa through your kid. Oh, my gosh. I'm not. <laughs> no, man. No. 
or what if it was just a demon saying his name was Grandma? You know, demons got weird names. Succubus, Grandma, and he could be anything. I ain't playing that game. Maybe he just played too much Roblox. Either way, I'd be terrified. The scariest thing is hearing, Daddy, there's a ghost in my room, but you don't have kids. Okay, there you go. That, all right, that was our horror section of the day. <laughs> I'm trying to meet the succubus demon. I don't know about you. Uh, I, I think it's you, dog. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> if that's your take towards the succubus, then I honestly... Man, look in the mirror three times, flash the lights a couple of times. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, she like, well, shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Fuego, that was not, nah, man. <laughs> All righty. So we're back above 4,700, a brief dip below it. Again, 4,720 will be the next one. NASDAQ still red, SPY barely green, though, and Dow back to green. Mm -hmm. Broadcom, $200 in a week. My goodness. Pump it up time. We already pumped it up at 40. It doesn't happen every time. That'd be crazy if it did. Y'all are some party animals. Do it again. <laughs> App Apple's even red. They were green in the morning by like three quarters. Shopify 52 week guy. Mm. Is any other chat getting static Morse code from the stream? No, man. You're just a potential CIA operative. M2K Ultra. The Russell. Cyclical Rally. Am I going to stream on Christmas? I don't have any plans to. We usually don't have a Christmas tradition. Thanksgiving, we do... But again, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm saying like, we don't even, uh, uh, like, I don't know. Like even in my family, like we don't really give gifts. So like, I don't know. Like I celebrate the birth of Jesus, even though like in Egypt, they celebrate it in like August cause they believe it's a different birthday. So I don't want to get all caught up into that, but you know, it's not really all about the, uh, the gifts more or less. Cause I, I feel like that's, I like the Turkey on Thanksgiving though, even though people were murdered and all that, but I do like the the aspect of being thankful regardless and I do I do love this country uh ab above all else. Think money goes heavy in a good dividend players. People want to lock in high dividends. I do. I think there's some are doing it now, even the underperformers, but for a little bit, for about 3 to 6 months you might see a heavy dividend value rotation uh, until the next set of data or problems arise. But yeah, the M2K Ultra is a fire joke. Yeah, but like you have to be both versed in conspiracy theories and like high level financial instruments to understand that one. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. Like I need I could only have a Chad crowd for, for anybody to laugh at that. Like I don't think my girlfriend would even I don't even think my girlfriend knows what an M2K is. She'd think it's a rapper. I'm like, it's not Machine Gun Kelly. His little brother? No. Twenty thirteen levels. Sounds like a two thousands drop. M two K, B two K. Bump, bump, bump.
Love MTA. Glad you started flipping it. Yeah, I mean, once once the like cyclical ghetto rate hike shit started to material again, I didn't want to go after TLT, and uh, even though it went up, I'm I'm glad we didn't because I I do think it was good, but it's been nice, man. M2K Russell. Eventually, it's gonna end, but for now, I mean, we have great great positions. I want to even ride these out for a little bit, even though we have a lot of profit on them. I do think uh, I think we have a fucking great ass position. Uh, maybe it comes down a little bit, but I'm liking it. This time of the year, we remember the explosion of Planet Krypton. What's that from? Some dude, where's my car? There's that Scientology. <laughs> moves a lot more. Yeah, the rust. It's, it moves big, like a lot of juice. It's like, it's kind of scary, but like, it's, it's still like, dude, the Russell moves up big. <clears throat> told everybody I know about pow pow saying the F word. They looked at me dead in the eye and they said, who the F is pow pow? <laughs> you don't know pow, like Jerome, Jerome pow. Oh. Do you do an end of the year recap? Remembering all the moves? Not really. I just go over my account and then see where it's at. <laughs> we go like, we'll go over some of the plays, but then, you know, like I'll go over the trading account and just see. Like, literally, where we're at, what we learned from it, but not really, like, a formal end-of-the-year recap. I don't really like it, you know? I That's the, the fucked-up part about the industry that we're in. It's like, we end the season, and then we start over right away. Like, we get, like, it, it just slows. That's why I want to take a break here at, like, after next week, because I'm like, maybe we need to, like, calm down a little bit, relax, because right when the year ends, you start all over again right at the beginning. So it's not really, uh, but I've never really done like a reflection. Yeah, we don't get an off season. You ask your teacher who's an economist if she believes in soft landing. Then we discussed about why it's all bullshit and we'll go into a recession. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the setup, but the problem now is that the market is going to be able to run until you're innocent until proven guilty. That's the best way I could put it for the stock market and everything financially. It's like I still think hard landing is on the table, but innocent until proven guilty. And that would happen as jobs actually going down. I'm long on the Russell. We've been long on the Russell since literally the beginning of December. So, like, I even rolled them over, but I did my rollover on the, I think before, even in November. We bought the M2K, and then I was flipping the big Russells back and forth, and then yesterday, legitimately, within a minute and five seconds of realizing I was wrong, I went long on a Russell future. I flipped out, and then I got back into it because I thought it would come down a little. I was like, no, no, no. I left the extra, like, 500 bucks on the table, but... I'm I'm glad I FOMO'd back into it. It's looking like the blow off top before. It looks like 1999. I mean, that's it. That's so again, that means there's going to be a lot of upside uh for a little bit, but again, just if but then again, if the soft landing occurs, fuck it. I mean, long term's going to love it, but at the end of the day, I just you even look at gold. This is how it always plays out. We're getting to that moment. Things are going to run up here now. And then right as we're anticipating rate cuts, we're anticipating them. But then if they happen with bad data, then we have a problem. That's it. The data keep looking good, then we're, we're great. But essentially, like pretty much next year, good news is good news. Bad news is bad news. I think that's fair to say, especially the closer we get to the end of the year. I definitely, uh, definitely get it. Oh, excuse me. Nineteen ninety nine. What year? What nineteen ninety nine? What year in nineteen ninety nine? Uh, the the whole one.
top tin foil judgment devaluing Trump property will be black swan. All properties will have to match devalued ratio. If they overvalued his properties, they did everywhere else. Unfortunately, no, I don't think it applies like that. It's not going to be like a like a Supreme Court case unless other people want to pursue it. So again, if your bank wants to go after you and try to use that as a precedent, they could, but I don't think it's going to cause that reaction. I think the easiest tinfoil is that we're about to have a hard landing and then that's why Powell's getting us ready and then Bank of Japan too. But other than that, I mean, innocent until proven guilty. <clears throat> Ban myself from trading. Too greedy. Too much FOMO. Lost three months worth of ten percent riding the options without ride the options without me, Chad. You get the long term, man. Don't worry about it. That is the beginning story of most people who are loving the long term right now. There again, we already had this talk earlier, and then people were like, "I did the same thing. I blew up the options. I did this with the options, and then I finally decided to go for the long term, and now they liked it." So, you know, above all else, man, it's a you could learn from it, take the lessons from it, but. You know, just don't ever give up on the long term, you know, and again, you'll work your way back into the shares and budget. And again, you go shares instead of options. I mean, that's something we've been saying for a while. I've done a couple of options here, but I've done a lot less. And then again, even shares has still been great. I mean, shares, we have profits on this year, uh, especially now with Bank of America. Woo! But, you know, above all else, it's not you get back to the long term. That's all I'm telling you. Long term is great. Mm -hmm. Nymex crew January settles at 7158 Hakuna Malata What a wonderful phrase It means no worries When the moment fo FOMO trades It's our problem free Averaging Hakuna Malata and then separating your accounts, trades versus investments is very essential. Don't tell me BA is still going up. We don't even know why it went up. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was going to do another vertical like that, but that's still pretty impressive. Even Ford's up. It's a tax dodge strategy. Oh, and Tim. Tim, I saw your long term. We need to get you a fucking blue chip anchor. We need to get you like a, you have Coca-Cola, which is good, but we need to get you like a solid blue chip in there. I like what you have in there. You have a good growth, a little bit of the divvies too, but like we need you at, I don't even care if it pays a dividend or not, but you need like a, like a top 50, top 100 name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I timed you out for that, Eric. <laughs> She's like that. You're such a smart guy. You have so many good things to add. He's like, GameStop. No, no. You know you don't even mean that. I was, I, I was being very sincere. Portfolio should be diversified. 60% equity, 40% bonds, and 20% physical gold. I don't want to be that guy, but that sounds like 120%, sir. <laughs> I feel you. Physical, I guess, is not an investment. It's physical. That's like the OG boomer portfolio. 60-40, then 20% on bonds. Like, what? You get to touch it, man. Y'all are y'all don't know how to promote gold. You know that y'all have no idea. Y'all like you could feel it. You could touch it. Y'all should have just taught me this years ago. I would have owned way more. This is a, it's an instrument. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that's it. Y'all should have don't let me. You could touch it. You could play music. I watch. Look. Hakuna Malata, what a wonderful phrase. See, man, that's it.
Silver makes the same. No, it don't. I got the. Don't make me take these two silver bars and smack them together. <laughs> I really want to now. Hold on, no, I gotta try this shit. Please hold. We gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh shit, this is heavy. All right. I don't know if it works how it should, but yeah, dog. It's not working how you thought. It don't sound. That sounds not pretty, bro. <laughs> like, this is very unrefined. It's just clank. <laughs> nah, bro. I don't, I don't think that's it, man. Yeah, nah. I like the goal. The goal is just, that's, come on, bro. The goal is way better, bro. That's, I don't even, ugh. That sounded hideous. <laughs> that's not fire at all, bro. That's it. Gold is how you guys think I look in person, and then silver is how I actually look. Like this, look how sexy this is. Like that's so pretty. It's clean. You know what I'm saying? Like that's. Dunk, dunk. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. Nah, Peter Schiff ain't P Peter Schiff don't even he ain't even teach me about the gold sound. Y'all taught me of that. Man. Peter Schiff, he should have said that years ago. <laughs> Clank. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> Silver gives me shivers. You weird. <laughs> Just something about the heavy decibels banging together. It just sounds just very relaxed. Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> it's really relaxed it to me. I have to go buy gold. See, that's what I was telling you. That's how you promote gold right there. It's an instrument. All the millennials are going to be like, it's a, I'm buying music. I'm chasing my dream. And it's an investment. Oh my, y'all said the same thing about Nikes. <laughs> okay, all of it. Mm-hmm. And Rolexes. Yeah, way better than a triangle. Coke coin is a more hour. Apparently, copper makes a good... I've never... I don't really got copper on deck. I'll look into it, though, for sure. What's your favorite genre? Silver. <laughs> Is my dad still rocking the Bob Marley shirt? Oh, yeah. Heavy. Heavy. Even after I told him, he's like, I like it. It's not. He doesn't get it. I, you know, I don't know if it's like an Arab dad thing, but like I tell him stuff and like he'll just like nod his head, you know, like I think he forgot that whole video I shot with him. I don't even think he remembers any of it, but that was the last. Actually, that was with the dot plot, but like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I told him what it meant, and he just, like, I swear I saw him wearing it, like, five days later. So I was like, all right, man. <laughs> all right. I was like, all right, man, I feel. I, I, I said, nobody's giving you shit for it. You're good, then. You're good. Maybe he uses. Nah, he would come to me. I don't think. Like when I was a bad kid, but I was an adult, and like he couldn't do shit, bro. I've like smoked in front of my dad. I said, "What are you gonna do about it?" <laughs> so I was bad. I was very, very bad at certain times. So that's it, man. So like he would at least. I don't. I, I think he's pretty cool with me. Like he would talk to me. Yeah, I was very, very, very disrespectful. I know. How are you alive? My dad's honestly like kind of like chill. Like, okay, if I, I've never done that to my, my mom. I'm, I'm terrified of my mom still to this day. My mom would, <laughs> my mom would light my house on fire. What is this? He said, Haram. He said, you will pay for it. He said, go ahead. Your life, man. Your life. He said, I do nothing. You're an adult. What do you want me to do? That's it. <laughs> like he's, I mean, it was a very logical response at the moment. Like, especially as I got older, like he wasn't lying, you know? 
No, no, I would never do that in front of my mom. I felt bad telling my mom I smoked weed. She was still disappointed. Like, that's it. Like, even when, like, at times, like, when we're all together, too, all the kids, and, like, we'd start go reminiscing on how bad we were sometimes, like, my mom just will, like, walk out the room. <laughs> she's not, like, she's not about, she's like, how did I raise you guys? Oh, my gosh. She just walks out. She don't, she don't want to hear any of it, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's like, you guys, no. She don't even care if it's like 15, 20 years. She don't, nope, she don't care. She don't care. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Make any plays? I did. I'm in an MNQ right now. That's it. Otherwise, we're riding out Bonds and Russell. And the yen. I did roll over the yen and added one. I got 50 bucks on an MNQ right now. The GLD options, I'm going to hold them till March or until they really run up. But they got pretty, they didn't move. That one's shitty until we get another gold pop. If anything, I want gold to die even more so I could get a future. But I don't think I, I might not get that opportunity. No statue of limitations with Bob for real. My mom happy you Tinder Town? What's what's Tinder Town? I've never heard of this. <laughs> that I used Tinder back in the day? That I like date girls? My mom tells me I shouldn't date anybody and I should get married and preferably she wanted me to marry my cousin. So I said, Mom, that's not gonna happen. She said, You're lost. <laughs> but now she likes my girlfriend, so it's good. Tinder or Grinder? Well, some of us only have one option, but I'm not going to judge you, Travis. I'm not going to judge you. You seem like a diverse man. Diversification, always key. Your cousin pretty? I don't know, dude. I've never even seen my cousins in Egypt, like, <laughs> like straight up, bro. I have no idea. No, my, I've already told you that. My mom's dead serious on the cousin shit. Like, nah, bro, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. That's the thing, my mom, me and her, I'm still like, ah, that one, like, as I got older, that's the only thing I haven't vibed with. Because a lot of things, I'm like, man, my mom was right. My mom was right. That one, I'm like, um, I don't know, mom. I don't know, still, that one still does not, I don't think that one's ever going to connect. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Kuna Mala time. Tell mom leasing chicks. Alright, bro. You got some you got you guys all your last comments, you and then you were like V shape recovery. <laughs> alright, man. I'll, I'll I'll share with her. We'll share with her. This call I know I I try to try to entertain one, but yeah, we were just talking about a lot of things. My parents are not cousins, no. Shit, they might be. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm in the MNQ. That was earlier today. Uh, What is it? You want Padufas? We could check. Kuna Malata. This is not helping your case. I didn't know I was on trial, sir. That's crazy. You should have told me that in the beginning. Your ex's parents were first cousins. Grandma's were sister. It was an interesting dynamic. Probably why she was batshit crazy, but smart AF. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> Like, oh, no, Josh, a little bad shit. Pretty smart at times. It fits. It fits. Hakuna Milan term. Actually, all right, you got Padufa for Abekma to treat relapse or refractory multiple melanoma. Didn't we get that? TSVT. So, again, some of these may have came out early. 
Did TSVT already have it? This one's tomorrow, so this might even happen today. Yeah, two days ago. Data from car three, car M. Did they get the Padufa though? They delivered the data, but I think they get Padufa tomorrow. And then you have ARQT, Padufa. Didn't we already get some? I think some of these came out early. So check TSVT if you would like to. I don't know if that one still has the Padufa. ARQT. Arc Didn't we see these? I feel like I've seen all of these. Now all the tickers are just blending together because we've seen them all. Inducement under listing rule. The FDA accepted supplemental new drug for rofamilistic cream. This is for the foam. Um, so ARQ, I think they still have a Padufa tomorrow. And then uh, December 19th, KA, yeah, that's foreign. But then Thermo Fisher and Viatris has some of it. Viatris has a partner for uh, Caltex, Cal Calidetes, SNDA, Padufa, approval of Tarpeo for entire population of phase three study. Let's see. A long time. We have an old video on it, and that <clears throat> it's in the description. It pretty much describes it, but we could cover it in a little bit. Vertex jumps on hopes of pain pill buster. Oh, shit. Was Viat I think this was the one from Viatris? No way. Oh, shit. Is Tarpeo the painkiller thing? No, it's adrenal suppression. Kidney problems. That one could be interesting. That's December 19th. VX458. Yeah, Hakuna Milan term is stuck in my head. No, 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 no. This one's a kidney drug, but apparently it's linked to it. I didn't know that. Wait, wait, I just read it. A pain alternative to opioids. I just read it. It said something there. Yeah, painful. Oh, with painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy. That's the people who had it. <laughs> the watch list. I got you, Jorge. God bless you. Mm -mm. And then ACAD or newer. There in December 22nd. BNTX has a Padufa December 23rd. Amgen has one on December 23rd. And then there's a couple of other names during December 23rd, and then that's it. There's actually a lot that were supposed to come out fourth quarter, now that I think about it. So there's a lot without any dates. Mm -mm. 
Why if thumb you follow me on IG? Be careful, bro. You're gonna get followed by a bunch of fake Joshes. So don't fall for the fake Joshes if you just follow me on Instagram. They're gonna start talking crazy. God bless you, Trey. You got any questions, Trey? You let me know, man. Glad you're here. So yeah, there's a honestly, I think uh, maybe we just go with the Labu. It's up so much, and if it gets clapped, you could lose 50% so fast. You have no idea. But yeah, there's still, so again... I think that, I don't know, Viatris is kind of interesting because, they, again, they're partnered with Vertex, and that Vertex thing could be huge. But I don't think it's the same thing, but there might be, like, a slight relation to it. It's actually, technically, the company is Kaliditas uh, for Tarpeo, but then they're partnered with uh, Thermo Fisher and Viatris on it. And then Viatris is partnered up with Vertex. So it's like his cousin's cousin, you know? But that one's kind of interesting. You got some Pumper Sandler coverage on it, too. And then, dude, there's a lot of names by the end of this quarter that were supposed to happen, and then they haven't happened yet. Hmm. Viatris is the company you work for? No shit, really? How do you like it? Do you think you're going to work there for a long time or just, <laughs> I know it sounds like a random question, but I'm curious. I know it may be offensive if someone like you think you're going to keep your job for a while. <clears throat> Been here for 15 years. Wow. Yemen Houthi says it targeted Marsk ship by drone and hit it directly. <laughs> Why? We hit the company ship direct hit. They're like, hey, man, we just trying to make some deliveries. The fuck? Houthis target Amazon drivers. What? Oh, shit. Viatris is Mylan? No way. Oh, I know Mylan. No way. Yemen Houthi says targeting the ship was after ship's crew refused to respond to calls from Yemeni naval forces. <laughs> Pull over the ship right now. They're like, who is this? <laughs> just, just go to the other channel, man. Just... <laughs> They're like, are you, should we respond to this? It's no good news. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know they're they're Mylan. So Mylan is like a big company. Back in the day, Mylan used to be like huge, bro. Let me see if I can pull up the Mylan. They I, what brought down Mylan? I forgot what it was. Dude, Beatrice. Even when you search up Mylan. Was it weren't they part of the you said owned by Pfizer? I didn't know it was them, but my what brought Mylan down? Because Mylan was huge. It wasn't just I think they got caught up in a I I don't know, were they related to the Bill Ackman shit? They made Valium. They were caught up in something though. Cause they had a dude, they were very successful. It could be the opiates. But it says something brought them the fuck down, bro. Yeah, like, dude, this used to be a $130 stock. This is the only stock chart I could find. Like, this thing was like, it was a powerhouse. Was it FDA issues with EpiPen? Oh, that, that, I feel like they had so much drama. That could be it. I mean, you work there. You might know better than I do. CEO making bad decisions. 
Wow. Mylan drops most in three years since launching review of business. That was in 2018. Interesting. Let me see how much debt they have. That's so crazy. I did not know that Viatris is Mylan. They got me with the rebranding. Usually I know all the rebrands, you know? That's crazy. Nice. Thank you for that. Heather Breshk? Who's asking? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Former CEO of Mylan. Joe Manchkin's daughter played direct part in EpiPen Price. Wait, what? That was Joe Manchkin's daughter? And she was the CEO of my Dude, why is this world so crazy, bro? Oh my goodness. Dude, this is all tripping me out right now. There's a lot to take in. I was just looking for a biotech play, man. What time is it? Power hour. Of course she was. And then she got in trouble for working with Pfizer to fuck up the EpiPen prices. That's crazy. Cash 1-3, debt 15-5. They paid dividend payout ratio 31. Hmm. That's a lot of debt. Good payout ratio for the most part. I don't know. That could be an interesting... If they have a Padufa in the next couple of days, I think that is pretty interesting. I don't know. I got fucking smoked on my last Padufa play. But that one catches my attention. Just because the Vertex link above all else. And then now that I know it has like heavyweight backing from the past but then again if it has too much drama but like clearly they're cleaning it up that one's an interesting one and amgen has one tarpeo Go back to Vertex. What's that Vertex drugs? VRTX. Hakuna Malata. Argentina ETF. Didn't it? It just got clapped. So I remember I was telling. I think Argentina is opportunistic. And not like in a negative sense, like I think there's opportunity there, but you got to watch out because you don't know how the Malay thing is going to play out. So they just, de honestly, the ETF's holding up. He just devalued the currency by 50% and they're going through like some structural changes. That's why I, I kind of want to wait and see, but if you don't want to wait and see, you know, and I, I don't think it's bad, but I also just don't think, throw don't throw all your eggs in there. No, because ver that Vertex drug from yesterday is, is going to be very hype. If they have a non-opiate painkiller that, like, is actually pretty much it hits like an opiate, but it's not, that's going to be your new Ozempic, more or less. But that's why Verte Vertex don't even move, and it's starting to move out. But that's it. Only thing attracting me to Viatris right now is the Vertex link, but they just have a partnership with them. Four global payments said to wait acquisition of U.S. peer shift. Four is halted. Oh, wait, that's who it is. Wait, who's Global Payments? GPS? No, GP? Yeah, that's confirmed. I see that now. Global GPN. So GPN kind of falling off of that, yeah. 
That's confirmed. I'm seeing that flashing across one of the wires. I know someone in Argentina said the country has gone to hell like recently or just like prior because it was bad prior to Malay. But then like, again, he just he announced some pretty big changes. And like literally, I think, quote, Malay said we are running out of we have no money or one of his officials said that. Like, so that's why they decided to devalue the currency and do a couple of other things. Interesting. So, Novartis, they have a kidney drug too. That's a Tarpeo has nothing to do with the pain stuff. Interesting. It's kind. Is it part of the gene editing? Again, I'm seeing CRISPR. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm still looking at that biotech. Why did you ask me this, Mosby? Because that one is kind of interesting. But I don't want to play it. But it seems I do want to play it. But I don't want to play it. But that could be tomorrow. What, what's the damn ticker again? Viatris. So technically, the approvers for KLTX, but they're. Uh, yeah, you can't trade them. They're in Spain, I believe. That one's interesting. GPN just getting clapped for being the buyer uh, related to that deal. Four is halted. EYPT, I still like. It's still kind of... Ex it's holding up like it's about to get bought out, though. I'm pretty sure. Again, it's going to have one day where it drops or it's going to get bought out before then. But I still do think EYPT is quite fascinating. VRTX a pain drug. I went to all time high. If it works like it says, it'd be a lifesaver for many. Limb saver for diabetic. Yeah, that's why it's linked to a bunch of other things. Mm. Buffett selling 30 billion then buying oxy I heard a little bit about that but I didn't see too big of a deal surrounding it
Hold on, we still it's power hour. We still got an hour. I'm looking into these bio plays. Kuna Milan time. What a wonderful freeze. Viatris, there's going to be a, like a Padufa uh, for like a foreign company. It's a pretty decent drug. It's like a rare kidney disease. Uh, and again, it just has a partner with Vertex. Vertex got was in the news. That's why I started looking at it. But Viatris is partnered with them, with both of them. Uber's back up. When should you panic? Maybe at the next data set or again, the next Fed speaker or when bond moves make a, a, a big run up. Four unhalted. Oh, wow. 12%. So that's potential buyout right there. Again, that's why GPN was on the low. Where's my Let's Go Brandon crew? Dow Jones at an all-time high. I think a thank you is in order right now, right? Kamala, is that you? <laughs> Why'd you put that on the Twitch? That's like a YouTube comment, I feel like. You get way more of a reaction. Like, if I didn't say it out loud, nobody, like, they would have just, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Well, yeah, man, I feel like, I mean, if you thank Donald for the highs in 2020, feel free to... Or prior, you know, feel free to thank Biden. I mean, again, uh, I've already, I've already said like, uh, uh, what's it called? You know what Biden has done, even with the oil stuff. Like, I give him credit for it. You know, I, I <laughs> what he did, it worked, baby, it worked. Okay, it cost me some money on some trades. We hit the first like ten of them, but then the last one, you know. But like, either way, you, you know. And then shout out Yellen. Oh yeah, that was a side. I'm still looking into this. Please hold. What a wonderful phrase. The oil stuff. Yeah, I mean, I said it. It wasn't. Was it an action that I would have done? No, but did it did it work? Yeah. He's done this in less than three years. Yeah, man. Good job. Fuck yeah. I, I got a law term. That's why I said I never care who's president. So, hey, amen. You get it, baby. You get it. All right. Jeez. Okay, I feel like a schmuck. I bought a play, one up 300%, I guess, or 200. I'll go small. I'm down with Viatris, but I did something else too. Okay, so not a recommendation. You will lose money. I did 200 shares of Viatris. 
And then I did another option, but not on Viatris. And then don't go too far out of the money on these because once it starts moving $5 increments, those options start to change. Viatris is VTRS. Hold on, though. VTRS for that. That one's... Re be careful with that. I don't... Viatris, I don't really like too much, but that's why I'm keeping it small. And they've already moved up like 20% recently. Very weird history. But then the option play, don't trade this, not a recommendation. <clears throat> you will lose money. I grabbed an IBB for March. They were a little expensive. I spent about $300. But like I said, be careful on that option chain because if you go too deep on the chain, you'll notice that it is, uh, it's like super far out the money. And then it starts moving $5 at a time. So I'd stick I would stick within the one dollar ranges at a time. Viatra is still negative and it pays a dividend, but that's um and it has kind of a weird history, but I I like how things are cooking up. But again, that bio calendar, there's so many biotechs. I've been telling you about the biotechs on the watch list, but I've not been able to scoop any of those up. So I'm going with the option defined risk at like three hundred dollars and then we'll get two hundred shares of a potential Padufa Padufa linked play. IBB is the biotech index. I'm still on the MNQ long. Yes, I have $89. NASDAQ barely green on the day. The MNQ. Padufa is a prescription drug user free act. So it's kind of like an FDA approval. Uh, it just means that they, they're going to get a response. It's not them directly, but they could benefit. But I, again, the drugs they're working on, what it's related to. And then again, if we get a cyclical rotation, I do think biotechs, they are something that could benefit off of it. Fitch downgrades, Braskim's reading the junk, attributing it to heightened environmental, social, and government's risk. What? Fitch just downgraded them because of ESG risk? Did it again? Did it? Did, oh, he just hit another lick. Oh, they don't know about that. They weren't there on the Twitch when we were balling out. YouTube missed missed the trading session. Man, gold moving back up to 2050. TLT rising back up. Again, spy NQ still uh, NQ still down. What sugar to sell off? Nothing. There was like utility dump, some like ruling, but like, quite frankly, I just think it was the part of the rotation. Again, the Russell just held up regardless. And like, that's what I said. It just, it reminds me of two weeks ago when we had that Russell rotation. Yeah, Russell's up 2.5 still. That's insane. Yeah, bonds are running up really good. Dude, that top tick play hit. And I'm surprised. 
I thought I was going to be able to buy two more of them. I thought I was going to top ticket. It was going to fucking lose half of the gain, go half the way down, and then I thought it would bounce back up. But I mean the Russell, bro. I, it sucks. I'm in that MNQ, but I, I don't want to keep pl adding to the Russell because the position's so good. I just want to let it ride. But like the, the bigger, way bigger moves on the Russell. But you still, you just went back up to like the low of the day after the extra flush. Mm -mm. Yeah, the Russell's just dominating. We'll take it, though. I mean, I, I want to get too... Again, if you get concerned with the volume, shit's about to fall off the map here in the next coming weeks. So, in, in general, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too surprised by those moves. MNQ, MNQ crack. MNQ's light, though. Like, it still moves pretty big, but, like, you should try an NQ. <laughs> FOMO kicked in it might I mean I think today this morning there was a lot of FOMO but I hope you guys listen and just FOMO into the things that are down if you are again there's so much opportunity like for real and then just like last year end of last year you're gonna get eventually it's gonna calm down but once the beginning of the year sets off there you go is RXRX going up again excuse me I feel like the general public doesn't know what happened Man, it's good. I don't know what happened, bro. You mean, I've watched every day. I don't know why Pal did that. I don't know why he put himself in a box unless he wanted to be in the box. You know what I'm saying? That's like your dog going back to its cage because it wanted, like, why would he put himself, why would he even allow it to even show that he would be confined to any sort of rate cuts, let alone talk about when he could have just kept it the same and then just waited. And just like let you like just let you like chill like he didn't have to do that. That's that's the craziest part about all of it. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, he's I don't actually you know what it is, though. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Are you ready? I'm gonna tell you right now. Actually, I'll give you real tin foil. I'm gonna give you real tin foil right here right now. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Y'all didn't like the video, man. Y'all playing me, bro. You ain't like the video. I don't even know what the likes are at, bro. But you playing me, bro. You playing me, bro. You playing me. You playing me. Actually, y'all did great on the likes. I'm not going to lie to you. I just wanted to be very theatrical. You know, get you hyped up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get you hyped up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Powell did it. Because Powell is going to do a third term. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Powell's going for a third term. He's I think he still have three more years. So again, it's like this. He's going for a third term. 100%. That's my 10. That's my 10. Powell, that's why. He's, that's it. He's going for third term Powell. Not power for president. He's going for it because, again, there's no limit to how much you could serve as the Fed chair. Again, he's already on the second term, which is, again, yeah, Janet Yellen didn't make it even two terms. Janet Yellen had one. And most people ever since, what, Greenspan? They were all like they weren't there for that long. But Powell, Powell is on his second. I think Powell going for a third term, bro. If anybody going to do it, I think it's Powell, bro, because I don't know who's going to replace. You can't replace him with anybody. But and then he's still he's showing he, he he could play along, you know what I'm saying? Like he could play he could work he could work the Trump side he could work the Biden side, you know he's not too crazy he'll still throw you a bone he'll still tighten that shit up faster than anybody. I think he won a third term, bro. Three for three, pal, bro. I think so. I think so. Not Jamie Dimon. You think they're gonna hire Jamie Dimon for the Fed chair? You fucking kidding me? We're gonna make so much money if they did. 
They would never allow that. <laughs> JP Diamond gets fed share. I'm buying JP Morgan stock. I'm selling everything and buying JP Morgan. He'd be like, I'm not doing this for my company, but we just are, we could perform in any situation. What do you mean, bro? Uh-huh. He's already the fed share. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if Trump wins? Is Powell allowed to work? That's the thing. I think Trump might even keep Powell too. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Trump holds a grudge against Powell as much as like anybody else. So no matter who wins, Trump or Biden, I, then you know Trump like low rates too. <laughs> So, honestly, I think Powell is kind of, he's playing both sides and setting himself up for a W, no matter what, bro. Yeah, Trump blasted him, but Trump, but then eventually he did what he wanted to do. He still, he never really, like, Trump would just tweet at everybody. As Trump was just playing 2K, bro. That's it. Trump, the player, he's on 2K. He just would talk shit to the guy doing good sometimes, you know? He was just talking shit for selling sometimes, and then that's it. But I don't think Trump Trump would squat up with him again. He know Powell can rebound. He know Powell can assist. Yeah, he didn't like Fauci, but I think he liked Powell. Mm -hmm, yeah, he's just toxic. <laughs> uh, Powell did say he would retire. I don't know. I don't know. Not if the world needs him. Not if the world needs him. Mm-hmm. It's funny. You don't get it unless you play 2K, though. Because somebody, like, heard that joke and they got way too politically twisted off of it, failing to realize I was talking more about 2K <laughs> at the end of it. So you have to have a real 2K experience to really comprehend that one because you don't even know what I'm saying unless you've played a couple games in the rec. Bostick? Oh, shut up. Bostick. Bostick. He go... He's still buying municipal bonds. I guarantee it. I don't guarantee it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sounding resilient. I sound in resilient. It. You know what I'm saying? I know Bostick damn well. He's still got a bag. This feels very pumpy. I mean, we still got 30 minutes. Powell's retiring to start his band. Oh, man. Ungrateful rate hikes. That'd be a good band. I'd listen. The bonds hitting four. Well, we were below four in the morning, and then bonds went lower. So I don't know. It was. I think we dumped before the bonds did. I guess bonds did start slipping a little bit. And then Nick, I like your long term. It's pretty much everything we have. Without beyond or without uh with uh what's it called without Baba, but you need a you need an anchor. So again, like Pfizer's a good name, like 3M, Ultra, but they're all struggling. Even Disney too. That's what I was saying to Tim. Y'all got to get like a just a high quality ass play that everybody knows. I think Procter Gamble, man. I don't know if PG's up, but that one could still come down. But like you get a high quality anchor. Yeah, PG's down two and a half. Honestly, if that could sell off a little bit more. I mean, the Amazons of the world, the Netflix, that was our time. We had that opportunity last year. That's why, you know, we're blessed to be able to have put like a name like Meta and Netflix in our portfolio at prices hundreds of percent lower. But you do need a, you do need a, uh, like a, a big anchor or like a good name. You know, that's not like struggling, but still a good name, you know, like a Walmart. Uh, even or a McDonald's I would I could go with but like some of those are still up on the year or like they're right at break even but like 3M's good but it's struggling I'm not saying they're like he has the names we have like Pfizer 3M those all apply but they have been struggling lately MO uh, again like even Disney like Disney at one point was a blue chip so just get one that will always be a blue chip and isn't struggling in any way you anchor it down with that you know you could build around like coca-cola that's a great one too jp morgan but jp we're up 30 percent on that one so it's like if you could get one of those names and then you have those other names that are good quality but still need to recover a little bit nike hershey's yeah like a name that is part of the world every day every damn day no matter what pg owns vapor man procter gamble owns everything in your house 
that you bought from Target in the cosmetic section. They own your body wash. They own your shampoo. They own your loofah. I see they own your floss, your toothbrush, your toothbrushes, cleaner, tongue scraper, the soap, the soap container, maybe, but may, probably most likely the soap. Is them Johnson and Johnson or uh, Clorox, pretty much? Man, don't Clorox. They own food and shit. I, the, it make me weirded out. Paper towel. Yeah, they own your razors. Yeah, Kimberly Clark, but I don't like them. I, that's true. But then again, I mean, just because I don't like them doesn't mean it's not the same type of quality. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, you can see this thing don't even move. Honestly, this one not might might not be that bad. Yeah, J and J's J and J's a little different. I would say I'd say either Kimberly Clark if you really wanted to go that route, but Procter Gamble is is the best. You can't go wrong with PG. That's why it sucks because they were a lot lower. So I would like them lower, but like on the year, they're not down too much. But like you see, they're they're still below. But if we could scoop them up. I will. I would like them at 120. 120, I'll take Procter Gamble. Even now, though, if I had too much cash and nothing else, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. But that's a good name. It's a solid ass name. I know. I'm I'm, I'm mad. At, I I should have got him. But then everything else was cheap too. TGX would not be one of those names. It's a good name, but it's not one of those names, if that makes any sense. It's like second tier, third tier. But like you the first tier, every Coca-Cola, Pepsi. You know what I'm saying? Like invest in Little Wayne. Don't invest in Josh Answers. <laughs> if that makes any sense. You know, it's just, it's not, it's just different. It's just it, we're talking superstar. Nike. Starbucks, you know, just a, Pfizer is up there, but they've been struggling. I don't don't get the ones like get the ones that are just still like solid, not Baskin Robbins. What do you, I mean, they're still good household name, but I, I, I can fuck with Baskin Robbins. I don't know if they publicly traded, but calm down, Mr. 31 Flavors. When these fast foods a little different because it's not everybody is going to use fast food forever. Remember when they used to say Procter Gamble gave tithe to the satanic churches and my parents tried not to buy their products? I feel like I remember that in the early 2000s. It sounds very familiar. You think Procter Gamble is good to pick up? I think it's better than a lot of other things you could buy at all-time highs. That's that's what I'm saying. If you have a lot of cash, certain things, that's a name. That's a, I want to. I would rather get it lower, but then again, I'm I'm fully invested. Don't wait for me to... You know, again, I'm, I don't care if I miss everything because we're we're still riding up with it. Mm -hmm. All right, we still hold. You got thirty minutes, Chattadonia. I need to go to the bathroom. You got Biden on drug prices. Hey, you at the pharmacy. Is it a real pharmacy or is it like a set? That's the real question. This is period. Just bring them down. Yeah, bring it For down. For starters, my, my legislation finally gives Medicare the power to negotiate to lower drug prices like the Department of Veterans Affairs has been able to do for a long time. Now Medicare is able to do that. We're fighting, we've been fighting for decades, and I literally mean decades, to give Medicare that right. With this law, we finally beat Big Pharma. And we got it done, I must admit, with no help from the other team at all. Not one single Republican voted for it. In August, the first 10 drugs were selected for negotiation. Drugs that treat things like arthritis, cancer, heart failure, and so much more. In all, this law is going to save the federal government $160 billion over the next 10 years. You hear me? Because Medicare is going to pay less, it's going to save the federal government taxpayers $160 billion over the next 10 years. That money will go toward reducing the deficit, enriching and not enriching Big Pharma. It also reduces the cost of insulin for seniors from as much as $400 per month to just $35 per month. It makes important vaccines for seniors like shingles free, saving them $200 per shot. And it's going to cap the total out-of-pocket drug costs for seniors on Medicare 
Now, next year in 24, it's going to be capped at, no matter what your costs are, it's going to be capped at $3,500. But in 2025, it's going to go down to $2,000 per year, no matter how expensive your drugs are. And drugs, as you heard from our, my introducer, can be up to ten, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars per year for cancer drugs. David just said that that his cancer drug costs sixteen thousand dollars a year. Thanks to this law, he's going to pay a hell of a lot less. It's a real game changer. This law is going to lower costs. It will save lives for people who forego drugs because they can't afford them. And I'll give folks a little more. Just my dad just said, a little more breathing room. Just a little more breathing room. That's what Bidenomics is all about. Folks, negotiating, negotiation and competition are the engines of a market economy. In every other industry, people negotiate prices every time. But with big pharma, it's been used to get its own way, no negotiation. Suppressing competition instead of innovation. Drug companies say they need that extra revenue to develop cutting-edge drugs. Well, but studies show big pharma lately has spent more on stock buybacks executive pay and research than, uh, than, than on research. Meanwhile, American taxpayers are footing the bill, more of the bill. Through their tax dollars, Americans pay more for federal drug research here at the National Institute of Health and other programs than folks in any other country in the world pay for. And we're happy to spend the money for the research because they do such good work. I believe it's a good thing that leads to breakthroughs that save lives. But drug companies benefit considerably from that research. They could not make their own drugs without the research done here. Taxpayers already are chipping in, making, paying a lot of money for that here at NIH to get these brilliant scientists to go out and find cures, find a a answers to the drug problems, to, to drugs, for, with the use of drugs for health problems. And then they turn around and they charge Americans more because they charge than anyone else in the world because they, the private companies, take advantage of what happens here at this institute. I think it's outrageous. I'm pleased to announce that from now on, the part of the federal government that prepares for and responds to public health emergencies will make the so-called fair pricing a standard part of its contract and negotiations with drug makers. That means American families will finally pay the same as people in other countries for many of the vaccines and treatments developed or funded through their own tax dollars in the first place. It's a simple principle. You shouldn't pay the highest price in the world for drugs that your tax dollars have already helped create. We're already begun to secure fair pricing clauses and contracts for new COVID vaccines, three new COVID vaccines. And we recently proposed that when a drug company prices drugs so high that Americans can't afford them, and those drugs were created by the American tax dollars, the federal government can step in and allow other companies to make and sell that same drug for less because they did it here. This is all part of my administration's work to promote competition across our economy, to lower costs, to raise wages and improve care. Last week, we announced new steps to crack down on anti-competitive practices in health care. And we're going after what we call junk fees, like junk health insurance plans that look affordable and then turn out to stick consumers with hidden costs they didn't know existed. We cracked down on so-called surprise billing. For example, when a patient goes to a hospital for surgery, and it turns out the anesthesiologist, maybe a wonderful man or woman, is out of their network, their insurance network, they get a surprise bill for thousands of dollars because it's not covered. They didn't know they were going to get that bill. They should be aware of it. We're protecting millions of Americans every month from these unexpected medical bills. We're taking steps to ban the use of medical debt in credit reporting. Think about this now. How many people have medical bills? If I added up all the costs of when I was in the hospital, it's literally several hundred thousand dollars. TXN. Imagine had I gotten that. Look like news was just running. Bonds are coming up too. Again, the other indexes well, the are still lagging. Credit reporting though. is so families and the credit reporting. Those bills cannot be held against you forever by denying your credit. So not counted in your credit statement. Folks, here's the deal. Americans don't like being played for uh, SpaceX gets approval for direct to sell Republicans tests. Are okay that? With that. They're fighting to keep these junk fees. They're trying to cut Medicare. 
Medicaid and Social That's pretty cool, though, if credit expenses now. don't show up on your credit report. Solitary that's actually pretty dope. Any of the legislation, which are responsible for is that satellite phones? Sales. I don't know. Maybe. When I know someone, oh, that'd be insane. Now they want to repeal the law and let big I would buy a fucking Tesla satellite phone. They want oh, to send fuck us yeah, back Elon. To bad old days. In short, Republicans want to raise costs for seniors and working families and allow exorbitant profits for big pharma. I will not let that happen as long as I'm around. I'm a capitalist. I'm a capitalist. You should be able to make profit in significant amounts of money. I have no problem with companies making reasonable profits, though, but not on the backs of seniors and working people. For too many folks, the cost of even just one drug can mean the difference between life and death, hope and fear. It's all about fairness. It's about dignity. As I was saying to these folks behind me. Well, RX, sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I regretted you know, selling it, and then the PayPal's the came down, but it had to children, go. It had to go, but I think it got upside. You have diabetes, need an insulin, and you can't Thanks, afford cool. it for both of them. I did buy that shit on mine. Thank you. Imagine this, you get stripped of your dignity. Look at your kids. You can't afford it. So we're going to keep fighting lower prescription drug costs, not just for seniors, but for everyone, to expand health care coverage, to keep building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up. Where health care is a right, not a privilege, and patients come out before profits. You know, I know we can do this. I really do. We just have to remember who in God's name we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity if we work together. And in this area, we're not only working to cut the cost for people needing the drugs, we're cutting the cost for the average taxpayer so they don't have to pay as much to fund Medicare. Because Medicare is paying less as well. This is a double header. You save the taxpayer at large money because Medicare is not paying as much, and you save individual patients' lives as well as money. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to be here. I want to thank my, uh, my, introdu my introducer. Ooh. I know you're down to 35, <laughs> but it's going to get down to 2,000 bucks a year. Max. Max, 2035. Yeah, the fuck's his name again? God bless you all. May God shit, protect shit, you. Max, Max. Thank you very, very much. Max, he pulled. The fuck is that? We're talking about drugs. Why are you talking about Israel? I want them to be focused on how to save civilian lives. Not stop going after Hamas, but be more careful. Thank you. Even if he answered, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Mm. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Isn't it his birthday? Or no, that was in November. I think it was his birthday uh, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, his birthday was in November, though. It wasn't too long ago. It's your birthday? Okay, baby. Happy birthday. <laughs> Amen. Hey. Oh. Let's go. Hey. Oh. Long turn. Right, not bad, Chattadonia. Fortnight after the bell, man, it's a weekday still, bro. It is still a weekday. Maybe when the volume slow down, but I actually I don't even know what the volume is. But after this week, it'll calm down until December night. Yeah, volume still through the roof, dude. Eighty-two million, my goodness. Shout out to Money Muggies. Ooh, Costco. I think once. Thank you again for the support and we give for times and others and everybody. And man, God bless you. I think Costco will probably do good, but I don't know if I'm not playing. Costco is a great name you want to get, but that thing is literally at 52-week all-time highs, I think. So I think they'll do good, but I don't think there's going to be a play there unless you, like, you're into that. Lennard, too. We'll see what the home builders do in terms of guidance because, again, they ran a lot lately. Mm-mm. Mm 
new CEO once he raises memberships. The dude, for real, though, they've been talking about the membership raise, and they ain't done it yet. Uh, so, you know, it's still in the cards. But then again, too, though, like in a weird way, the lack of raising the membership, it's also holding Costco down. Uh, you got to think about it. Everybody and their mom raised prices. Even Costco raised the prices on certain items because of how expensive things got. But, you know, they never raised the prices. So, like, in a weird way, it's kind of good for your... Uh, for your customers, if that makes any sense. So I, it is a tool, but like they don't use it lightly. But when it does, if it does happen, when it does, we'll see. What about five cents on the dogs? Don't touch the dogs, sir. Don't touch them. What's your Costco membership price? Is one ninety nine or two forty nine for executive, sir? I know because I see it every time I walk in there. I know one of them is one ninety nine for sure. And then I always get, I, they always hit me. I feel like I pay it every time, bro. I feel like I pay it every single time. Like, you know, will you ever go to Costco and they let you in and then you get all the items and then they throw on the bill right at the end, bro. Oh, no, it's 120 then. And then 199 for executive. It's one of them, bro. Bonk got listed on Coinbase. Am I going to buy the new dog coin? Is it the new dog coin? I don't, I don't know what a bonk is. I'm pretty much out of the uh, the altcoin game until they all shoot back up and then we get out of our shit altcoins and then we'll just see. And then we'll wait. Hopefully Bitcoin comes down before the halving. Uh, otherwise, we're going to miss out uh, a little bit of that rally there. You pay 60 for basic. Really? Is it 199 for executive? One twenty, never mind. Sixty membership plus sixty upgrade. Yeah, but then again, that's what's good though. The fact that they don't change it, bro, it hooks mother effers up. Like people like Costco for that. You know damn well you raise it by one dollar, you're gonna piss off just somebody with a TikTok. Well, now I got to pay $1 more for the Costco. They clearly don't care. Then, bro, you got to stop. Tell these corporations to stop being greedy. Come on, look at Costco. Look at what they did. They didn't change prices for 10 years. Now they want to do it. You work at Costco? Good shit, bro. It's like one of the best places to work. You get mad benefits. They, anybody I know who works at Costco loves it. They fucking love Costco. That's it. I, I, we had one guy on the real estate team who left it. And then he, and it, it took a while, but like, and then he ended up killing it, which was even better. But like, dude, no, Costco is like, it's a great place to work. At least so I've heard. I've not heard any bad news. Yeah, you get stock too. You get great benefits. They hook you up, bro. And then I don't, and I'm in queue. I might hold it overnight. I'm kind of waiting for a bigger pop, but I'm kind of down. I think NASDAQ might go up pre market, then sell off, and then Russell day two, or if Russell comes down, NASDAQ will come up. So I like we got a little bit of gains on it. They pay a lot too. Yeah, it's not bad, bro. I don't have TLT. I have ZB and I'm still in that from yesterday. That one's killing it. That's great. We're up 5% on the Russell from that top tick. That's insane. Again, even the bonds went up 2.2. Tell you end phase would do, go, do good with lower rates? Uh, I don't think so. We were talking about some solar there. I said I'm not too sure about them, but they went up. I need a tax loss that one. But then it's going up. So I might push back my tax. If this rally keeps running, I'm going to wait a little bit to like the final then. Final day of the month. Get out of some of these. Mm. And then we made a play on Viatris and then IBB today. And then some Yen plays and then uh, MNQ. Let's play what's Josh eating. Let's do it. What do you think I just ate? I ate something right there. Let's go. First person, I'll give you a dollar. 
I don't know how I'm going to get you that dollar, but I'll just add it to my tab. Nori, carrots, grape, egg, no, no, tomato, no, bread, dried mangoes, McNuggets, apples, booty, no, bagel, cheese, banana, orange, peach, Laffy Taffy, alligator, McNuggets, no, boom, Bay Bandit. Oh, wait, I don't know. All right, you, I'll give it to you, B12, vitamin B12. You said bar, but, you know, you got it. Nobody else was going to get that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, B12 vitamin. Yeah, is this a B12 lozenge, technically? Is that what it's called? Quick dissolve tablet? Was that B12 bought at Costco? It was, actually. It's straight up from B12. It's straight up from Costco. Y'all should get them. They taste like candy. It's fucked up. I straight up eat it like candy. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have any symptoms of B12 overdose because it doesn't absorb as well orally. But, yeah. Mm hmm. That's what I meant by egg. Oh, not even real. T I don't even think it is, bro. I think it's candy. I think it's straight up candy. Mm. What's your BMI? I don't know. Is this the pace test? I know the PMI. I don't know my BMI. I say I've been been out the gym for like a week, a week and a half now that I've been sick. And I swear, I just lose all my gains instantly. Even if I don't, I just feel like I did. Have you thought about streaming from your backyard and getting sun? Yeah, but like, I don't think it. <laughs> I'll get mad at any noise. It'll be like. <sighs> That's why I love, bro. I try to view, uh, or I try to like make videos outside. Like I love shooting videos outside, but then like I learned very early on, it sounds awful. Honestly, I wish, I wish there's a way. Like, cause I love to go on walks and like talk. I used to do it back in the day. That's like the best thing, bro. If I could walk and talk. If you think I talk a lot sitting down, oh, you have no idea, bro. Cause I pace. You know that. Like when I'm just like, my girlfriend got used to it, but like. I just like walk around like even when I'm thinking, oh man, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So the sounds bad. And then like, and then people just get hella creepy too, bro. Like I don't get it. Like, yeah, some people like y'all just claim you don't like me or you do love me, but then y'all like get really into like everything. You're like, I noticed this tree, this tree is located and then y'all drop the fucking coordinates and shit. And I'm like, all right, that's, that's cool. I get it. Like you could just maybe like DM me, but like even then that's like, you don't ever tell people that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never go up like, I know exactly where you are right now. Maybe you didn't or want people to know or not, but what's up? At north 42 degrees, south 72. Like, I'm like, dude, what? Mm hmm You need VR glasses? What do you mean? Me include. I just don't. I pace, like, just, uh, like, naturally. Like when I be thinking or like talking or if I'm in like a room, if there's enough space, I be pacing, just walking around. My mom always thinks you're like, are you nervous? Or I'm like, no, I'm just I'm thinking I'm working. I'm li I'm vibing. I love it. No, it's not. I mean, sometimes it's creepy, but it's just like you. It's like half the time the people who do it aren't creepy, but you don't know who's creepy when, when you when you when you post it. There's somebody always more creepier than you. So then you like you put out the the coordinates, and he's like, "I'm gonna go sniff him." I'm like, "What, Joe? Calm down." Mm hmm. Yeah, man, the day's wrapping up. Day's almost over. It's almost over. I thought we'd get a little bit bigger of a pot. We got 100 bucks on the MNQ if you want to take it. Mm-mm.
the guy who sees exactly where you are. Yeah, I've, I've seen that a lot. It's pretty impressive. Not going to lie. A ma'am, Ambrix. Again, we got, hopefully that brings the IBB up, but there is a lot of these biotechs on the way. Did we talk about this one earlier? No, that was like AGTX or something. Shout out all the trackers, baby. Amen. Yeah, bro. You good. Pacing. I do it a lot. I don't know. People still get weirded out by it. My hands, they move so much when I talk. Can't stop it unless I literally sit there or hold on to them. That's weird. I can't relate to that. I don't know anybody who talk with their hands. That must seem like a strange... Sounds like a personal problem. Weird. Hmm. I wonder what that would be like. Some people get it. Some people don't. <laughs> some people get that joke. Some people don't. They're like, man, Josh really flaming the dudes who don't who speak with their hands. Yeah, man. I'm one of them. I don't know anybody talk with their hands on a on a watch list or something. That's weird. I love how it'd be bothering people though. <laughs> I'm like, why does that bother you so much? Some people get hella worked up by my my, my animations with my hands. I'm like, okay, buddy. <laughs> No idea why PayPal dropped. I wish it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Shadowdonia. Can you believe the day is already over? The rally continues barely on the other indexes, but you're Russell, bro. You're Russell goes crazy so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you have been awesome today i hope you enjoyed it today flew by so did yeah every day is flown by that's it. it's friday junior baby friday junior it's only gonna get crazier but we're gonna have a good close to the week i appreciate you being here and as a sign of my appreciation i don't want you to get hurt and what i mean by that is the new guy is gonna come on and he gets very loud and it's so loud that people have reported bleeding eardrums, dormant BBB coming out to life, um, various forms of diarrhea, it, it, again, just anger. A lot of things happen as a result. So if you are sensitive to, to any loud noises, I just want you to know when I say earmuffs, that is your opportunity and moment to protect yourself. And I want you to be protected, okay? And protect yourself and protect others. It's, it's, it's bigger than yourself, you know? So just keep that in mind, but it's going to get really loud when I say earmuffs, okay? That sound good? That's good. All right. Mm. Okay, earmuffs. Earmuffs. It's time. Earmuffs. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're making our final approaches. We make our final approach. You guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please throw them in the overhead burns above or firmly beneath your seats. So we'll be coming through the aisles with a trash bag if you'd like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal in the description. That's going to be our nightly watch list and main channel layover around 4 p.m. Pacific time. Then we're going to be taking our promptly around 6 a.m. at a sunny San Diego, California. So we make this final approach into San Diego International Airport. It's about 70 degrees and sunny. Looking like a beautiful day unless you thought the market would go down again because everybody is a crackhead and Powell is now doing crack apparently too. But the good news is we are no longer under COVID guidelines, so no masks are required until the election. So all we ask is that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way yet. As always, we appreciate you guys in business. If you're interested in the Call Rapid Awards program card, Please fly down or flight attendant, and we'll get you that as soon as possible. As always, thank you for flying with the coat, and hopefully have a wonderful evening.
Chattadonia, it's game time. You don't have much time. You don't have much time, my friends. You don't have much time. Actually, you have one minute. Go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to wrap it up. Bring it home. Finalize those plays. Speak now or forever hold your peace. You don't know my BMI, but the PMI is in the morning, okay? Globally, U.S., all of that, we still get data. Maybe good news is now good, bad is still bad, but we got to find out. Plays, shares, options, futures. Finalize those plays and wrap it up. We're going to end the day on Friday, man. That's it. End the week out. Not much time. You got to bring it home. So make up your mind and get to the end. Get to the ads quickly. Now, hurry up. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding 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 Oh, Chad Adoni, I'm not forgetting again. Yeah, I switched the screens, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the bell. Seven hours in the books. I need a good game in the chat right now. Let's go. Drop that GG. It don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you learned something. Everybody that contributed brought something to the table. Plays, vibes, news, personalities. That's what I'm talking about. The positivity. Got people who didn't turn it back down. They faced the enemy. Stop it. Game, baby. Let's go. Without the GG, it don't matter, bro. You think you're the best Chad, the worst Chad. You got a membership bad. Stream alerts, no stream alerts. You want to say you are honorary, Chad. You ain't ever bought a membership or no shit. And you want to say you honorary and you don't drop a GG? Oh, fuck out of here. I need that GG. Everybody, let's go. I see you too, Twitch. I see you too, baby. Hope you know we stronger as well. Way to hold it down. Everybody, plays, contributions, members, non members, stream alert. The honoraries, but you better drop that GG. You better have that GG, baby. Even the haters, bro. You made different accounts to go to Twitch and YouTube. You better drop a GG. Let's go. Amen. I need me to rock. You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me. Let's talk. Oh, this one? Oh, usually we get some... Let me get, I get some Biden or something? No, I, want, I like the Biden freestyle, bro. Hit me with it. Yeah, we should. I can even vote in peace. <clears throat> I'm still working on the Trump one, too. Yeah, too where's your jail? Come on. Yeah, I mean it. Hey. For 4, 4 p.m. I have 4 p.m. when I wake up, bitch. Hey. Shout out to Percy, that's me. You could just call me JP. I do not answer no questions. You hey. can leave that to Shaq. You know I feel like I got an Ethan Pool, man. Me. Shout out Daylight Savings. That's it, man. I love y'all. I'm going to get one. You going to get one, you gonna get one Karen, but thank you for being here. Hunter, Everybody holding it down. God bless you, baby. God bless you. I'll see you, you on the watch list. Watch list might even be late. I don't know. Maybe we do it live, baby. Let's see what happens. But I love you. Thank you to all the tags. Shout out to Law Tire. Every day. Who got a law term? Can I get a law term in the chat? Thank, Thank you, man. I love y'all. Shout out to the members, bro. Shout out to the stream alerts. Shout out to the real positive people, baby. All of us trade together, strategically releasing the oil. They said that Putin will fall. Stay in my cabinet no more. Fuck the squad, fuck the foe. Had a nine, fuck a roll. Now we go and pack the coat. Hundred my daughters for sure. We ain't gon' find about shit. Especially not ten percent. We ain't gon' find about hoes. Me and Nance get the votes. Lobby that shit on the low. I got cut. In control. I got your student low froze. I got your mortgages froze. I got Keystone on froze. But mention it, cinema froze. <laughs> I'm getting faded. I'm eating this ice cream. I don't like voters who ID. Questions from press that's unlikely. Bring up Trump if they don't like me. They give me the Eddie. Yeah, I wake up. Passion bills, that's a layup. I'm the big man. I got say so. They like you down if I say so. Booster on booster on booster. Mandate on mandate on mandate. I just get EV a test break. Fuck you, Elon, I won't even say your name. Came in the office already bowling. Silent just ain't changed my name to Stalin. Right off the screen and I'm gone with the wind. Do nothing but something till they pass a bill. Pull up in a brand new Benz truck. Have a friend.
first I did a break for How to get it, how to chefs, yeah How to get it, make it work, car Chasing on your black, took off Mixing up my words, I'm lies Who I think they mad, my fault Talking about inflation, I cause Dumping our oil, turn me to a savage One dollar shaved on a gallon Fuck old peck and king salmon And fresh, I'm, I'm tired Y'all need this one. Y'all need this. It's a good one, man. I love you. God bless you. That's the day, man. I got to get going, too. But for real, check out the links. Do you guys want a, a live watch list or you want a normal one? We could do live because I, I got some things to do. I might be a little later, but I could still make it on normal schedule. But if anything, I don't know if we could talk about some other stuff. I don't know. Maybe we talk about the long term. Maybe a long term review live. Ooh. Ooh. You gonna, are you going to be there? But listen, because YouTube ain't going to notify you. So let's just let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube ain't gonna notify you about it. So you gotta make sure you All go right, ladies and oh. that's that's me. Go to the trade in fraternity. I'll schedule it. I'll set it up. We'll do it at like what, six PM Pacific time? Is that cool? How does six PM sound? Six PM? Six PM Pacific, nine Eastern. You know, a little nightcap for some of you East Coasters. You know, we could go over a lot of things. Bank review. We could. Oh, oh we do go bank. We could. Honestly, we could talk about whatever. I'll go over the. I don't even think there's much to recap after this week and this day. I mean, again, we're getting PMIs in the morning, but you let me know. Oh, yeah. Just leave out CS. I don't know Central Tom. I'm too stupid for that, man. That's it. All I know, East Coast, West Coast. That's it. That's it, man. I'm sorry, Middle of America. It's my bad. Y'all still, y'all just have the shitty weather too. It's not my fault, but I do apologize. I'm, I apologize. It's okay. My bad, Central. It's okay. Y'all don't worry. Daylight savings or like a solar flare or some shit. We'll, we'll balance it all out in the end. You know, where we got, I got you, man. It's okay. But be on the trading fraternity then, okay? You got to make, it's not going to notify you. I'll schedule it. I'll set it up. Actually, I don't even think I can send you there. Maybe if I schedule it now, let me see. I'll have to schedule. So we'll see. Yeah, sorry, fly over states. It's not my... Hey, man, it's cool. Y'all got, like, lots of space and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hating. Like, you guys could, like, move around. Y'all don't got smog. That's cool. Everybody could have a house there because it's still... I don't even... Nobody wants to live there. That's why. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I just be roasting middle of America, and I live in just a fucking shithole. I know. I got good weather in a beach, though, man. I got good weather in a beach. Hey, man. All right, so be on there. Be on there. Right, I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, gas less than three. All right. You right. You right. Where are you going to go? Yeah, exactly. Touche, mother. Checkmate, mother. Yeah. What are you going to go? Go to Six Flags? You going to go to, what's it called? Cypress Peaks or whatever? With your $3 gas? Great. Cool. Have fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm offensive. I'm, I'm just, I hate, I hate, because I love middle of America, though. Low-key, I ain't never been there, but, like, y'all y'all chiller, though. Real shit, though. Y'all chiller until y'all get on Xbox Live, and then y'all turn hella racist out of nowhere. Uh, only on Xbox. In normal situations, middle of America, chill. Y'all ain't been too extrematized yet, so I fuck with y'all. But then again, I just, I have to roast y'all, because y'all get shitty weather, man. So it's not my fault. That's how fucking industrialization played out. But, you know, we do need y'all. We do need y'all. Uh-huh. Amen. 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 So hey, some of y'all like rap music, too, so I fuck with it. Amen. Costco closes at 6 p.m. on Sundays. So I don't know when the earnings come out. I, I think like 20 minutes. Just in case you wanted the other info. It's a call, baby. Yeah. Middle of the night, making trades again. 20 on the yen before I lay my head Many, many men would love to see me dead But the game at zero sum when you got a hedge Lots of prayers answered but this many missed Lots of people cancel just a many switch Lots of people copy just a many quit Probably would've stopped but I ain't petty bitch Gotta grow the seeds and the legacy Moving through the D, check my energy How they doing works but get the best of me How the ones I love getting less of me Getting lost up in the moment, hope my heart was in atonement for the moments It ain't look like I ain't show it or the flexing or the boasting I ain't chose how it was chosen or the way that it unfolded Nah, wanna change it cause I'm grateful for the way that we was molded Told my mama I was grateful for the beatings and the scoldings Told my papa I was thankful for the things he didn't show me Cause I learned it on my lonely, amen And I became my own man It took me a minute but now I'm smooth with the business I'm talking several digits of corporation assistance So I don't give a shit, you don't like how I'm saying my sentences 
apologies, I still got an attitude It's a little complex, the shit I gotta prove You know, big man, little man told me that I'd always lose Had to get a lot of views, had to have a lot of cribs Had to have a model bitch, even if you hate me You hate that you gotta acknowledge this I was trying to make it real blatant how fucking dumb you is I hated how it made me, cause frankly the battle still was his Talking about my demons, you judge me like you ain't got your own Life is like a TV, a season, but we don't know our role Eager and believing until the season, the hero fall Damn Innocence died along with the belief The heart of the child is hardened under the heat The way that you learn to live is learning the way to think Uncle, hold on, one more, one more, cause just, just for the fucking shit, just because like, if Uncle knew four years ago, five years ago, what Powell did yesterday. I think he knows. I, I, he might be sleeping still. <laughs> Powell Man. put. You ain't never seen anything to the like Powell this. pivot. <laughs> It's a power pull called Howard Schultz I think I need some coffee quick You don't like me, hop Crazy. off my dick I know it's Santa Now <laughs> it's the Marcus Drop Apocalypse But I'm just using common sense The same thing happened once before I'm talking 1936 or 32 through 38 Marcus then employment race The Marxists say the system breaks The rights I said is because trade The left side blames the word that said The rush is in, the hulks in Historical recession trade Come to see Republican The opposite of pro is con So Congress what is going on. They won't tell us what's going on So I'ma show you through a sign We fucked if budgets take too long We put some sanctions on Iran But that don't mean the problem's gone But wait, who said it's a problem? Yeah, think about that for a sec Are we gonna pay the debt? Keep the AAA credit Get the people all fed Get the people all messed Set the people all dead Do we really need the Fed? Trade the freedom in for cash Freedom for a double tax Trade the freedom for a Mac I'ma leave it at that <laughs> It's a power pull called W. Bush We need a start a war real quick Our top exported Power pull called W. Bush, we need a start a war real quick. Pull called W. Bush, we need a start a war real quick. Called W. Bush, we need a start a war real quick. Called W. Bush, we need a start a war real quick. Called W. Bush, we need a start a war real quick. Our top export is I'm amidst the land of free that sells the debt that brings in money in the set. That won't make you not invest, cause Bowen hit record profits and I'ma get that TV check. Powell put called W. Bush. We need to start a war real quick. Our top export is armaments, the land of free that sells the death. Oh, the money, the blood and money intersect, but that won't make you not, man. I don't know. I don't know, Uncle. I don't know. I'll talk to him, man. He said, 20 on the yen before I lay my head. <laughs> Oh, man. Chattadonia, thank you all again for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're ready for the new year, obviously. And a lot more, man. Shout out to the long term and a lot of things. But shout out to all of y'all in the game, bro. Regardless, again, I always tell you, I always give you a reminder, man. I even said this end of last year, man. Win or lose, we are all in the same boat. So don't get too cocky. Don't get too sad. Stay in the game, man. I hope y'all get some belief out there. You're going to see something real spiritual when you start focusing on the revelation versus the situation, baby, huh? And that armor don't cover your back, so why you running? Oh! So, Chad, I love you all. Thank you again. I'll see you tonight, and I'll see you in the morning, God willing. But don't forget why we here. Why we keep going, why that faith, hope, and love ain't ever going out of style. Why we don't turn the back to the enemy, baby. You face it. Why, baby, why? Uh, finger to the sky, baby. To God be the glory and through the grace of God alone. Amen. Amen. Uh. <laughs> Chattadonia, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So you enjoy the rest of your day. Do it with positivity, all right? 
Okay, you better wake up and drive. It's Friday tomorrow. You know we're going. I was already getting crazy every damn day. You know what I'm saying? So, but Friday, close it out, and then I don't know. Maybe there's not a stream next week. I I, I would like to prepare and plan. There won't be a watch list, but I still don't know unless I can find my way into some plans this weekend. Who knows what could happen? But. I don't want to leave. I, I really don't want. I feel, I, you know that is why I can't have kids, you guys, because I leave you for the kids. Cause I don't want to leave. I don't want. I love the chat, baby. I don't. I, you know, I don't know where I'm going. I was. I was gonna go to Switzerland, but then I'm like, I don't really want to go to Switzerland, not yet. And then my girl's family came in, and then they're gonna go like earlier and shit. And I'm like, it's a lot. And then if I want to go, I could go after Christmas too, though. That's the thing. So if I want to tough out this week. And I want to play till after Christmas. I could still have time to hit up Europe if I wanted to. Uh, but then I still, I kind of want to go to Chicago, though. They got a Laker game. Oh, Laker, Jay. <laughs> so we'll see, man. But either way, I love you. God bless you, man. Have a wonderful evening. Wake up and drive tomorrow. And I will see you in the morning. Uh, and that's it. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Yeah, get me, get me, fuck your mind. What's up, huh? Where are you motherfuckers talking shit? Inflation's low. Mar market's mar I brought the stock market out. Fuck you. Doesn't matter if Donald Trump did that too. I fucking did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? We're so put some, put some, uh, put some respect on my name. Huh? Come on, say it. Come on, tell me what your long term's at. Fucking yeah. Put fucking Joey B. Sign Joey B. Sign Joseph fucking R. Robert and Biden. Huh? I fucking love my wife, sister Jill. Love, love her. Fuck it. You get it. Yeah, shut up. I did it. I did that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at your S&P 500. More like S&P 5000. Yeah, you're fucking 10, 10 x that shit. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking link up with Grant Cardone. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what we did. Look at that. Boom. 10 x every fucking fight. Where's Jordan Belfort? And then they got shit on me, huh? Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I fucking said it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up, huh? Yeah, Camilla, where you at? Fuck yeah. Oh, look at Costco. I fucking did that. That was me, baby. Me. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, anyway, you have, a wonderful, you have a wonderful evening. Enjoy enjoy your retirement, okay? Good, all right, see you later. Mm, exactly. Exactly, Joshua. Now, is it a coincidence? Would you say it's ironic that the standard and poor? How come everybody's getting rich on something called standard and poor? It, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Is it ironic? Would you, would you, is it irony? Are you blaming the Republican demons or the Peter Pan Democrats? Which one is it, buddy? Hmm? Yeah, you're in trouble. You call, you call a crackhead. It seems like they're everywhere in the stock market. I reclaim my time. I yield back. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.